Welcome everyone. We are live. Today is the day. Over the next nine or so hours, we will find out who are the winners of this year's Academy Awards. We've been watching Hollywood all year. We've probably picked our winners and our losers. And tonight in Hollywood, amongst the glitz and glamour, they have cleared out the homeless tents so that Hollywood's at elite can lecture us. But we're going to have fun watching the show. I've got a whole group of guests coming to join us. They're going to join us, and they'll be gathering here within the next hour. We're in pre-show mode. So here we are doing the pre-show. Wait, I should have some music under me. Here. Yeah. All right. I like this. It's a little get you in the mood. Get you in the mood. I can't lie. I'm only wearing like the top half of a tuxedo. I'm in full shorts underneath this. It's the magic of the internet. But I hope you've got your picks for what is going to be an incredibly long and my prediction comes true every year, boring award ceremony. But I can't do this alone. Joining me from Austin, Texas, where he is currently covering the South by Southwest Film Festival, a man whose lost luggage, he had his tuxedo in the lost luggage, did not get it in time, but he found a shirt with buttons on it. And that is a Mr. Alan Ng. Hey. Hey, we're back again, third year. Third, uh, or have we, it feels like we've been doing this a lot longer than three years. Well, no, I mean the slap was when when we first started, so that was two years, and uh, and that stream I believe was seven hours long. Oh, I forgot our intro. And now introducing your host for the evening, Alan Ng, and Chris Cole. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. Hey, we've got over six hundred people watching us live right now. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Let's do this. All right, Alan. Uh, we are going to go through briefly. First of all, I have a couple of videos to show. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. He, he, I cannot stop. He's tweeting at me. He, he wants to come to the hey, watch. Chris Gore, can I come to the watch party? I, I promise not to fall down. Anyone can come to the watch party. Just tune into the Film Threat YouTube channel. You can go to the watch party. Um, Let's bring it up on screen right now. And we're going to go through some of what we think the winners and losers are going to be in certain categories. And if you've never been, do you have it? It's, I think it's the thing that says, do not. Oh, you want me to bring it up? I thought you were going to bring it up. <laughs> no, that's you, man. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. Here are All the right. nominees for the 96th Academy Awards. Yeah, let me uh, get the full list here. All right, okay, so. Please. So uh, are we just going to go down this one? Sure. But let's, uh, before we do that, let's go. In. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of, uh, uh, we're going to read the super chats. Um, we'll get to as many of other chats as possible. We do our best. We do our best. But I want to thank our new members here. L. Bush and Ryu Cat, Phenom 1995, Rich, Philip Martinez, A Serious Man. Hey, A Serious Man. Good to see you. I know A Serious Man. We have met in real life. Uh, Siphon, Skiz Spivak Esquire, Don Mac, M, Krizak are all new members. You can become a member too. Just go to the channel, click join. And during the show, we're going to be doing a giveaway of some digital codes for movies. So check that community tab. And also Alan is posting videos from yes. his travels. Oh my God, the best coverage of Whataburger we've seen probably <laughs> this year. Hey, it's blowing up the uh, member channel. So, uh, yeah, check out that Whataburger video. Uh, also, did, uh, also did the uh, Fallout experience. Oh, yes. Well, there, oh, yeah. there's a video yeah. of that, too. Another hey, uh, member chat here from Stitch. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm here enjoying this with all of you. Enjoying or suffering? We'll find out. Also, Sophie Penn for two says, Hail Frank Gore, what's your Zodiac sign? Uh, 199. 199. Uh, I was born in September. So whatever that sign is, I think it's a Virgo. Virgo. You're a Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. Technically speaking, 
Virgos are uh, the most serial killers. And I believe that. It, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. But we're happy that you're here with us. Let's go through actor in a leading role. Wow. Okay. Who do we think it's going to be? I, I think it's a three-way race. <laughs> yeah. Between, a three-way. Seriously. Paul a Giamatti, three way, yes. Killian Murphy, and Jeffrey Wright. I, but I, I, I don't know. Like because we've seen we've seen Paul win. We've seen. Uh, I think all of them have won at other awards events. No, okay. it's been all Paul Giamatti. I don't, no one else has been winning. Part, for the most part. For the most part. Did uh, Paul Wright, Giamatti win the SAG award? I'm not sure. There yeah, are 900 award did. shows. This is it's that's why they call it award season here. It just gets a little out of control. Alan, what's your pick? I'm going to probably go with Paul or Killian. Yeah, I'm going with Paul. You got to pick All one. Right. You got to pick one. Are we doing All the right. thing? I'll, I'll go with Killian. Thing? I'll go with Killian. Okay. Alan's keeping track. All right, let's go to our next category. Sorry, now I got to write it down. All right. You have to write it down. Just start a Google Doc. I actor. do, I, but I still have to write it down. All okay. right, supporting actor. Supporting actor. Uh, Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction. Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon. It's, it's Robert Downey Jr., Ryan Gosling, Mark Ruffalo. It's going to be Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, There's actually no... He is one in every... And I, I think it's going to be Robert, but I think a lot of it is also his body of work mm -hmm. and the fact that he had such a... You know, before he was cast as Iron Man, guy had some problems. And he got cleaned up and created the he created tony stark as a character absolutely and would, uh look he's been sweeping the awards just like paul giamatti which is why i'm going with paul giamatti all right cool all right i'm just hey, saying we got almost we've almost we're closing in on a thought when we get to a thousand people watching live i got there's some videos that i want to show there's some videos i want to show actress in a leading role we've got annette benning lily gladstone uh for killers of the flower moon Sandra Haller, Anatomy of a Fall, Carrie Mulligan, Maestro, Emma Stone, Poor Things. I think it's going to be Emma Stone. Yeah, I'm going to, I will go with the the long shot. I'll say Lily Gladstone. Wow. See, I mean, if I, you're going to say, if, if you're going to say Killian Murphy, I'll say Lily Gladstone. Okay, good. So we're, we're split. We're parting ways. I'll say about Lily Gladstone. I actually think that that could happen, but I have a problem with that. It has nothing to do with her performance, which was fine. It's uh -oh. not. A, not, it's not a leading role it's a supporting role she's not the, she's not the leading she's not the leading role so that's yeah what I have with it she kind of disappears for like the second half of the movie so what can you say all right next yeah. actress in a supporting role emily blunt Appenheimer Danielle Brooks the color purple America Ferrera Barbie Jodie Foster Nyad and Divine Joy Randolph the holdovers I'm gonna go with Divine Joy Randolph but yeah Oh, say, have you seen this just happened? We'll talk about it tomorrow. We're doing a special episode of Versus. We're going to have our Oscars hangover special. But um, there's a controversy about the holdovers. A screenwriter is accusing the screenwriter of the holdovers of stealing the basic outline and even lines directly out of the script. Have you seen this, Alan? No, I haven't. There was an article in Variety and there was a side-by-side -side comparison of a synopsis of the two films and then like dialogue from some of the key moments. Right. It's very damning. Uh, who's the other, what was the other? I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah. Uh, Cause I know. Okay. So I was at an event where he talked about writing it and he did talk about that. This was a script uh, he had been working on for a very long time. Okay, if you look up, uh, Alexander Payne's holdover accused of plagiarism by Luca, by uh, Luca Ryder. So the writer of Luca. I can share screen with this. I'll, um, if you don't mind, I'll just start. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, remove that. I can present. Look at, we know what we're doing. Hey, we have over a thousand people watching live. Thank you for that. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Here it is. From Variety. Now, how is it? It's, it's too late. The voting's done. It's over. Yeah. It's over. There are several controversies. One, there are protesters in Hollywood right now <laughs> trying to block. There are a thousand protesters. If you know 
Um, so where it's taking place is at the Kodak Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Not too far away, less than a mile away, is the Cinerama Dome on Sunset Boulevard. And a thousand protesters have met there. They are marching towards the Oscars. Hmm. Uh, I and and LAPD. They better hurry up. High alert. LAPD's on high alert. I have no idea what's going to happen. We'll keep up with it on Twitter. But from Variety, that and I've seen the side by side. It's pretty damning. Alexander Payne's The Holdovers, accused of plagiarism by Luca writer. Tatiana Siegel is the writer. Uh, on January 12th, screenwriter Simon Stevenson sent an email to the Writers Guild of America Senior Director of Credits Leslie Mackey asking to set up a call to discuss an important matter. The CAA rep writer, whose credits include Pixar's Luca and Studio Canal's Paddington 2, wrote, I've encountered a credits-related issue on quite a high-profile WGA-covered project, according to an email exchange reviewed by Variety. A call between the two took place, and in a follow-up missive, Stevenson wrote, the evidence the holdover screenplay has been plagiarized line by line from Frisco is genuinely overwhelming. Anybody who looks at even the briefest sample pretty much invariably uses the word brazen. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this because I wonder if this will spill over mm -hmm. into the event itself because I think that this is actually, this movie is probably a favorite to, um, it could win. It could win. It so won't. Go, hey, but <laughs> I know I'm I mean, serious. I don't, think, I don't think it will win in either category, uh, best movie or, or uh, original screenplay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, now that we have over a thousand people here, a very special message, a very special message from the Academy here. What's, what is this? Welcome back to La Oscars. Here's your host, Jimmy Kimmel. The nominees for Best Picture are Holy Cow, a film produced by a one-legged, lactose intolerant, trans pangender shaman with no movie making experience. Deconstructing Madame Du Farce, a motion picture produced by a humorless, light sensitive Tongan SJW plagued by restless leg syndrome. BFS, blind female superhero, a movie by a superstitious, blind Bhutanese Pacific Islander lesbian vegan with creative challenges and cognitive disabilities. Well, we don't have to have seen any of these movies to know who ticked the most boxes. La Asuka goes to BFS. This is the first nomination and win for a blind filmmaker. We'll be right back after these announcements. That's from uh, <laughs> Gaslight Station. Shout out to Gaslight Station. Subscribe to Gaslight Station's YouTube channel. We have a lot of videos, actually, that we'll be showing from Gaslight Station throughout the evening. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's get back to the nominees, Alan. Yes. We're so, okay. Got now it. we're at animated feature film. I, uh, I should warn you that the Oscar list is in a weird order. So best picture is going to show up in the middle of this. Right, right. It's okay. We'll just, yeah. we're, we're going to go through them here. Animated feature film. We're looking at the boy in the hair on elemental. That's a hard no. Nimona. <laughs> nope. Robot dreams. Eh, Spider-Man across the spider verse. Probably going to be that. It's probably going to be Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse because it's the most mainstream popular in that category. Yeah. And I will agree with you. It's yeah. not. Uh, I guess. It well, is do I want favorite. it to win? I, I, do I want it to win? No. Uh, it's not. It's not my personal pick. It's what I think. If I had to go with my. I loved Robot Dreams. I liked the boy, the boy in the hair on. I, I quite liked. Mm -hmm. And Spider-Verse, it's not even a full movie. One, it's too long. As much as I enjoyed it too long and it ends abruptly with a part two that was supposed to come out this month. The sequel or the third film was supposed to come out this month and they pushed it back. It's now indefinite on a release date, which yeah. is, uh, it is what it is. Um, yeah. I don't know how they didn't have the vocal tracks ready to go right after the first one it's it doesn't make a lot of sense hey yeah waki zashi's tea house member for four months says i pick alan hey i'll do it oscar host. i'll do it and first time wasn't expecting the farting oscar says <laughs> marvelous dc girl well there you go and liam 
Kronos, become a YouTube member. Hey, become a member of the channel. Become a member to the channel because we're going to be doing giveaways uh, during the show. I'm watching the pre-show, actually. I have a little iPad here set with the show. Chris Nolan just uh, joined on the red carpet, so that means we're getting close. We're 42 minutes away. 42 minutes away. Hey, nerd cookies. The boy in the hair on had better win tonight for best animated film. Eh, I don't know. And nerd cookies. If you're nerd cookies, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, join us on Versus. To talk, we're going to talk. Yeah, Oscar I won't be there. And Hangover, our Oscar. I'll, hangover. I'll be at the Monkey Man premiere tomorrow. Yeah, rub it in, <laughs> Alan. All right, what's our next yeah. category? All right. By the way, I'll also be at the Sasquatch movie tomorrow too. Oh, I can't wait for that. I know the the. The filmmakers, the Zellner brothers, the yes. Zellner brothers. I love the Zellner brothers. They're from Austin, Texas. They've been making movies. I've known them since the nineties and they make these little movies that are just weird. They've had movies at Sundance. They're the most soft-spoken. I, I, so I can't wait to see that film. Yeah. I love those. I'll be, seeing, I'll be seeing that. And I guess Nicholas Cage has a new movie, which I'll be seeing. They made well. a short film years ago. I'll talk about it later, but it's about a guy who is a complete a-hole who gives his dying last words to his dog and is the funniest short film. It is so good. So you've got this really cute little dog and this guy who's a complete jerk um, and he's dying and he's just giving his last words to the dog. It is the really great short film. Zellner brothers, very talented. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes. Another special video. Are you ready for the Oscars here at the Hold Academy? Hold on now. I cannot identify with that Oscar. Well, wait now. I can't see myself in that man ward. I am woman. Of color. My appendix was removed. But I am Tongan. I'm dyslexic. Well, now I am plus size. Identified. I am lactose intolerant. But I am missing a leg. None of the I'm totally trying. I am a brony, bitch. The name Oscar now isn't that like Irish or Swedish. Now that's some white shit there. That's also pale and stale and white male. Introducing La Oscars. What I, you know, so many people have problems identifying with the actual award itself. It's kind of crazy. Hey, super chats rolling in. Let's go before we get to cinematography, which will be Oppenheimer. Um, that one's a not really debate. I, mean, I know it's like, are we going to debate that one? No, we're not. But I have Oppenheimer as well. Godzilla minus one better win in that category. By the way, I'm gonna stop. I, I need to share something that I found on Twitter. Godzilla minus one was trending. You have got to see this. It is so Godzilla minus one is trending. Here is here are the people, uh, the the team from Godzilla minus one. If you look at their shoes, it's like a Godzilla heel. How cool is that, right? Yeah, I love it. So, there even you go. the lady heel, even the lady heel. It's like these weird, uh, like Godzilla themed shoes. Which is really cool. Razorburn, thank you for that. Hey, the Rainbow Wizard for 1999 says, whoever wins an award, I want them to list all the foods they loved. I think it would be funny if they did that. Yeah, I like I like yeah. unique Oscar speeches. The best Oscar speech I think ever was given by Steven Soderbergh. Uh, he won for director, and I think he was nominated for director for two movies that year. It's a weird year. But um he got up and he, because everyone gets up and they list a bunch of names of people none of us know. Uh, it makes no, it's like, I think it's a waste of time because none of us know these people. It's great for the people being thanked, but it really doesn't make a lot of sense. He got up and said, I'm going to thank people personally later for, you know, why I'm here. But I wanted to dedicate this award to people who get up every day and do something creative. And he gave an entire speech, you can look it up, about creativity and it was it was a beautiful speech so look up steven soderbergh's oscar winning speech uh bes blindfold supplied or can i bring my own i don't know man it's so 
Yeah, it's up to you. Miss Zen became a YouTube member. Hey, check the community tab for exclusive videos. Yeah. And we're doing a giveaway during the show. So check also, that out. All my South by Southwest videos uh, did a live reaction of the movie Dickweed. Dickweed is a movie that will be nominated <laughs> at the Oscars next year. It could be. Bruce, Bruce Leroy Jenkins for five. What the F, Alan? No tux? Brought shame upon the House of Ing. Frank holding it down as usual. Let's see how the rest of the panel do as they roll in. I happen to know that everyone is dressing up. For some reason, it's like Alan forgot that we've done this like three, four no, years this ago. No, is, this is culturally appropriate. Well, because it's red. Is that it's what you're red. saying? That? That's right. Just like a red envelope that you get mm -hmm. during the Chinese yeah. New Year. So don't be racist. From Rumble, eight Ellis twenty four says Alan looking like Uncle Roger's uncle. Yeah, there you go. We have the same last name too. It's amazing. All right, let's go. Let's go back to the list, Alan. We're gonna switch it up here. Uh, okay, costume design. Oops. Is that where? Yeah. 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 Because we did. We already went through cinematography. So we're, we're we're moving on. I don't know. It could be. It could be poor. This one's sort of like uh, I just have no clue. Yeah, um, I said poor things. All right. I mean, Barbie, Barbie would be the other one. I don't know how, did you like the Oppenheimer costumes? <laughs> did it I stand mean, they were of you? the period. I think poor things are probably more creative, but this one is sort of like, I have a big question mark above my head. I really just don't have any idea. So which one are you picking? I'm going to go with poor things, okay. oddly. But I think like Oppenheimer is nominated in 13 categories. By the way, 36 minutes until the showtime, we will... Go to it. We will yes. get to it. I promise. All right. Directing. Oh, that's uh, Christopher Nolan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really think Christopher Nolan is going to just, it's going to be a good night I, for him. Yeah. I mean, you look at this list and, you know, what, Justine Treat, uh, Jonathan Gla Glazer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's Christopher Nolan. I mean, it, could it be Martin Scorsese? Maybe in another no. time. Maybe in another time. I mean, let's see. That's the wrong the, Marty, by the way. The story about Martin Scorsese. <laughs> okay. Yes, because Martin Scorsese directed Father of the Bread. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, best documentary feature film. Documentary feature is probably going to go to, I know this one, okay. 20 Days in Maripol. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing four daughters for the woke choice. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. documentary short. Um, this Hold one on. I also oh, go to that. Okay, you're yeah, I know. I'm I'm, 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 I'm registering your I'm registering register your my vote. vote. We're gonna we'll, we'll see how you, you and I did at the end of the show. Yeah, we'll see how we did. So okay, documentary short film. Um, probably gonna be the last repair shop or the ABCs hmm. of book banning. It could also be the Barber of Little Rock, just because I know the themes <laughs> of those, and I'm like, I kind of, you know how the Academy yeah. votes. You know, see, I used to think that way. I used to think that way, and I, and, I, and I've been proven wrong. Uh, they don't always go for the most obvious woke choice, and that's why I'm going with Nine Eye and Waipo. Ooh. And considering down, also Asian cast. Put, put down um, uh, Last Repair Shop for me. Last Repair Shop, okay. Hey. Thunderstrike coming in says Ryan Gosling must win as our true hero Ken. Thank you, Thunderstrike. For We're getting a lot of shoot. must wins in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Must also, by the way, uh, uh, look, comment of the night, and it's so early. Seneca seventy four says, "Why was Chris Gore not, uh, not nominated for documentary? Scandal." Uh, Chris, yeah, Chris has been canceled. I mean, that's that's I'm not the, canceled. You are canceled. At least from the Oscars. I, people would have to care enough about me to cancel me. Uh, for film editing, probably going to be Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, which yeah. is ironic because I think it's the longest run. No, actually, Killers of the Flower Moon is uh, nominated there. That's Thelma Schoonmaker, um, who's won in the past. But it's odd that, like, I think the movie that's probably going to win is going to be the longest movie. How's that for irony? Yeah. Yeah. I hope they got overtime. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so international feature film. All right, film. next category. All right, I, I I'm going with 
what's been winning so far society of the snow oh hmm or perfect days from Japan. Perfect days. Or you know what? Or zone of interest. No I'm sorry. I'm picking that. no 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 no. I'm picking zone of interest. Okay, zone of interest. Because All it'll right. it'll lose for best picture, but it's gonna win in international. Put me down for zone of interest. Okay. Yeah, the problem the is though, what's the movie based on? Right. Yeah, that's not a popular topic these days, sadly. Right. Hey, Script right. Doctors here says, What are the odds I'm just Ken is going to win for best original song? I'd say it that's won. a one to one odds. I mean, that's not even really the debate. Thanks. What do you mean one to one? I don't think it'll win. I yeah, I think you don't I think, think it's going to win for no, 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 no. Best song. That's what I'm saying. No, because because when it won the Critics Choice Awards, it got so much heat because it was the only guy thing to win for Barbie that night. I think there's some videos in here from from. Okay, look, do us a favor. We've got almost 1,500 people watching live. Live, please like the stream so it gets like it, so it gets uh, you know recommended and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. <laughs> oh wow, that's a classic. We have that's two that years much. old. That's a yeah. two-year-old clip. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, makeup and hairstyling. I don't yeah. know. Probably poor things because it's so weird looking. I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna. Things. I'm going to go with the dark horse. I'm going to say it's Maestro. Oh, oh, right. Because of his nose. Yeah. Because of Bradley I mean, Cooper's you know, nose. You know how much money they spent on that nose? Oh, my God. I mean, that was probably a hundred grand a per inch. Yeah. Per inch of nose. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Moving you, on. Because we, we got to get this. You had a safe until you got to per inch. We're 30 minutes away from the show. We have a bunch of people that are going to be joining us. 30 minutes away, folks. Oh, just to let you know how a watch party works. Here's my suggestion is get your iPad or your device. Put put the Oscars on your TV. I know it's on ABC, whatever, however you're going to watch it. And then have us on. Here's how we do watch parties here. Welcome to the Film Threat Watch Party. Oh, boy. So what is a watch party? Hopefully get into the nitty gritty of how this thing was made, which is really exciting. You're telling a story, you're transporting people, you know, with an experience. It's a chance to watch your favorite independent films right alongside the cast and creators that made them. Because you wanted but my real time reaction. Instead of all of you getting together in one physical location, you can join in from the comfort of your own home. So we gotta get, the secrets are gonna come out on this home start watch party. <laughs> Think of it like you were hosting a fun, casual screening of your film at a backyard party with the cast, filmmakers, and your best friends. It was just like, I just had a smile on my face all the time. Film Threat Watch Parties are a second screen experience. So play the film on your TV while you view the watch party on your tablet, iPad, phone, or computer. All right, this, this is the movie we're making. Okay, I get it. <laughs> this was, was this <laughs> photographer. Audience members, your fans and followers can ask questions of the filmmakers and cast, share a line from their favorite scene, or just tell you how awesome you, you are. You guys all did amazing jobs. And if someone shows up late, no worries. Are you ready? We're pressing play. We'll help them sync up the film so they're all caught up with us. Three, two, one. Click. You guys got to get it. You got to get on this train. Time is ticking. It's going 50% off right now. <laughs> so join us live on the Film Threat Watch Party. Comment and ask questions and hear the cast and filmmakers' responses live. You hold on to your seats because buckle up. We used to do watch parties every week. Um, that was mostly during when things were <laughs> locked down and whatnot. So. Mm -hmm. We did it for movies. Now we do it for award shows. We actually do have a couple of upcoming. Uh, we're going to have a couple upcoming watch parties for some movies, including Attack of the Dock on the birthday of G4, which is April 24th. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we have some guests. They're going to be joining us very shortly. I see them in the green room. I see them in the green room. Uh, but let's go through this. and We're going to bring them on momentarily. Hey, I see someone. I see you. I see, I see you. You are you are seen. Hey, um, for music, original score, that's going to go to Ludwig Morrison for Oppenheimer. I just, there's no one that even comes close. As much as, look, I love um, John Williams, and he's won many times. 
it's going to go to to Oppenheimer. That's not even yeah. a debate. I mean, I'll say American fiction is my next pick. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Jazz score. Okay. Original song. Here's the big one. Uh, I'm uh, going to go. What? Go for what it. are you doing? Uh, Ken. Okay. I'm just Ken. Okay. I'm just Ken. I'm doing what was I made for? I'm going with the popular choice. Since we're oh. picking what we think will win. Oh, that's right. Okay. So. Yeah. So you stick with really I'm just Ken? That's so funny that it's like those two categories like are just like yeah. butted up against each other. Um, yeah. But yeah. I think I think I'm just Ken is too misogynistic for the voters. And they're uh, gonna well, not there you go. It. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right. Uh, you want to wait to the end for this one? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's save that for okay. the end. So scroll back to that. We're going to get through this. Real pretty quick. Much knows what we're going to bring our guests on. We're running behind. I know. This is. Production, production design. design. Production design uh, is going uh, to be Barbie. Barbie. Okay, I put Barbie as well. It's okay. just it stands out. It's yeah. Okay, animated, animated short. short. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen okay. animated short. I've All not. So shorts. I'm mine will be a pure guess. It's probably gonna go to uh it's gonna go to uh letters to a pig. Letter to a pig. Letters to a pig. Okay, I have pachyderm down. How oh, well, was that any good? I Was think that it's really like good? a shot in the dark. Yeah. Live action short. Uh, Live action I, short. Oh, I've seen those. Now there's the one that I think is the better movie, which yeah, is which really, The After. But it's probably going to be uh uh oh Henry Sugar. Probably, I'm gonna say the the wonderful story of Henry Sugar because Wes Anderson's popular and has celebrities in it. Okay, I'm putting Knight of Fortune because I've seen the after, and as much as I liked it, I don't think it'll win. Yeah, I actually agree with you. Like, I, that's my personal pick. What's going to really win? Mm -hmm. Probably Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Okay. Let's hurry. We have guests waiting in the wings. No one likes, and no one likes Netflix. Uh, sound. Uh, Oppenheimer. Next. Okay. Uh, visual effects. Uh, Godzilla, Godzilla minus one. Okay. Godzilla. Wait, 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 wait. Godzilla well, okay. minus one. I want to win. What do you think will win? Oh gosh! You know what? I think, I think it will win it. Okay. I want to believe it will one. win it. Fingers Is that crossed. Your fingers crossed. Okay. okay. Adapted screenplay. Uh, I have American fiction down. Ooh, that's that, a good that, pick. That one's been winning. Yeah. All right. Look, we have guests waiting. We cannot wait any longer. Let's bring them on. Let's bring them on here. Joining us. Oh, how do we get this? This is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Hollywood First Look, Siri Cohen. How wow. did we get... Hey! Wow. Siri, how are you? That was amazing. What an oh. introduction. What a, what a way to start the night. Uh, you know, I've got friends we, we, in high places. <laughs> yeah. I got Emailed friends him, in high he places. He said, absolutely. I think he remembered that interview you did with him long ago. And I Probably just, yeah, the... At the Lola premiere. We go way back now. Elon and I are buddies. <laughs> oh my god. I got I have a video we're gonna play for as when once he comes back. I'm sure he's getting a drink or getting settled here, but uh I can't wait to show this. Uh do you have any thoughts on who do you thought Oppenheimer nominated for 13 awards? How do you think they're gonna do this? Tonight? I mean, no big surprise, you guys. I think Oppenheimer is gonna run with it. I I do. I feel like I they're think gonna so too. all kinds of recipes. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, what have what have we not given to Oppenheimer? Um, yeah, the only thing I've not given to Oppenheimer was uh, was best actor. So and that's twelve, which would be a record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look, here he is joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like you to meet Az from Heel versus Babyface. As. <laughs> it's wow. a big fan of wow. mine. That's how I hear. This is a long day for you. Look at this. I saw you. You did uh, the tea in the morning. Then you afternoon were gaming. <laughs> it's, there's a hint in the name. It's called afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. And then it's like, oh my god. Sunday are, fun day. Yes, yeah, Sunday fun. Oh my, that's right. You are just like a I, machine. Look, I, <laughs> I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you being here. I know Gary's going to join us later too, but um, do you have any, like one of the things, did you see what happened 
just before this happened a couple hours ago is uh, John Stossel wrote and tweeted out a video from Eric July. I'm sure you noticed. Right. So, and then Elon like retweeted it and then commented. And it was okay. basically saying how out of touch Hollywood is. It was just a, an Eric July video, which I think is amazing. It's just interesting that, you know, people are paying attention to YouTubers commenting on pop culture. Well, we know, we know Drink has got um, a decent bit of throw with some people there now. It's and he, he definitely gets watched on the uh, on the reg. Uh, yeah. We know people like Gary get uh, watched, and people like yourself. You got to give your you know. Come I, on, you I don't. I don't get watched. <laughs> yes, you do. I shout. I shout, and I go viral. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah. I don't get. No, no. I. I no. I look. My ego is fine. Thanks. It's okay. Um. Uh. I'm. I'm perfectly aware of like who the big voices are within our sort of sphere. And it's, uh, it's just great that, um, that people like Gary, people like drinker and whatnot, uh, are being heard. And Eric, of course, Eric just having such a, an incredible, um, effect on the, uh, not just, uh, the, the comic sphere, but, uh, pop culture within general things that things are happening. And tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central, Yaira releases his fourth That's book right. in the Ripperverse. So, uh, hey, Siri, who's going to say the first racist joke tonight? <laughs> didn't, didn't <answer. laughs> Just well, well, we, we have someone else joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, from Verbal Riot, Dante James. Here he is. Going on. <laughs> Siri is amazing. <laughs> Dante. How's it going? We're just going through the picks. We should just skip right to best picture. Well, we have uh, after this one, it's uh, original and then it's best picture. So. All right, so let's let's look at those real quick. I, I oh, by the way, what'd you say for adapted? What, I said oh, American adapted. Fiction, oh, I'm gonna go with Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Okay. I think every, that's it's such an obvious. I think this is gonna be a night of no surprises. Yeah, uh, I agree. Probably. Except, okay. I already saw some of the red carpet stuff. And people were already giving political speeches on the red carpet. <laughs> already, I was just like, "Oh my Are God!" Are you surprised? I'm not surprised, but I'm just like, "This is this is the thing that you know made the ratings yeah. play." Original screenplay. Here's what I want to see. I want to see the holdovers win because of this controversy. But Chris, yeah. you um, you're speaking as if you think that they care about what people think. Right. Well, that's they true. Care what you think about them? That's it. So, yeah. You know, come on now. Yeah. I said the holdovers as well. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think holdovers, holdovers, but that'll be really interesting. Yeah. Because uh, it's well, when be did that article? When did the news drop? That article is from an article in Variety, and it's from uh, what's the date on here? I don't see the date of the article, but it, 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 they the inquiry. No, it was March 9th. So yesterday, oh, this article yesterday. dropped. Well, good timing. So it was timing. after voting. That's so nuts. someone finally saw the holdovers uh, a couple right. of days ago, and then and then filed the claim. All right, uh, best picture. Okay, so uh, I mean, you know, Oppenheimer. Yeah, let me it's let me scroll down Oppenheimer. this long list. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, and the also Rands. Yeah, it's going to be Oppenheimer. Yeah, but there is, you know what? There's an award that's actually not on there. We should we should take a look at. This is amazing. Welcome back, all you so-called cinephiles out there. This is a very special moment. The Lifetime Achievement Award, demonstrating the lack of any comprehension whatsoever by a set designer for the genre world, vehicle, safety, and application of a set piece in all the history of Hollywood goes to a frickin' Ikea chair. This is the first nomination and win for totally blowing off verisimilitude, seatbelts, inertia, momentum, and bolting chairs down in a moving interstellar spacecraft. Shout out to Gaslight Station who made those some of those videos for us. You guys missed this, but I think that this is something 
that we should, you, you have to look Hollywood. People say that it's their dream to go to Hollywood, but I think things are changing. Do you have a bold imagination? Are you full of hope for the future? You like to play with trucks and superhero action figures and dream of making it in Hollywood someday, maybe even working for Disney. Let me ask you then, are you a boy, a white boy? Then forget about it. Forget your dreams. We don't want your kind here and we don't want to hear from you. You've ruled Hollywood long enough. We're going in a different direction. You're not at all what we're looking for. You have a talentless, bossy sister? Brought to you by fairness and justice and equity and inclusion and diversity and accessibility for all. By our logo, you can see we make racism fun. What? I, 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 I don't even know where that comes Screw from. Screw yeah. Whitey. Is that a yeah, sweet sorry, thing Chris. Sorry, Az. Any chance? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Siri, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. It's you, you uh, but look. Career every time you do the show, you know that, right? That what? You risk your career every time you do Every this. time. You know what? I'm just going to I love you guys. What can I say? Oh, like, <laughs> like, with, 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 <laughs> you and Kira. You're rolling the dice every single time. Exactly. But you and Kira are so much fun to hang out with. Whenever we're at you? some event, absolutely. I mean, we love you guys. It's it's. I think it, a lot of people don't maybe get to see is that <laughs> a lot of people don't love us. <laughs> <laughs> we're a good group of people. I mean, really, we all we all actually enjoy each other. It's it's. it's uh, here's a legit a legit Come question. <laughs> a legit question. How many of the Oscar nominated Best Picture films has everyone seen? I've seen them all. Alan, you've seen them all? Uh, I believe I have. Could you just run uh, through them, Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I just put them back up on screen. Oh, now, I, I've, really. I've not seen the foreign ones, but uh, American Fiction, uh, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. Uh, I've not seen Zone of Interest or uh, Anatomy of a Fall. Mm. One. <laughs> oh no! You saw Oppenheimer. Mm. Wow. The other, the others look shit. No, you saw Barbie. <laughs> oh no, I, saw I know Barbie. you saw Barbie. Okay. Um, is Barbie for best pick? Get out of here! It's nominated, yeah. so you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Not a typo. It's actually, two then. Okay, we'll go with two. Oh, two, that's I good. Did, I did go to see Killers of the Flower Moon, and we managed to talk ourselves out of it on the way to the <laughs> cinema and watch something else instead. You're not the only person that did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's well, true. That's like, we actually went to the cinema to see it. By the time we got to the cinema, we went and saw some girls. Mm -hmm. See how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, let's see. <laughs> what's, what's unbelievable? So we have a bunch of clips from past Oscar events, like with Steve Martin and whatnot. It's amazing to me how entertaining the show was not long ago. <laughs> It was actually funny and actually entertaining and just sort of, you know, not the, like, I can't keep up with the, what ribbons mean. There's like new ribbons on the red carpet. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> don't make me on that question. <laughs> I, and seriously. What do you think changed, Chris? What do you think it was? I don't know. I think Hollywood's very out of touch. I think that's to be serious. Hollywood is so out of touch with, um, working people, um, if you watch, not to get political, but if they are, um, the State of the Union speech, I think, showed how out of touch, like, Americans are struggling. Groceries are 100 bucks a bag now. They weren't that, you know, recently. So um, people are hurting, and Hollywood used to champion blue-collar workers. The working class were heroes in Hollywood movies. You will not see a Hollywood movie where someone blue collar working class is a hero anymore. So I think that changed any, any other, anyone else have want to weigh in on this? Like, well, yeah, some some event, I'm sorry. Yeah, some event occurred in 2016 that seemed to make everyone melt down. And I think that's kind of <laughs> when things changed. I don't know what that event was. I can't remember it, but uh, yeah, people got really divisive at that point. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, to be fair, number one, uh, Hollywood has always been uh, <laughs> a joke, man. I mean, as far as it's there to entertain and make money. It, it was never there for the working man. Yeah, they made movies about the working man because they knew the working man would pay money to go see movies about the working man. But 
they were always out of touch. So let, let's be clear about that. You know, I I think social media has actually played a large part in the way that fans interact now with movies mm -hmm. and celebrities mm -hmm. and everybody's got an opinion about something. And, and uh, it's interesting how, I, I don't know, not all opinions are equal, <laughs> I guess. So yeah. It's well, yeah. And the studio started listening to those people on Twitter and started making their movies and TV shows based on that. And that right. was the problem. Well, Do you know, um, I think uh, a big thing as well is uh, this big lean into ESG. I think that does yeah. have a big part. Uh, just a, a, a game which came out very recently, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. And I know you, oh, say, yeah. you say you're talking about gaming here, not film, but it's the same principle because they all adhere to the same ESG principles, DIE principles. It's DEI, -D -E but it's not. It's DIE because you'll kill your company. But there's a section in that game when they're in a subway. And then in the subway, there's a pride flag. And it's and it and it says Gotham recognizes all heroes. And it's who Hollywood is now worshipping and who Hollywood is putting up on that mantle. And what Hollywood is putting up on that mantle is ESG and DIE. The this this myth of inclusion and diversity, because inclusion and diversity has always existed. But now Hollywood are trying to co-opt it as some new thing that they have introduced to the masses. Aren't we so great? We, we have look, we have a, a a person of color here. It's just like what's the difference between a colored person and person of color? It's the same thing. Right. It's exactly the same thing, but one of them is accepted, one of them is not accepted. But all you did was switch the word to the back there. That's Hollywood. Just switching a word around and now pretending it's absolutely new and different and wonderful. So they're worshipping a new god. That's where they're going. And, and the, the regular people are getting left behind because there's very few films which, certainly from the Hollywood machine, seem to be geared towards pretty much anybody. Right. I, would, I would question who is it actually meant for. Is it meant for the people they tend to champion or want to champion? I, I don't think so. It seems to be more of a, a circle jerk. And look, I made this for me, or I made this for my little echo chamber so I could get pats on the back but people want entertainment people want enjoyment people want escapism apparently that's not allowed now well ladies and gentlemen i am pleased to introduce actor writer musician the grammy and emmy winner one of the most enduring entertainers of all time mr steve martin thank you thank you very much And this is Alec Baldwin. <laughs> no. Okay. He, on, Alec on. Baldwin had a rep before all everything that happened with Rust in that tragic situation. <laughs> you mean like e voicemails to his daughter, maybe? Not just that, like getting in <laughs> scuffles and fights on the streets of New York and just oh, yeah. being sort of a generally angry... Dude, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Again, it's hard to get away with anything now with with social media. I mean, you oh. really, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because the negative feedback is instant. Yeah, and, and for some reason, we have to cater to these people. Every we're, we're about seven minutes away from the show, so you know, get your TV set up, get everything set up, um, and here's a little thing, uh, just a quick, just it's gonna show you how the show has evolved. Are you ready for the Oscars here at the Hold Academy? Hold on now. I cannot identify with that Oscar. Well, wait now. I can't see myself in that man ward. I am woman. Of color. My appendix was removed. But I am Tongan. I'm dyslexic. Well, now I am plus sized. Identified. I am lactose intolerant. But I am missing a leg. None of you. I'm totally trying. I am a brony, bitch. The name Oscar now isn't that like Irish or Swedish. Now that's some white shit there. That's also pale and stale and white male. Introducing La Oscars. 
<laughs> what? I, I just wonder one day are they actually going to come after? It's like, you know, the Oscar is based on a man. And, yeah, and yeah. a fit man at that. A fit man, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole story was, wasn't it like one? someone said, this looks like my uncle Oscar. So just somehow that. Yeah, I think started. that was. That I was believe the that is legend the legend. Of, yeah, the legend. <laughs> the urban of, myth. Oh, somebody, somebody popped on and just like uploaded a video. What is this? Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. Hold my ice cream, Ken. All right, Ken, you're on. Let's beat you off. Wow. Wow. All right. I, I, I keep saying it, that it just proves that all Asians look alike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the, I don't know about the Ryan Gosling with my features. It's kind of weird, but you're like dead. I'm on. not that far off. No, Alan, I, 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 I you do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god! I, I'm only joking. I thought he's Aquafina. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the one movie she wasn't in. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go to the chat here real quick. We're probably gonna check yeah, in. Yeah, we can tell Hera. <laughs> about every 30 minutes we'll we'll do that oh wait a sec technique says they just made a land acknowledgement on the red carpet <laughs> oh my god hey guess what's not at south by southwest what a land acknowledgement oh they're not doing them now <laughs> they're not doing it whoa that's a big yeah. change that is a big did, did they yeah. acknowledge that this land was actually part of the homeless area just a mere days ago <laughs> yeah they cleared out all the tents yeah yeah got rid of them all m for two 1988 peewee and robocop bit at the oscars was fun and from rumble can wolf says as looking effing great keep going brother and michael solo for 13.99 not related to to the movie at all um i get to watch the oscars with all my favorite people and you all look terrific Woo! thank you for the 13.99 and i hope for as's sake this isn't boring <laughs> wild oh, come on now it's probably gonna be <laughs> no no it's it's a, it's always boring yeah it's always I've, i mean and that's been the major flaw red no, and there's no world smith nobody's gonna get smacked <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't top that come on alan even my avatar dressed up no excuses. Red Invader <laughs> oh, wow. was a dressed up avatar. Again, I'm culturally appropriate. <laughs> this is how we do it. It's good, it's good to Alan, that two years in a row you haven't bothered whatsoever. <laughs> you own it. Well, I was in Texas last year, too. Wait, this is interesting. Mad respect, Sari, for channeling Sydney Sweeney. We got to, like, <laughs> wait, let's take that Hold off. On. The yeah, take that off. <laughs> now we're talking. Sydney's. <laughs> We had a lot to live up to. Wow. That, that's, a, that's a big comparison. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to keep playing it. <laughs> <laughs> like most things in Sydney's life, it went over her head. Not, not all white girls look alike. <laughs> <laughs> and I here know it does it because even I'm taped up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how on earth you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Babs, uh, Blabs, the, the tower tard. Hey, Blabs. For two, hey, says respect to as he definitely had to buy a new tux. Yeah, I you're did. looking fit. You're looking fit, I man. Know. I really uh, just really respect uh, all your hard work is paying off. <laughs> a little different from last year's Oscars when I was on there. I had a, I had a little look earlier. I was like, bloody hell. Wow, man. You're looking good. We're, we're, we're excited because at some point you're going to make it here stateside. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm definitely going to be in the States in February next year for Megacon, mm. which is in Florida. So uh, I might be staying just mosey on over to some places there. But yeah, February of next year, I'll definitely be in the States. Wow. All right. That's the countdown. Less than a year. Love Less it. And look at year. Alan. People Mine. are already memeing, already memeing us here. There you go. Alan looking good as Oscar. <laughs> there he is. Oh, look at you. Sure. You what I look like? I don't know. I look <laughs> like <laughs> I'm a drag queen Hillary Clinton or something. By the way, we're just <laughs> minutes away from the start. Oh, we're minutes away, so we're gonna get to hear Jimmy Kimmel's jokes. That's awesome. Oh, oh you are. <laughs> oh. oh my god. 
30. Now, where's, where's Kira? I had a video all queued up for Kira. She's and she hasn't coming. made it. She's frying chicken. She, yeah. yeah. She's waiting for the Uber Eats to show up. Getting her yeah. wings ready. Okay, yeah, well, I'll right. get your get get your TV set. We actually have a TV that we can add to the stage here. So we'll put that uh, between Alan and I here. So that is like, that is a TV. There's no audio. It is it is obscured, but you'll be able to see kind of where we are during the show. Um, so that's what's happening there. Is there any chance uh, we could have on the screen some sort of clicker or whatever that just goes up every time that the Oscars saves a life? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. It's the, just the 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 level of be of being so out of touch on the Oscars is just insane, and that no one seems to be able to, you know, tell tell anyone who works in entertainment that like, look, you're not connecting with people. And here he is, last minute edition. But we're happy he's here. Robert Meyer Burnett is joining us. Oh my God! Look at you. Uh, you know, I, I I mustered up a jacket. That's about all I could do. But as I just can't believe how smoking hot as looks. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, Robert, you're already in my pants. Don't I've worry already. About it. I know, but I've I've loved you for so long, and just to see how great you look these days, I just I can't help but just get a look. I've got the pre-made cocktail, the old uh, old fashioned. Uh. Put it in. Get it ready to go. That's Everyone one of looks the lovely. Why I've gone this that way. looks lovely. I don't think we know each other, but you look lovely. Thank you, Robert. Nice to meet you. Officially. Good to meet you. Yeah. I don't know if Verbal Riot looks lovely. But, um, <laughs> he does. He does. I want Dante's glasses. You know he does. There, yeah, there we go. He <laughs> always <laughs> looks lovely. Wow, he muted. looks Dante, you look fantastic. Muted, right? <laughs> and he's still Dante, muted. muted. I would expect nothing less from Dante, though. Dante, you're muted. Dante. <laughs> he, he is muted. You're muted. But it was fun to watch. Like to that. anyone. Just know. Like, oh. All right. You hear me now? Am I, am I yes. Back? Okay. Perfect. Anyway, um, again, the show's about to start. The show's about to start. So if you've got it on your television or however you're watching it, computer, we're going to watch along and comment live. Um, You probably can't hear. I have it very low. But uh, yeah. What? I've got it streaming through YouTube TV. So I'm good. Okay, one last video. Welcome back to La Oscars. Here's your host, Jimmy Kimmel. The nominees for Best Picture are Holy Cow, a film produced by a one-legged, lactose intolerant, trans pangender shaman with no movie making experience. Deconstructing Madame Du Farce, a motion picture produced by a humorless, light sensitive Tongan SJW plagued by restless leg syndrome. BFS, Blind Female Superhero, a movie by a superstitious, blind, Bhutanese, Pacific Islander, lesbian, vegan, with creative challenges and cognitive disabilities. Well, we don't have to have seen any of these movies to know who ticked the most boxes. La Asuka goes to BFS. This is the first nomination and win for a blind filmmaker. We'll be right back after these announcements. Here it is. It's starting. Here we go. Any one of those ready? people could direct a new Marvel movie, by the way. <laughs> oh, I think I'm slightly behind your feed, Alan, or maybe yours is ahead. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm actually uh... slightly ahead of you, but that's okay. Okay. Wow, that was wild. <laughs> they they show just... the opening logo and they cut to a commercial. They cut to a commercial <laughs> for a freaking pharmaceutical thing called Veoza, hormone for what is this viewer hot flashes there's a pill for everything folks. well you know when i hit menopause this is what i use <laughs> that's what you're gonna get <laughs> there's a pill for everything except for intelligence it's yeah. just this is, yeah or or that humor. That drug is called cocaine yeah there we yeah hollywood could use a bit more of that these days and you want to grab a super chest legalized you know, mdma Remember how good how it was during the cocaine years? Oh, they were we amazing. Read our, we read our best. We got oh, oh, almost 2,200 viewers. I'm not sure how many are on Rumble. Ms. P. Uh, Coffee will let me know. We're 150 on Rumble. Come so on, Rumble. Let's go. 
How yeah, hit that you... like button. Uh, follow, hit, follow, subscribe, do everything. <laughs> yeah. Robert, how's that drink? Because that looks, that looks good. What, this drink? Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, By the way, I don't usually go for pre-made cocktails, but these... Oh, Rob, tell uh, me you do a pre-made... A pre oh, these fashion. Knob Hills are so good. <laughs> And this old fashioned, I'm telling you, Dante, I wouldn't normally do it, but these are 40 proof and they <laughs> have oh, a man, that that is completely fair. But here's the thing when I used to bartend, I would I would I had Yelp reviews written about my old fashions. I take a lot of pride in old fashions. So yeah, I know, and they're I love old fashions, they're my favorite thing in the world, but I'm not gonna take the time to make one. <laughs> Dude, it's three ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I need those. You know what these, these three ingredients hill. are all right here. These aren't like those like like slim cosmos or slim margaritas people oh, buy. Those are disgusting. You know those or what? But fantastic. But it does look Miss Cohen. Is it sorry? No. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yes. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce your name? Sari. <laughs> it's like Mary. So but... okay, Sari. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just watch how many times your phone. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I forgot something. I, I I will be right back. I'll be right back. Sure. Uh oh, Rob is going to bring an award. No, 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 I'm not. I just have to <laughs> drop somebody off. The I'll be back. Okay, you should All you right. should feel bad though, because every time I say the word Gemini, Google tries to send me a racist picture <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> Terrible. Oh my god. They oh. are, aren't they? They are. They're always listening. So wow, we, literally... we just jumped to 200 on Rumble. It, we so literally, welcome aboard. they're like, and the awards are starting, and they cut to just a parade of commercials. <laughs> God knows what. We need yeah. like Super Bowl quality commercials. For okay, the it looks like it's starting. Okay, all right, we're what gonna go. It? People gonna care about no, it's another commercial. Another commercial. Oh dear lord. Oh uh, yeah. How many no, big pharma commercials have there been yet? Uh just one so far. <laughs> uh, there will be plenty more. Plenty more. Uh, this is alien for a Brit, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I mean the, hey, do you want to do super chats while we're at this or uh sure we could do a couple while we're in commercial mode. Red French <laughs> Moon for five euros says Bonsoir, 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 everyone. I, I can't, I don't know French. Uh, bonsoir. As bonsoir. Bonsoir. As looking sharp. Happy birthday, Robert. Elegant as always, Sari. P.S. I haven't bothered to put the Oscars on. It's okay. Uh, yes. Viewers, let's right go. Thank you. Neither have I. Jason Webster for five says Godzilla minus one best, both visual effects and best sound at the 17th Asian Film oh, Awards. Surprising. And Sandy right. Q, member for 11 months, says, I'm just here for as in a tux. Smooth. Happy Eric, birthday, Robert. Oh, uh, yeah, well, Robert. Oh, it's birthday. starting now. No, it's actually in May, right? Oh. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> okay, th if this is a joke that they started, and every day <laughs> people have followed me wherever I am and have been wishing me happy birthday. And I've said, well, my birthday, which is May 15th, <laughs> if no one wishes me a happy birthday, I Aww. hope they keep the joke going to that point, and then that day, no one wishes me a happy birthday. <laughs> hey, chat, send super chats wishing Robert a happy birthday. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's my birthday. Wouldn't be the Oscars without film threat hail, says Eric Winberg for 10. This is Thank a pretty good montage, that. I have to say. And, oh, yeah. it's on. It's on. Okay, we're going to yeah. get to these. Well, it's okay. just montages. Right? It's the montage. It's a good one, though. It's a good montage. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just clips of the movie. They're doing that thing. They're doing that thing like, you know, where Jimmy Kimmel put himself with Barbie. Yeah. Oh, uh, stop it. I feel like your videos are, are better. I like those. <laughs> mm. I like anything more than Jimmy Kimmel. And, and that oh, includes genocide. Oh. <laughs> okay, I hope he makes Barbie. an Ozempic joke. Are we going to do a Trump count? If yeah, Jimmy Kimmel brings us that, how many jokes about uh yeah? Oh, oh, here he we made go. a he oh, made a starving on. himself joke. Well, it was starving himself of alcohol. That's pretty that? safe. That was it. That he, he did the Barbie thing. <laughs> okay, everybody stand up. Everyone stand up. Everyone. 
Everyone, stand up. Uh, okay, you can stand up now. No. <laughs> I'll go for Agent uh, 47 more than that. This is the best speech I've heard from Jimmy Kimmel because I'm actually not watching the Oscars. I'm just looking at that picture above there. <laughs> so I can't hear shit. This is the greatest. This is the greatest speech from him I've heard. Adam's waiting for Kira. She's coming with chicken. <laughs> with chicken. Oh, she just. She just messaged. She said, waiting for Buffalo Wild Wings. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Spoke during the week. I said, "You are bringing chicken." She was like, "Duh." Yeah. <laughs> I thought about bringing back my red vines, but yeah, what happened to those? That was I. Finished yeah. Big I got a vicarious that he lived through somebody around here. <laughs> I'm Robert's just taking care of the alcohol part for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't had a drink in a while, so this is a this fun. is really a fun thing. <laughs> vicarious uh, diabetes. I do wish, like Dante yeah. said, like I wish we had some fatty rails. I could, you know. <laughs> I'm just start. saying it was a better time for Hollywood. That's all. Well, it kept you more focused, and you could work for you know 25 hours at a stretch. Exactly. <laughs> Has anyone seen the gentleman yet on that, uh, Netflix? That I is... just finished it last night. Ooh, Greta Gerwig's getting a shout out. It was so good, and the ending was baller. Absolutely fantastic. I love the film. Big lover of the film. That should have yeah, been Oscar nominated. The bloody movie should have been. But uh, the series was, oh, that was so, so good. Bad. The actors are great. Perfect casting around the boat. They're just around the whole thing. Ryan Gosling's looking dapper. Mm, he's got a performance tonight, yeah? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, is he going to sing I'm Just Ken? Yeah. Good boy. He's doing it. That song's so fucking great. No, he, he just made a joke about who, how good looking Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie are. Well, they are very good looking yeah, people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's not a joke. I think it's oh. a statement of fact, really, but okay. Yeah. Did he say, and I don't even have my alcoholic goggles on? <laughs> Look he? at that. Nolan's got the rad haircut. He got He got topped up there. Well, Stop he's going to be up on stage a lot tonight, Robert. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just saying he looks good. I wish I could, you know, he, he other than it has, he's the most handsome Brit, <laughs> you know, that works in I Hollywood. I think he's got me beat. <laughs> oh, Although I, I, did, uh, I did cut my hair tonight. That is actually the truth. Between the last stream and this stream, I did, uh, I did get the pit bull on it. Uh, rest assured that this Will is, Smith is really a bunch of safe slapping people. Yeah, very yeah. safe. Is... Jimmy Kimmel's throwing out a bunch of safe softballs. Seriously, yeah. it's just not. These jokes are kind of flat. Trust me, the Trump jokes yeah. are coming. Yeah, the porn joke was kind of funny. All right, Robert Dan Jr. Uh -huh. That was pretty funny. That was a good one. Robert Downey Jr. always knows how to play to the camera and the audience. <laughs> Every award show, he's he's always on. The king of his craft. Mm -hmm. He has been for decades. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Who doesn't love him? Is there, is there anybody who's not an RDJ fan? He's uh, never he's said he's never said me. anything outrageous. He's never, you know, the only person he's ever hurt was himself. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? The guy, yeah, and he's a great actor. Yeah. I hope he wins. I don't know. Best supporting. I mean, he should win the best supporting actor. He's hundred percent. Yeah, I agree. But I would laugh if Ryan Gosling won. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly if that's the only award that Barbie gets, and it's Ken. And it's Ken. <laughs> Dude, they would four things. <laughs> <laughs> 
So is it going to be is it going to be Emma Stone or is it going to be Lily? Lily, Lily. it's going to be Emma Stone. No, It'll be Lily. Oh, you think Lily? I definitely. Okay. Think, I definitely think Lily. Look at the room. Oscar's so white. Oh, that's true. Never mind. Oh, that was not good. Wow, five-time nominee, Emma Stone. Weird, I didn't know that. Wow. She's only just in a mid-30s, thirty, early 30s, mid-30s? Yeah. Mid-30s, I think. I have to wipe my brow. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's the alcohol sweat. I just started. I said two <laughs> sips. <laughs> I'm going to continue as well. That was the cocaine I did before the show. <laughs> oh, my God. Rob, no, Rob, Rob, right. Rob, we're only 10 minutes in, man. And you're, you're getting the whiskey sweats already? I'm telling you. I, I really, Did you just make on. a Biden joke? <laughs> Did he? Hey, Chris Gore, can I come to the watch party? I, I promise not to fall down. Mine in, uh, it's a, yeah. I can't if he did make a Biden remember. joke, he's probably forgot it already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just shut up and get somebody on stage to give an award to some con. We got lives to lead. about Bradley Jimmy. Cooper bringing his mom to every award show. Yeah. You know where she 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 knows where the cocaine is. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Come on. Who would you rather party with? Oh, De Niro. Oh, wait. Bradley Cooper's mom or Bradley Cooper. <laughs> or Bradley. <laughs> oh, mom, easily. Yeah, of course. That's the right answer. Plus, Look at those be, glasses. She might, be, she might be DTF as well. So who knows? <laughs> okay. Yeah, my gummies have kicked. Uh, Joe, did you Jody bring Issa Lopez to the award show or director for True Detective? That's is that her next year? Yeah. Oh, that is, isn't it? Or maybe it isn't, but is it? I definitely think she's going to win. <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes in, no nominations, lots of adverts, and Jimmy P. Kimmel. <laughs> these, these, these jokes are really, they're softballs. And yeah. nothing political as yet, so kind of a surprise. They're fine. I mean, well, you know what, they, 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 they maybe they story. Maybe they told Movies are back, baby. A little bit. <laughs> At least no mispronunciation. Here is another weird occurrence that happened at the 2013 Academy Awards when asked to introduce Broadway singer Adina Menzel. Again, that's pronounced Adina Menzel. John Travolta said this. Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeen. Unbelievable. Um, Still amazing. Still amazing. It, it that was, was a so post-production slip-up. So crazy. <laughs> I have lots of clips from Oscar history here. We're gonna see what we can get to. You gotta you gotta you gotta streamline the show, folks. You gotta streamline it. Get up there. <laughs> Hi everyone. A joke, maybe another joke. Let's get on with the show. Here's the first person. Yeah. Big Farmer's going to sell you some antidepressants. No, come on, let's go. <laughs> we should be hosting. <laughs> see, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, let's see. It's never going to get tired, that. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's really no reason why they can't get the show down to, the, to a solid two hours. Uh, two, two and a half. Perfect. Yeah, at best. Yeah. yeah. Come but on, stay. You up an hour. What Pick is your that? Golden dildo up and fuck off. You know that's that's all you need to do. 
30 years ago, by the way, Spielberg won his best at the Academy Awards that took place in uh, 1994. He won Best Director for Schindler's List. Wow. 30 years ago. Wow. 30 years ago. That's that was his first directing uh, Academy Award. Wow. Yeah, but how he never even got nominated, nominated for directing that? Jaws. That's just a teenage boy. Trying to find my place in the world. Joke about AI, okay. Oh my god. How about joking about getting somebody on fucking stage? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want a Trump joke now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now I wish there was one. And I think all the politics is gonna come in the speeches. There might be like a slip or two in there. I, I okay. We probably could come up with a drinking game, but do you think they're gonna mention uh the the everything happening in uh in israel and yeah i think know, ceasefire oh, might be the key word 100 percent. Really? i don't think so i think 100 percent. someone will mention i'm gonna say no not i don't think it's so. not gonna be part of the show but i think someone is gonna say something i just got a feeling if there was a ceasefire on october 6th oh wait oh <laughs> no <laughs> See, there I was. It's kind of I like think, a think somebody if it something. was in an alternative reality that's what I'd where say. everything was different, you know. Somebody is definitely going to say something. Mm. Maybe a woman's activist or... group will come up and talk about oh wait a Look, minute. As long as somebody comes up and says white people are fucking hideous, that's all I care about. <laughs> that's literally <laughs> as long as they don't say the Jews, they could they, they <laughs> say whatever they, I guarantee you. I can maybe I'm explore saying, the virtues of a parliamentary kind of democracy. He's going to say that. Oh, wait a minute. I don't realize. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. They brought out the crew to show how diverse the crew behind the scenes is. Uh, I'm not joking. They should do right? that to show the diversity in the Israeli Knesset. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Look at this all the, show the <laughs> Oh, that's I'm really saying. interesting what he just said <laughs> about. Standing with IATSE uh, workers. Yeah, they're going on oh strike. Oh my God, finally. Yeah. We're they're four. going on strike and uh, it's going to be game over for you folks for a, for a good while yeah. now. So this is basically a giant game. union meeting. Okay, here we go. First award. Oh my God. All right. This is a uh, supporting actress, right? Yes. What? All right. Is it? Alan is keeping track, by the way. Alan has our, we did our picks. Before okay, I got to say, though, this is pretty cool who they have presenting this award. Well, you got to give it up for these lovely ladies. That's kind of, that's, that's an interest. It's a different way to do it, I different guess. Different way to do it. Know. No, they've I'm done this before. The screen properly. So is that the cast of The View? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's they, they've done this before. With five actresses? Oh, hold on. It was, what? I think they have. I, I want to. I remember oh something my god, like this. just get fucking on with it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Steve Martin, save me. As is very important, you know how important oh, yeah, she won last year. Oh, I know. Dante, I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. You have to know how important they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I 100 percent agree with you. 100 percent I mean. It's not about answer, it's definitely about close. them. Yeah. Okay, so so each one is going to give a speech about each nominee. Oh my god. To, to save time. Right. To save time? <laughs> I mean yeah, 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 yeah. racism sucks. Racism sucks. Racism sucks. <laughs> so they just found a way to make the presentation if they do this for this is crazy i know I this know. is yeah. you come out you got two people with banter the jokes don't land and you just give the award that's yeah. how it's that's tradition unless they do it just for women for international women's day oh that's Mary right. time in 1979 hey, yesterday oh, fuck that give it up for her year. man she looks amazing <laughs> i don't think this is gonna play well for the ratings no. Well, that's why they start an hour early. Is that just on, they starting early so they could go longer. longer oh my yeah. god! I've been in that theater, by the way. I was in the Kodak theater 
uh, to see 1989 Batman with a with a orchestra. Nice. And it was oh, it was great. By the way, she yeah. used to be married, Mary Steenburgen, to Malcolm McDowell. Just want to say that. Was she? Yes. I did not know that. Wow. Yeah. By the way, I was in that theater to see America's Got Talent, and uh, <laughs> Howard Stern walked right by me. So he yeah. has. If if you make it to California, mm. let us all know because we all want to hang out with you. We'll do a party. Oh, yeah. We will take you around. We'll show you places, mm. and we're all gonna go one of Sari's favorite places. Jumbo's, Jumbo's clown, clown room. room. We're all going to be going to Jumbo's clown room. Yeah. We were there just the oh. other night. They, they know me. That was a good time. I thought you were going, going to say McDonald's. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. Rita Moreno, the original West Side Story. I'm only joking, yeah. sir. I heard you were into five guys. <laughs> I really Take you there, too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You guys watch Oz on HBO? <laughs> Give it up for Rita. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this has gone on a third. very long time. She's a fine old broad. Oh my God. God. <laughs> 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 like dressed up for this shit. By the way, let's, let's remind everyone we haven't gotten to the first award yet. Yeah, and it's almost 4 30. <laughs> That's amazing. Five minutes in. 25 minutes in. I love these women on stage. Love them, respect them, but this is. Yeah. But not yeah. like this. That, this is, yeah. I'm going to turn into the... Agent 47 in a minute and start fucking shooting some people. That's what I'm going to do. This, this is how the elites masturbate. Is there one more? Is this the yeah. last one? Yeah, but she's a legend, man. Oh yeah. my True. God. I just want to thank. My agent, Kevin Uvain, and God, Harvey Weinstein. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Oh, what? It's aged well. God. It was God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh. <laughs> right. Who's got it? Actors in a supporting role. Someone said in the chat that Alan dressed up as the red carpet. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, Oscar goes to? Just somebody, please. Divine. Holdovers. Yeah, divine. Yeah. Yeah. Not a surprise. Yeah. I mean, well-deserved. Not a surprise. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, I, I mean, she, she was that's incredible. Fine. I have incredible. no problem with that. Absolutely. Uh, did you see the holdovers as? Uh, no, I think I'd like to though. I've heard it's pretty good actually. It's, it's on Peacock. It's like a movie made from the 1970s, like old school American, very independent, like a classic. It was really good. It's not. It's just a good story. Although now there's a controversy. The script was completely stolen. So yeah, I, I yeah, you should read them both. You oh you think so? Because they but they were showing line by line and what the outline was. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that, Rob? It's up in the air. That shit happens a lot, though, man. A lot more than what people realize. Yeah. Yeah. And she was legit good in the movie. This this yeah. is... Uh, no one's on yeah, Totally deserved, yeah. Absolutely. What's that? Totally deserved. Yeah, no, 100%. She's... Yeah. And Paul Giamatti, too, in that film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd actually like to see Giamatti win. Yeah. Jeez, Kara, how long does it take to cook fucking chicken? Come on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> see. Speaking of racism, where's Paulie? <laughs> yeah, he's not here. Hmm. Yeah, or Kira. I was I was hoping he was. I, I wanted to be I didn't want to be the racist most racist person here on the cat. So kind of disappointed now. <laughs> See, that's where it's good to be black ass because I can't be racist. She yeah. just yeah. thanked Barbara <laughs> Brock. Right. I just want to point out the, the producer <laughs> of the James Bond want. movies, <laughs> daughter of Albert All Brockley. She's, 
she's given a speech that's she's being very grateful. No, nothing she really is. Are they playing her? It's actually, a, it's yeah. actually gonna if it's gonna be like this all night, it's freaking boring. But that was a great speech, you guys. Hey, oh. she's great. That was a good no, no, it's the, it was the lead up. To that it. was amazing. <laughs> Go thank them round the back. Okay, holding yeah. Rita, did you see that? They were one down, fifty-eight to go. Is he not the most handsome man on the planet? Come oh on, look at that guy. God. Look at him. Oh Come God. on. All right, now we're in Days and wide wonder. So, okay, one down. One down. Here, here we go. Wait, here's something else. Imagine you've entered a new era in movie making and awards, where up is down, inclusion is exclusion, diversity isn't, and best has little to do with what delivers the highest caliber of entertainment. Is this Orwellian newspeak, or just the results of a modern culture war initiated by self-loathing, underrepresented whiners with a vendetta? We'll let you know after you fill out the identity form the Ministry of Woke just emailed you. If you tick only the white male box, please report for repurposing to 225 Silent Drive, having tested that even three wrongs don't make a right. Hollywood is now quadrupling down with four wrongs. Just wait for the five-letter acronym to finally deliver salvation to the disenfranchised. You've entered the DEI AJ Plus Zone. What I had nothing to do with that. I, I I'm just looking at these videos for the first time, just like all of you. So I have no idea what's actually. Going on. I, I want to I, I want to see that movie. Yeah, yeah I actually too. would watch that movie. <laughs> like I'd actually watch that. It's sort of like near the end of Madden Madam Web when it got so stupid. You're like, I'm just gonna laugh. It's yeah. not. I'm just go. I, I honestly had way more fun watching Madam Web than the Marvels. I think took itself too seriously. But Madam Web, at least by the end, it was just like, oh my god. It's just, it was, when she Amazing. drove that, what was it, the ambulance, like, over the building? Like, what was, oh, that was going amazing. on? That was, like, the best part of the movie. It was so... Come on, man. The Marvels had cats eating people to save them from a <laughs> right. crash spaceship. I mean, right. I never... My uh, bingo card on in 2023 did not have that on it. Right, for sure. Cats eating people to save them. Yeah, when you say it out loud like that, it just hits differently. Uh, pardon me. I know they're not cats. They're <laughs> flurkins. Alien life forms called flurkins that look like cats. But that was like my mom's fever dream come to life. Okay. Somebody wrote those words and someone gr greenlit those words. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 unbelievable. I do miss I do miss like some of the old hosts like Billy Crystal or B. Martin. You know, I, I've just realized that hosting the Oscars for the second time is like making love to a woman for the second time. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you mean when people were funny? wait a minute? Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel's just this not. Is an ama did we? This ad was amazing. <laughs> wow. What ad? The the fat acceptance ad. We oh, just the uh, obesity ad. Yeah. Shame has no place in it from no, Lily, the medical company. It absolutely does. And you should shame yourself into doing something. I mean, as you did, you've done it, man. You did it. Doing it. Doing it. Work in progress. Progress. Not Lily perfection. Gladstone's in a series on Hulu. So there you go. Yeah, I think that's what she started, right? Uh, Reservoir Dogs or, or Reservation Dogs, right? Reservation. Dogs. No, no, really, that's the name of it. That's a real move. That's, that's a real show. It's, it's good. Yeah. Dogs. It's from your favorite director, uh, Taika Waititi. Oh, that's what. Yeah. Things are financially tough all over. So right now, you should do what Tom Cruise does. At the end of each week, he takes a million dollars, and he just puts it away, <laughs> like it's not even there whether it's been a good week or a bad week. And then at the end of the year, you've got a little cushion. <laughs> okay, but he's making fun of how out of touch Hollywood is, right? Yes, 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 yes. exactly. Which would be a better how way to How well go. they're off, how privileged they actually are. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. What is this? It's sponsored by Inside Out 2. Oh, God. They're doing these little sort of like teases of the movies that most people didn't go see. The holdovers <laughs> did fine. seriously. I think the holdovers did fine, but Barbie and Oppenheimer were the big. I mean, that's yeah. they were the big ones everyone knows. Pretty much everyone saw. June two had another good week though, nearly at oh, four hundred oh, million worldwide. 
Yeah. Oh, is it? I didn't know. I didn't know what the second About week three, is. 367 uh, million worldwide right now. Nice. That was a nice yes. moment. A little behind uh, Oppenheimer pace, but uh, still looking good. I think it could have legs. I think it could even get a re-release like in the summer when it looks like nothing's coming out. Because there's the, nothing coming out. <laughs> the um, AMC Universal, which is playing in 70 millimeter for Dune Part 2, every screening is packed full until the end of the month. I can't get a ticket to it in 70 millimeter IMAX. Cool. Best screen in LA is that uh, theater. We'll take you there, as We'll go to the uh, Super Mario Land. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll be up for that. I have a friend who uh, works at Universal. He'll uh, he'll get us in the uh, back door, so to speak. <laughs> don't read anything. I, I don't go for those back door shenanigans, Chris. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try fun. most things once, but... <laughs> Not everything, as Not, Not everything. Yet. <laughs> yes sir batman <laughs> welcome to la ass <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh we're in the 80s gay here <laughs> that's all cocaine fueled <laughs> yeah 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 oh animated feature oh my god the stars of furiosa baby i can't wait Cannot wait. And and Dune Part Three. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. They make, that's a whole conversation there. Well, they're not together though. Chris Hemsworth's not in Dune Part Three. Right, right. Don't worry, chat. I'll just Arnie bring Taylor bottles of water with me when I'm on the We're getting a George Miller oh, right. Mad Max animated movie. That's feature film. To celebrate. Elemental. Yeah, Elemental. <laughs> boy in the Heron. So it's gonna be boy Nimona. Nimona. Is it gonna be across the spider verse or boy in the heron? Quick, I quick. Boy and Heron. Heron. I think it's Boy and Heron. Heron. Spider Verse. I think Spider Verse. Spider -verse yeah. Yeah. It's it's not my personal pick. It's what I think is going to win. Yeah. Totally agree. So you're saying Hollywood hates Asians? Gotcha. Uh, they yeah. Do. I really do. do like this five the the nominee thing coming up the back. Wait, who won? Pretty Why cool. you got to be right in the no, back? No, again? no, no they haven't done it yet. <laughs> well, they're kind of doing a double. Awards oh, no. here. I'm really curious what the running time of this show. Oh, they're be. doing short. They're doing shorts. Oh. oh. Can they do quicks? <laughs> quicks. I wish. Oh wait. Joining us. Wait, we're gonna. Well, I'll br I see someone waiting in our green room. I will bring you on shortly. Or oh, I just <laughs> missed. Who won? So the John Lennon, it? the John Lennon, the John Lennon thing won, and there's a guy that looks like John Lennon, who won, or didn't win. Wait, what? <laughs> War is over. One. War is over. Yes, a guy. It's it's using the music of John Lennon, right? Oh, we've gone to a different one. Okay, sorry. Looking we're... like John Lennon. Okay. Yeah, they they went to animated short, not animated yeah. feature. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. It was over. Yeah. That... I was almost. Uh... On the, on the verge of caring about something. the war is over. Yeah, <laughs> inspired by the music of John and Yoko, and John Lennon won the award. Look at he's there. Imagine that cosplay Lennon. Goodbye, Lennon. What a good film that was. That's why it looks like John Lennon. He's John Lennon's son, Sean. Totally makes sense. We don't talk about Julian Lennon. I didn't know oh, that, right. by the way. I just learned that right now. I was making fun of him, and I learned it is actually Sean Lennon. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sean O'Connor. Like John no. Lennon. That's his son. Oh. I, I should you leave totally the stream it. in shame. <laughs> right I mean, why then? Yeah, and the this speech is, this for speech sure, is really I'm going long. Hang on a second. Joining us now is the new spokeswoman for Buffalo Wild Wings, Kira Lynn. Wait, there's a technical issue. Welcome to the stage from Hollywood First Look, Kira Lynn. Wow. Jeez, he, oh, wait a sec. You're kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hello. You're... Hello, everyone. Sorry that I'm tardy. Oh, don't worry about it. Yet. Look at that. And looking very sparkly. Yeah. Now Thank the circle you. is complete. Mike. He looks well too happy. 
I know I've, I literally could not get my television to work, so I couldn't turn the Oscars on. So <laughs> I know, that's working. behind you. Yes, it is. If your eyes are that way. I can see, I can see it in the monitor, so I can see what's going on. <laughs> you can do anything if you haven't already gathered, you guys. I can. Wait, hey girl. Here we go. Animated feature. All right. <laughs> it's probably going to be Spider Verse. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to be Spider Verse. But it would be like Godfather movie. One and Godfather Two in terms of Oscar history. Oh yes, we're uh, Godfather Two One. Yes. Oh, boy in the yes. hair. On. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Boom. I knew it. Yep. Told you. You were right. We got it. Wow. I, I wanted to. Oh, come on. No, I should have. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy yeah. with that. Look, now there's five of them in the background. The fact that Miyazaki just won another Oscar or did an Oscar, this is amazing. This is a monumental, this really is, all jokes aside, this is a very cool thing. Yeah. Best speech. And um, apparently none of the, uh, none of them are there to accept the award from uh, Studio Ghibli, so. I don't oh, God, no. He, no, they've got talent. Miyazaki is 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 he said this was his retirement movie, so I hope he's still in great health, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't yeah, it may end up being his last film. Yeah. So it's really cool that if this is Miyazaki's last work, it's pretty cool that he won the Oscar. No disrespect. I want to put the ladies on the side of as to make no, an as sandwich. Look, I wanted to the guys and I kind of matched. I'm yeah. happy to be on the bottom. Dante and I can do blow together. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let you square right. hang up, up, up there. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah. we'll We're going to go back to the 80s, our 80s successes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just oh, yeah. loving the optics of a, of a black man on the middle row being demoted to the bottom row. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that one with Chris. All right. Okay. Bad office, yeah. man. Bad well, I'm Follow. Jewish, so solidarity. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, oh, the no. communities that's always made the strength. Can they be here in the middle, and I be down there, and and okay, you know. all right, that's what you will. You do that. Oh, hey, I'll well. take it. But I love this man. Now he's. I'm gonna have to play grab ass with Az now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so that. damn good. You know, it's okay by me. You know, we just show toys off or something. There you go. I walk on the wild side. So what did I miss? Who? The support nothing. 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 Did I miss nothing? You didn't miss nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To be honest, nothing. Just, Ten oh, minutes ago, there was only one one award announced. No, I'm only joking. Can I get back in the middle, please? They've <laughs> given three <laughs> awards out in forty minutes. <laughs> three awards. Oh, go, minutes. Go, go, go. No, no, only three awards in forty <laughs> minutes. I That's where we're at. Doing this. You should probably grab some super chats while we're. Hey, let's let's on. okay, yeah, do some super chats here. Um, <laughs> hey. Bush and Ryukat down there. You five down there. Home memberships. Bush and Ryukat goes on to say for 10. Chris, sorry, I missed it up till now. Was visiting family, couldn't get away. Glad you paying everyone to come on your show. You're all winners. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Well, thank you. Um, Justin Martins for 20. Hey, Chris, I know this is off topic, but please peer pressure as into joining Critics Court this year. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> That's up to I'm just happy as comes on the Oscar show. Not gonna pressure him. <laughs> if he's feeling it, he's feeling it. But we have to get the new season of Critics Court is probably gonna be Star Trek. I know I need to have Burnett on the show. Uh so, yeah. Please. <laughs> what time talk. is it where you are as uh it's uh eleven forty. Eleven forty two at the minute. Well, a little early. You you had uh you had uh, daylight savings, so I actually got an hour back, which is good. Oh. Snake Oil Sean for 10 says, someday we will be able to make a better AI version of the Oscars with better hosts from Hollywood's past and tailor it to movies we liked better anyways. Highlander and Talladega Nights. <laughs> After wow. what? Wow. That is the combination. Okay. Josh L, $4.99 for uh, Verbal Riot's Shades. Oh. Subscribe to Verbal Riot. Dante's going to get the channel. He's going to be doing if, live uh, streams every week, right? If I weren't wearing these, I wouldn't be able to see, so... Sorry, man, you can't have them for well up that price level, maybe 20 bucks. Oh, this is a good um Alan little note for you. 
please put large text closed captioning on the TV playing the Oscars. Uh, did you hear that, Alan? Okay, I'll, that's I'll a great yeah, Unfortunately, idea, I'm by not by the TV. Kudos to officers. No, but could you could you turn that on? Why is it the Asians are eating? I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is what we is it here, Special too, Asian right? time or something? You know, it's eating time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. lar large, closed captioning. Here we go. Um, all, right, all right, wait, the show is back. They're previewing. Did I mention I'm in Texas? Texas? That looks Oh, wow. Yeah. Alan's Burger Review short documentary got su snubbed, says I Wizard know. Shack for two. And uh, Barry McCall. <clears throat> Barry uh, could, you, could you? No, no, no. Could we get, like, Sari to read this? By the way, this is very cool, though. He's a great, Barry. <laughs> what is, could you read this? Uh, his name, Barry, Barry McCulkiner? McCulkiner. Yeah, close. Barry McCulkiner. Barry McCulkiner for five goes on to say Miyazaki winning on the heels of Toriyama San's passing makes it double cool. Have a great stream, guys. Love you, as that's great. Barry, keep saying it to yourself like over and over, and you'll you'll hear it. <laughs> it's right over my head. That I <laughs> just as just as nearly four foot three. So wait, 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 wait. Okay, Kira, Kira, maybe Kira can give it a shot. Can you just read this guy's name? Barry McCulkiner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and now Siri leaves. <laughs> got it. Okay. So thank you, Barry McCulkiner. Uh, we'll get to more of these. We got a lot. Um, okay, back to the show. <laughs> you have to say it. The timing and the way that you had to say it yes. had to roll off the tongue. Mm -hmm. It's a big, cattle. Uh, big she category, said. guys. Yeah. Yeah, what it's category? Coming. Adapted screenplay. Okay. Let's see. Just read the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, this show's dragon. Uh, yeah. And that's just what the men are wearing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, let's see. But maybe critics are right. Maybe Hollywood movies are too violent. Now, I took a nine-year-old kid to see Gladiator, and he cried through the entire film. Now, maybe it was because he didn't know who I was. <laughs> wow. Oh, Steve Martin. Russell Crowe looks like a baby in that clip. You see that? Yeah. I know he's not even hitting anyone. Wow, that that applause for the holdovers, uh, that was not good. Mm. Oh, yeah. The story then, just hit yesterday about mm -hmm. the controversy. What happened? I don't know. It's there's an accusation that the holdover screenplay, the outline and full speeches were lifted from another screenplay. But the, but the I guy hope it wins. wins. I, I want to see what happens to the room. If it oh wins. my! If if it wins, this is going to be the most interesting speech of the night. Wow! Here we go. Wow! That's... Oh, this is original screenplay, not adapted. Yeah. Wait. By the way, shouldn't me the anatomy of a fall? An anatomy wow. of a fall one. Oh, wow. wow! That was the only yeah. movie I didn't watch. Okay, so far, uh, Chris, I, we're tied. We're tied so far. Oh my god! Yeah, All right. That's well, good. we picked the holdovers on that one. I kind of wanted to see the holdovers win, just to see what the speech would have been. Didn't? Why didn't you just ask them? <laughs> why didn't you just tell them, <laughs> Chris? Can't you make some phone calls? <laughs> yeah, Chris, you're that powerful. Anatomy of a fall. 
a movie no one saw. Yeah, no. nobody saw this movie. Nobody saw this movie. Kira didn't see the movie. Mm -mm. I think that's the only one out of the out of this category that I didn't watch. Are you getting barbecue sauce on your face? I did. <laughs> I am hungry now. I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> I really wanted. Chris talked about Buffalo Wild Wings earlier this week, and I was like, "Oh, I really want to eat that now." And I'm like, "I can only eat it once a week." You, you got so yeah, yeah, yeah. What's all that sugar? All the hey, sugar. Hey, mm -hmm. Alan, can you get the, can you get the closed captioning on the screen there? Maybe someone uh, that could make that happen. Someone could. I don't think someone knows how to make that happen. <laughs> I believe in do, that. Do you somewhere. realize this generation, this current generation and televisions don't don't jive anymore? But they know computers. I Alan, was just, yes. it, is Alan's angle, are you, are you going for a serial killer making a video? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, this is an original painting here oh. uh, by an Oscar award winner. Sorry. But uh, this is the art director of... Uh, of Star Trek next, uh, the, the motion picture. Oh, wow, it's, it's a Voyager. Okay. No, now, why is the it's body a Voyager? Yeah, yeah, you Harold, see Harold Livingston, Vija, the, the, the artist, uh, Vija. Oh, yeah, wow, Vija. yeah. I love that. Like, we could talk about Star Trek, the motion picture, and it is a personal favorite of both mine and RMB, huge yes. favorite. But I can't believe that these went to this super advanced. Robotic okay, this, race. this is adapted screenplay, by the way. Right. Okay, this is adapted screen. But okay, with the super advanced race, and basically they renamed this probe based on a spelling error. Yeah, but they didn't know error. what that was. Kind of. I mean, they, they sounded Major? out, they didn't know. You know, I mean I it's like the binars. You could have said no. Look, by the way, I love Star Trek the motion picture. I love it unapologetically. I know people have issues with it, but I it's the best I love Star that Trek thing. movie. I uh, it My feels like it's a movie. It's, yeah, Star Star Trek Two is Moby Dick in space. Yeah, which which I also I thought Star enjoyed. Trek Four was Moby Dick in space. No, <laughs> hey, yeah, one in Wales, the other one did. But they were having a whale of a time. <laughs> was it Generations Moby Dick in space? <laughs> No, that was no, dog generations. shit in space. The less said, the better. Yeah. <laughs> this could be a big thing right now. This this could be who's going to win this? Absolutely. Who, who do we want to win, you guys? Oppenheimer. Uh, Christopher Nolan. Uh, okay, it it's going to be an interesting night. <laughs> this, is, this is now where it's getting interesting. It's going to be zone of interest because that's the one that nobody watched. <laughs> yeah. Well, if Oppenheimer's going to break play. records, it's got to win this one. Actually, zone of interest... Was a good British oh, author. American fiction is American fiction. American, American fiction. fiction. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. American fiction what? won. <laughs> American fiction. That was your pick, Alan. That was. I am winning this race. Now so he, Alan's winning. Great. I just uh, jumped I'm, ahead. I'm I'm satisfied with this. Cork Jefferson. Yeah, I really like it though. And really, that movie was excellent. Yeah. It really was. Uh, I was really surprised at how funny and thoughtful it really was. Because I, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking about going into oh, it. Oh, Jeffrey Wright was a man. Come on. <laughs> but the the thing about that movie, I wish it leaned more into a lot of the the stuff that made it interesting. The family drama, I just didn't care about. It wasn't as oh, interesting I as I, I, yeah, I don't I thought, know. I was way into that family drama. I think. Sterling K. Brown, this is probably one of his best performances. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, uh, I've i never seen him play a, a character like he did as the younger brother uh, in mm. American So, you know. More I, vulnerable than This Is Us. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're up here for my food. You got to go. <laughs> is it finished yet? <laughs> the food or the speech? No, the Oscars. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. It, we, it's not even the first hour. Ad. This is pretty political, though. This is it's nice. I love reading the comment section or the chat section as this is going. Um, 
they're funny in in the chat room. The chat's on fire. It, they really are. <laughs> By the way, what he just said might be the most important thing anyone says tonight. I, I missed it. What did he, 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 he said oh, you can agree. risk two hundred million dollars. You'll risk that, but what about a ten or twenty million dollar yeah. risk? How about that? Yeah. Mm. Ooh, yep. nice. Yeah. Mm. Well, this was an Amazon movie. You know what? That was a great speech, and and yeah. everybody should listen to that because mm -hmm. the next score says he could be out there. Mm -hmm. Well and done. We do sir. have to talk about important things like what flavor <laughs> these are. It says Buddy Lembeck. It's medium buffalo. That was a great speech. Great speech. And that's kind of that's the kind of politics we need in Hollywood. Yeah, in one interview I heard he talked about the black experience and how. At the worst, it's slavery, and at the best, it's the presidency. And then he talks about, but there's so many stories in the middle. Yep. And that he I wanted mean, to tell and, one of those and stories. And he said he, he tried so so long to not be angry and all that. And that was great. Oh, here's a good good time to put up this super chat here from MK Solid 82 for 499. Just heard that Billy Eilish demands a ceasefire when it comes to the mid Middle East. Can we at least be lectured by people who were alive during 9-11. <laughs> well, and remember, there was a ceasefire on October 6th, just so you know. Yeah. That yeah. worked out real there, well. Rick. Where are all the women's groups? How are you? And uh, Lofty I'm Pixels saying. will be on our Versus show tomorrow, doing the Oscar hangover. And Wait, what? Script Doctor says, uh, well, I guess the holdovers can avoid that issue now, saved by the loss, as it were. Um, I don't know if you're watching the performance. Maybe this is a good time to actually go through Super Chat. <laughs> <laughs> like during this song. Do it. Okay, I'll do it. All oh, right. Wait, this this duo did win an Oscar previously for a James Bond theme song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, by That's the way, we didn't know it because it was the category after the slap. <laughs> yeah, we weren't even paying attention. Right. <laughs> That's right. You got to give it up for these two because they are true mm -hmm. artists. I mean, what whatever you think of them, they are really an amazing duo, family duo of musicians. They're yeah. really amazing. They really uh, are. I, I, I love Billie Eilish. Yeah. I, I, I have no problem saying that out loud. I, I, I don't care. If I don't me. either. I, I think she's talented. I think she has an amazing voice. I, I'm all for her. Speaking of other family duos. And the Oscar goes to... Angelina Jolie. This is the first Academy Award nomination for Angelina Jolie. God, I'm surprised nobody's ever fainted up here. Oh, I'm, I'm in shock. And I'm so in love with my brother right now. <laughs> He just held me and said he loved me, and I know he's so happy for me. <laughs> Keep it in the family, that's all. Oh my god. It's just wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. Incest is a game for the family. <laughs> Uh, I prefer operation myself, but <laughs> hey man, it's wrong in I'm real life. It's, it's it's wrong on Pornhub and it's wrong in real life. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think though, at least in Pornhub, is they're not really. <laughs> it's any fucking bullshit. Yeah, you hope, right? <laughs> Just take all those bad tropes and have somebody get caught in like a dryer. Yeah, this was a great just, performance, you guys. I just want to throw was. it out there. I just want to throw it out there. Yeah, no, it is. I it was. I have paid attention to it. Well, years ago, before oh. Billie Eilish really broke out, I passed up an opportunity to interview her over Alice Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I had the choice, Alice Cooper or Billie Eilish. And I went with Alice Cooper. You made the right choice. You made don't, the right don't, choice. don't be a... A star oh. effort. You, right you did the right Alice thing. You did the right Alice Cooper. Yeah, you did the right thing. Job. That that was what. By the way, Chris, do you remember talking to Phineas last year? Uh, I don't remember. 
<laughs> where, where were we? He was, we were at the tar party, and uh, the publicist actually plopped him in front of us to talk to him. Oh, I think I was trying to get to the bar, and he was in the way. We just missed the Beetlejuice <laughs> Beetlejuice promo. Uh -huh. Did we? Yeah. Where, where's the Beetlejuice promo? Well, they it was Michael Keaton and oh oh and Catherine O'Hara. Yeah. There you go. All right, yet another commercial break. Uh, well, uh, I'll just bring some great news to the table. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm having a new boiler fitted, and it's more fucking interesting than this. <laughs> <laughs> a new what? Boiler fitted? Boiler, that yeah. Boiler. boiler. For that's tea. You know that baby, water you know what I'm saying. You wash yourself with. That's not magic. Oh, my God. Um, while we're in commercial break, <laughs> let's go through some supers here real quick. Super sticker from Sherry K for two. Thank you. Nick Brown for 499. K Ray Girl, do you prefer flats or drumsticks for chicken wings or no preference? <laughs> also, ranch or blue cheese? Inquiring minds want to know. I love them both. Uh, I don't I don't have a preference. And blue cheese. Oh, mm -hmm. mm, that's the right answer. We were just hanging out. I just saw Kira uh, actually on Friday. We were at an event that was a kickoff for the Gotham Follies 1939. Oh, you know that book by that. Russell Beatty? Uh, as I'm sure you, I, did you have one, right? That book, the Batman book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. They're doing a burlesque show based on that book. Like a vaudeville burlesque show. And uh, oh, it was so I'm great. So, I'm we, just uh, trying to work out how the that works. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, yeah. It's the same, stream guy, together. the same guy. To the, you. The, uh, the Empire Strips Back. And, uh, it's the same guy to the Empire Strips Back, which was fantastic. Um, more because we're behind here. Justin Martins for 10. Love the show. Only way I'll watch the Oscars anymore. Good to see X Ray Girl made it again. Yeah. There we go. Eric Stratton for 777. Who does Alan look the most like? Number one son or number two son, C Chan? Serious question. Love the ladies and as Epic Mike says, what up, y'all? And Benjamin Mike. Flensborg. Flensborg, yeah. Flensborg member for one month says, hi, all. First Oscars for me in over a decade. Ugh. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> Cram for 20 says, hey, thanks for hosting such a boring event as it does make the experience more palatable. Jaro 96 for 199. They're so afraid of the strike. That was so cringe. You had the strike <laughs> thing at the beginning. Oh, they were pandering. I was like totally that. pandering to IATSE. Yeah, Peter Gorumby yeah. Bay for 10 says, the only Oscar I care about is Oscar the Grouch. Most Service for 5 says, how did Az go from being, I'm not going to say that, to the most sexy person on screen? Slob. Yeah, it's a compliment. Say it. Sorry, Sari. He paid Seriously, his money. As he paid his money. Good brother. I just, I can't say it. I can't say it. As is a gentleman, a scholar, and uh, the kindest person I've got to hang out with on streams. And uh, I'm just glad to know him. I can't wait to like meet him in person. We'll be super gay together. Um, that was the best speech of the night. Please, yes. That's, the, that's my Oscar speech. Chris, Chris has French. sent me uh, he has sent me underwear in the post, and that is true. I did send Tommy Weasel underwear that I bought at LA Comic Con. From signed. Tommy Weasel signed. 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 RMB, does that vending machine give tiny cokes? It does indeed. Oh, it does. I'm not I'm not kidding. Wait, really? Uh, it, 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 the, the thing is, it gives cans, six scale cans, but there's no Coke in them. But it oh. does dispense cans. And oh. it works It works with one six scale quarters. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. Thank you, New Whoa. Wave Boys. Thank oh you, New God. Wave Boys. It's new Coke that is as opposed crazy. to. Well, that's all. Thank you for noticing. It's a oh. new Coke that machine. Is some that is Good. a new Coke machine I when I was in high school in the mid 80s. New Coke. It happened. So uh -oh. I had, they, they offered both. I had to get the new Coke. New new Coke. Oh my <laughs> God. Old oh, night. Five it's pounds a constant is. reminder of the folly of trying to change what already works. Okay. Tell as it could be worse for everyone. Jonathan Wass Ross. makes everything shit. Jonathan Wass. I've met him. I've met him. He has oh, a, he has a waist. Yeah. So it'd be Jonathan Wass. Yeah. yeah. Jonathan, Jonathan Walsh. Um, Bonesaw is ready for five. Last Oscars oh, I watched was the one where 
Crash One. Oh my God, that's a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> Munich was robbed. Happy to be watching with y'all. Anthony Guarino for 199 says, hopefully Sound of Freedom gets major love. <laughs> <laughs> Probably mm. not, unfortunately. Uh, a bucket of... S wait, can someone... Uh, oh, here we go. Look at it. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, a bucket of semen. 45 something. Do you guys know what those Thank watermelon you. pins some of the actors are wearing. Mark Ruffalo was wearing one. <laughs> yes. I know what they are. I know what they what are. What are they? Those are people that don't know what a parliamentary democracy is and what it means to a certain <laughs> region of the world. Uh, do we know yeah, that's all I'm saying? Yeah. It's a, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, and, hmm. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I thought they were just being racist. Well, we let's know well you know what? Let's put, let's put that out there. Yeah, sure. It's time we up the diversity and, and, factor. And it is being racist, <laughs> just so you know. It's time to up the diversity factor here as we bring on... Ladies and gentlemen, so please welcome Polly from Latino Slant. Hey. Here he is. Wow. Polly. Quite an introduction. Yeah. yeah. Well, wow. Let's just let's, let's jump right into it, r &B. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's my watermelon pin? Did I jump into it? What's happening, everybody? Good to see you. Parliamentary everybody. democracy, man. The ladies Inclusion look lovely for as ever. In that government. The ladies well, look as, lovely as ever. Look, as Oscar for makeup and hairstyle. Poor things. Okay, I think I got that one. Is it poor things? Yeah. Who won? Uh, makeup and hairstyle. Tied. By the way, well deserved. Well deserved. We're tied now. We are so tied. Is isn't Melissa, no, if that isn't Gary's wife, Melissa, I'm not interested. <laughs> makeup right, and right. hair. Well, look, based, uh, you know, just to follow up on your comment, Rob. Yeah, 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 racism sucks. Racism sucks. Racism sucks. Wow. <laughs> it truly does. And I, I need to tan the rest of my body, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking a little pale. Oh, my God. It's wow. winter, Dante. Come on, man. So Everyone's happy. a bit covered <laughs> up right now. This is rad. So, as was... As and I were DMing early, earlier this week, and he told me that he's lost a seri-sized amount mm. of weight. Wow. He's lost, I think, if, is it okay if I say it? As yeah, 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 yeah. 110 pounds <laughs> since mm. last Oscar stream. Bravo. Wow. Bravo, yes. He lost an entire seri. I, yeah. I, I am British, and I was talking about <laughs> currency, though. That was the problem. <laughs> and so, I'll, poor I'll things just... won, or what? Yeah, poor things, poor things won. won. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah well poor, deserved, by the way. Four foot one, <laughs> and uh, she raised uh, thirteen pounds. Production design. Okay. No, hey, congrats, Siri, as. What's yeah. the most awkward thing that's happened on the stream today? Right now, my comments about parliamentary democracy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Reading for me, reading. yeah. Talking, right? <laughs> Walking into a hornet's nest there. No, no. Parliamentary democracy is always good. No comment. <laughs> Let's talk. Well, now movies. we know why Golda Let's have and some fun. Win that category. Anyone drunk oh, yet at the to... red carpet? Yes. Leo, yes, I am. Leo Cody. Okay, but that you. does not that does not negate my uh, point of view. No, no. Talking about at the awards, anyone like you know, saucy no, up there all, with the speeches? Epped up on Ketamine. <laughs> I wish. Okay, this is who's gonna. This is a. This is a interesting. I think poor things has got to take this. Uh, I think poor things. It. Production. Design. Poor things for production design. They just won. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so there yeah. Go. So they're winning all those awards. Who won? And Zion42, I got both your super chats. I just haven't gotten to them. Sorry about that. And Leo Cody, if you sent me a video, I don't see it in my inbox, but it's all good. Uh, has there been any upsets? Who's won? I, I, I literally just turned everything on. Yeah, here. Divine no Joy Randolph surprise. in the category, <laughs> acting category. So far. No big surprises except for maybe the boy in the hair on because everyone expected, I think, Spider-Verse. But... No, it already oh. won one. Nah. Oh. It won. Boy in the Heron won. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. 
Right on. Look at that dashing dasher. As looks so serious. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I lost interest fucking nine was ago. <laughs> <laughs> Out of this. Did you anyone anyone uh is there any uh nominations for Sound of Freedom? No. None as in zero. Why the F not? It's exactly because they love kids and fucking them in Hollywood. <laughs> it's it's exactly the type of movie that years ago the Oscars would have championed that movie. It's a social issue, it's yeah. very diverse, it's a true story, it checks all the boxes of the type of movie. Hollywood would have championed, but because everything's so politically polarized. And it also was a Fox film. It was made by yeah. 20th Century Fox. It was a they buried it. It was acquired by Angel Studios. Well, it was made by Fox. I'm, uh, I'm listening to Fox everything Studios you're saying, Columbia. Rob. I'm listening. Yeah, it was made by everything. Fox, buried by Disney, and then bought by Angel. Right. Yeah. No, it wasn't bought by Angel. It was bought by uh, it was bought by the filmmakers back. Angel just distributed it. Oh. Yeah. And then they did Cabrini. Uh, oh. Same thing with Cabrini. It's good. Yeah. I think my TV's a little bit ahead. Oh! They're showing the streaker. Oh, yeah. nice. Streaker David Nibble. footage. Nice. Oh, is he there tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be amazing if he was. <laughs> wait, was that? Did that happen? Back in the day, it did. Oh, wait. In the 70s. What's going on, Dante? Uh, oh, oh, here it goes. Oh, it's John Cena naked. Okay. Oh, John I don't Cena have the volume on at the awards. You could have it on low, Polly, so you can hear. Oh, Jimmy, don't stop. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is this is a. Fucking get on with it. You're always yeah, making yeah. me hungry. Oh my god. I'm Gary, you're always making me hungry. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it took Buffalo Wild Wings forever to deliver. So, Ooh. Mm. quiet everybody. John Cena is acting. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has John Cena followed everybody on the planet? Yeah, on Twitter. <laughs> mm. I don't like he has. He actually is. Wow. You look better than Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> All right. Well, there he is. He's got flip flops on. <laughs> he shut his naked across the stage. That's pretty extraordinary. Oh, That's not yeah. visual effects. Why, why didn't they paint him gold? You know, they could have done <laughs> yeah. something. Well, he would have suffocated. I mean, the boy yeah, is. Envelope. He's giving out the awards I, for costumes. I asked the question again. Why didn't they paint him gold? <laughs> that that, would, that would have made sense. I like John Cena. Oh. I like him. My favorite John Cena is when he apologizes to China. Right. right. Mr. China. <laughs> That's my favorite John Cena. Costume design? Okay. I, I can't, I can't oh. believe you agreed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Napoleon. Costume um, could be poor things. It could be. Wow, this not movie's gonna perform, but, and it's weird. And then, because this movie did not do great box office. Poor By the thing. way, I just want to point out that I do do yeah. a podcast called Designing Hollywood, where I've interviewed most of these people. And so now he's wearing a dress. I'll say, mm -hmm. I hope. Let's see who wins. I am. Very you excited. Can't bring poor things. Yeah. Nepo poor poor things. things. Not had really good dress. Yeah, we're still tied. <laughs> wow. You and I are tied. But yeah. I'm surprised Oppenheimer is. Oh, for costume. Oppenheimer had the most nominations at 13, so this is interesting. I, well, it's I, not. I would agree with it's not the doing four well. things uh, win for costume design. That was that costume design was great. Yeah. But these are the ones that they they can give to poor things. And they, I think if poor things starts winning the big ones, it's a it's a true upset. Well, so far, if Oppenheimer wins everything else, they'll, they'll it'll tie the record for most. But Poor Things is more of like, you know, your Hollywood decade in film, right? That's that's probably why, too. You know. Yeah, people used to like those. Man. Yeah. Well, this is looking pretty good for Emma Stone. Mm. Yeah, it's probably going to be... But it's funny. It's a movie that no one has seen. 
let's be fair, right? What's well, like, on Disney Plus now? How wait, 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 right. that doesn't <laughs> help anything. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Poor things is on Disney Plus. Like, there's no yes, way that is. poor things is on Disney Plus. No. It's on Disney yeah. Plus. Okay. Really? Yeah, no. it's, yeah, but it's got like an adult you lock see on it. Bush, dude. <laughs> it has an adult <laughs> lock on it. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I saw. Oh, was it does. An oh, unedited version where they took out the sex scene in front of the small children. <laughs> oh Jesus. It's funny yeah. you say that because the Babylon Bee just tweeted out chaos at the Oscars as Chris Hansen appears on stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the problem is everybody was taking a seat. Oh dear. Hey all. Yeah, you either. Uh, I sat down with Matt, my fiance. We watched four things, and I looked at him. And he's not a movie guy. He's more of a music guy. And I looked at him, I'm like, you're either going to really like this movie or you absolutely are going to hate it. I think he fell asleep within the first 20 minutes. Oh, I'm they're like, playing her <laughs> off. I'm like, Emma, wow. first like person Emma first off. First of the week uh, of the of the show. The Rock. Although it is Hulu and Disney Plus, but the joke is better with just saying Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's The Rock and John Cena. Yeah. Uh, comedy moment. No. Who's the other dude? Did John Cena get dressed now? All right. No. Call me high. The first time I met Ed was in the county lockup in Tempe, Arizona. Don't forget his profile, Ed. Turn to the right. A day I'll never forget. Turn to the right. License and registration, sir. <laughs> brilliant <laughs> acting, Kira. Brilliant acting. Oh, thank you. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it's we're just we're like an hour in. <laughs> oh, come on. How, how much more to go, Alan? Now we're in who? Uh, hey, well, again, hey, thankfully, we started an hour early. Yeah, so we're on early, early. Five minutes left. <laughs> Kira, just, I'm getting. I'm I'm just, like, what is about you? <laughs> I'm I'm getting, they're behind. <laughs> All right, I'm bravo in this commercial. Right bravo. We're in commercial, so I'm going to blow just through saying, some supers bravo. here. Bravo to Robert Meyer Burnett. Zion forty two for wow. four nine nine says, "I'd rather watch you guys not giving them the ratings satisfaction." John Ooh. Manalang, Alan looking muy caliente with that red yeah. shirt. Looking forward to your show tonight, boys and gal. I'm, I'm not a fan of that I'm angle the, going up uh, Alan's nose and nostrils there. Unfortunately, I'm on my iPad. You want to look up his so. nose? Yeah, it's not that sexy to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, Sean, remember? And NYC indie filmmaker <laughs> Sujua Ekanayake has become a member. Hey, Sujua. And... D Irishman 1998 for 199 says X Ray has wings. What's all y'all's fave Oscar snack? Ooh. Fave Oscar snack? Anyone? I'm old fashioned. Say, Ooh, old, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sydney like Sweeney. It, it, it so. emboldens me more so than Dante's unbelievable blow. Speaking of, <laughs> keep speaking of Sydney Sweeney, just just keep boat. showing. Sorry, hell yeah. Sorry, but. You can sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm not sorry. I said the name wrong. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Thanks for making it so fun. And Demonic Rebellion gifted Ooh. five Film Threat memberships. Oh, by the way, check the members tab because I think we're doing a giveaway. It may have already happened. Uh, we give away like codes for movies, digital codes. All right, the show's okay, still in commercial. Still in commercials. Pry Dane Chronicles for five pounds says British actors who never won an Oscar, not even honorary. Richard Burton, John Hurt, James James Mason, Dirk mm, Bogard, Trevor Howard, just a random fact. Oh. And Zion42 wow. 
for 999 says Frank skipped over my super uh super chat earlier, so I'll never oh. super chat. Oh, wait. Anywho, classy group again. RMB tips the scales this year as a welcome addition, as is the luckiest person on the panel. Because I know him and we hang out. Well, I think he's in the sandwich. Oh, situation. wait, he's in the sandwich. He's in the sandwich zone. Um, Emily Kruger oh, for five says the sandwich this live zone. Let me tell you about the as. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got a high five. As there, look at that. Love it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you the it should be like that and then down there <laughs> yeah, exactly. this live stream watch party has become my new favorite thing to watch instead of the oscars every year now well thank you for that and neb zibby for five says to alaning what's better parasite or everything everywhere all at once to verbal riot what's better django unchained 12 years a slave or green book love y'all my choices are better uh, everything yeah, everywhere I was going to say, once. Alan, what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything yeah. everywhere all at once. All right. And wow. then, Dante, how do you respond? You know what? I'm going to go with uh, Django Unchained only because of the fact that it was funny. Yeah. Django Unchained's fucking brilliant film. It's a yeah, great one. I, was, I love that film. Oh, oh, and it gave us some of the best memes. 12 Years a Slave wasn't <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, if they ran that then. through, I, I don't know. I don't know as if I sent you that thing, that video of that AI software that analyzes your script for, for uh, bias. Wow. I did a video on it. I'll, I'll DM it to you. It's crazy. Yeah. This we crazy. Run, though, like, None of my videos like go up. It's, it's basically the movie version of Sweet Baby uh, Ink. It's everywhere. This is the thing. It's everywhere and everything all at once. Oh. Hi, old. You're not wrong. Is is anyone gonna slap anyone tonight? I'm just uh, gonna mention the slap tonight. Play your cards right. Hey. <laughs> By the way, this is pretty cool. I have to say. What this performance? Oh, what? Yeah, uh, it's a, a best song performance. We've never seen something like this at the Oscars. It's cool they did this, right? Oh, and, and it's, this, it's for the movie, is, I guess. It's cool. I have the perfect. Well, the, the thing with uh, the color right killer. Back. Flowers of the Killer Moon, uh, Robbie Robinson, uh, rest in peace of the movie, the of the uh, of the music act, the band. Yeah, uh, I have did, to say, I worked with the him score, on a on a, did on the a score, TV commercial once. Cool, wow. did the score for this, and he's nominated. Probably it, it, my pick is either him or John Williams, but uh, the music I really love the music to to to. It's probably well, my favorite thing about Flowers. It was amazing. I, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I did a, a public service announcement for a Native American community, the Iroquois Nation, uh, uh, and they were acknowledged as contributing to the Constitution of the United States. Oh. And I, uh, Robbie Robertson agreed to do the music, and it was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Does anyone think that them having them on the stage is a little too uh, virtue signaling and a little too performative? Well, it was nominated, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying. I mean, no way, no way. I mean, they did the work. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, as they're nominated. I mean, what else would they do? Yeah. I'm just, just asking a question. Good answers. No, no, <laughs> I, 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 no. <laughs> but you it, it was amazing. They were able to do that. It was so cool. <laughs> Is that the Rock? Yeah. That's the Rock and Bad Bad Bunny. Oh, ah. Uh, yeah. Holly, we need you to translate. What what happened? I see a WrestleMania match right here. <laughs> he was supposed to be a what El Muerto, but he backed out of the movie. Well, oh, this is a foreign foreign film. Foreign, Who yeah. you guys got? Uh, by the way, is it foreign. I got international I got features? these shirts for Alan and Dante and myself to wear in Vegas. Nice. What? Yeah, nice. Badass. I want That's one. Badass shirt. I want one. Those have been around for Weirdly, a while. Weirdly, that looks Asian to me. <laughs> I like that they're catching on, Gore, because they've been around for a while. I want oh, Perfect really? Days to Win, but oh, yeah. it was directed by a German. It's Wait. tough. It's dichotomy. Who wins? Uh, how does going to how Society of the Snow oh, not get up on Society that? of the Snow won. Because Japan didn't uh, submit it. Z what did I predict? Zone of interest. Zone Just of interest. One. 
It's oh, a- oh, no. no. Okay, hey, hey, so hey, 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 yeah, 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 less racism, please. That's a British film. That's a proper film. That is. Uh, is he British? Man. Zone of interest. Yeah, German. I don't. I don't care. It's submitted by us. That's all I give a shit about. <laughs> oh wow! It's a it's a UK that's production. Just funny, that's 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 How are we doing, Alan? Alan? Too much German. Anyway, you're ahead. Okay, I'm ahead. Uh, See, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm never going to stop laughing at that. <laughs> Anyone see this film, The Zone of Interest? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, it's really rough. That movie's hard to... Mm-hmm. It's, Listen to. Uh, I, I had to, like, recover. From, it's just... It's it's like a horror film. It's. Yeah, it's pretty horrific. Yeah. That yeah, was pretty horrific. Mm-hmm. Very well so done. There's no Bobby. It's, it's no Barbie. No. Well, Barbie's horrific <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> in its own way. Hey, hey, as you, you set it up, baby, I'm going to knock them out sometime. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I love Barbie. I don't care what you guys say. <laughs> there you go, Kira. Yes. I love Kira. I love Barbie too. Some bad movies that I love. You, you go, girl. You go, girl. I love Barbie as well. That's legit. I do. I I've bad, never known a face like. film in all my life that shows. <laughs> feminism for the absolute cancer that it is <laughs> and that the thing that made them happiest the most was when the men brought the patriarchy to barbie Parliamentary and, democracy and women were happy for right the now. first time Same. in barbie land and and living in parity with one another but then feminism came back and ruined everything <laughs> right yeah right kira that's a great well, you guys want it political just saying um there it was, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's this category? I didn't hear it. Uh, I didn't hear. Foreign film. Best je- best joke about Donald Trump, Oscar. <laughs> okay, Hello, Emily Blunt. Is that our first Trump joke? Hey, they're in a movie together. But um, no fall uh, the guy. fall guy. Yes. Well, oh, that's right. Fall oh, guy's oh, coming oh, out. Oh, is he is he cold seeing that next week? Or is he a different character in oh, that? Is it cold? I was invited. He- but I'm not going to be here. Why don't you stay longer? Because yeah. you're just partying up there in South by. I know. Because uh, I have a By family. the way, I did interview uh, Ryan Gosling's stylist. No uh, way. Uh, on the Designing Hollywood podcast. You can see yeah. that. It's pretty great. Yeah. Really? What happened? Mr. Big Time. How do you make him look so good? We should put him in anything. <laughs> Wait a second. You know what? I've just realized that hosting the Oscars for the second time is like making love to a woman for the second time. I guess. Uh, I can't. St- I can't get enough Steve Martin. I know. Apparently, <laughs> because that's how that's how bored we are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. I got a new video coming out on my channel of how bored we are. <laughs> I don't even know what category this is. Somehow we lost Polly. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what, what went on there. <laughs> I don't know. What, no, I bust him. Polly's belt. No, it's all go. right. It's all right. Go, the, ahead, go the, ahead, Polly. No, the cracker count is uh, g- getting warmed up here at a uh, Latino Slant headquarters. Soon we will have the latest in cracker count. Just for you. Sponsored by Saltine. <laughs> Featuring Az and Ryder Meyer Burnett with a fifth of gin in his veins and in his hand. Oh, I'm so proud I'm not the biggest racist on this panel. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it's probably me. <laughs> oh, no, it's definitely you. There's no probably about it, Polly. <laughs> by the way, no, no, I the most racist Polly. person I've ever yeah, met. We've done such great work together. So I want to point that out. Here, the real, the real question I want to know is, wait, what are you eating now? Hmm. Mac, and cheese. Mac and cheese. I am hungry. I am ready to like order DoorDash. Order something. I don't know what to order. I don't know what to. Food. You can. By the way, by the I'll... way, Kira, you could make a whole YouTube channel of just you eating 
Yeah. yeah. And it would, you would get to 100,000 subs. I mean, I missed the mukbang <laughs> channels. I mean, no, mukbang. Yes, YouTube channels. The, mukbang. Channels, the, yeah. with those, like, the whole day. Dates. The whole day. Chris, Kira eating while Sarah just does that commenting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like do the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, y'all need y'all. I'll get have the hot dresses. Okay, yeah. they yeah. saluted the stump performers. Uh, aren't they part of? But yet, but yet they don't have a category for. Yeah, but that's because CGI yeah. is sort of. Yeah. you know, it's a little nebulous. A little nebulous. Right, right. It it it's like a peek behind the curtain. No, it's, <gasps> well, I, I, it's a no, junior yeah, reunion. If they it's a twins reunion, I'd be scared, because then they would. There would be a lot of deaths, a lot more deaths than Alec Baldwin with a gun. Wow. In a world. I'm really excited because I, I ordered um mm. I'm hungry now. Chocolate chips mm -hmm. ice cream from Baskin Robbins along <laughs> mm -hmm. Buffalo mm. Wild Wings order. I'm telling you, I'm open to suggestions. Like if anyone wants to chat. <laughs> well, what do you what do you what, what 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 I don't even know what your palate is? Yeah, what do you love? Like sushi. I don't. What do you yeah, food for? Sushi, mm. Italian food. It's probably my two favorites. But I, I don't know at this point. Now I'm just like I'm watching. Sorry, it's a long hot dog, but because you're looking after your figure, take away the bread. <laughs> <laughs> go for sushi without go, sashimi. Go for some sashimi. Sashimi, yeah. Oh wait! Stop! I, look. The gods oh, are oh, my dad thanks. Oh <laughs> my god. Yes. You, you copied Kira's mm. homework. I had to listen. I just asked for it and it arrived. Did this dad one. did oh, is yeah. dad watching the live? Did you stream? plan that? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's watching wow. the live stream. And he just thank so you. So unoriginal <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sammy think, is my best friend, so I, we kind yeah. of share the same brain. We really do. It's like mm -hmm. I, you're eating the the wings, and I could taste it. I'm like, I need. Right. Oh, it works. <laughs> what should I order to eat then? <laughs> oh yeah, Paulie's. No next. one cares. <laughs> I was gonna you say know, I, I care. Kind of what do you want to eat? What, what makes you? What makes your? I mean, Alan, you know, Alan. What kind of co-host are you? This is your channel, and you're treating your guests like shit. <laughs> All right, dog. <laughs> All right, dog. I'll remember that. No, oh. no, no. Okay. I see you okay. in person. No, 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 no. no. no, no. Show you, us the cleavage. You threw down, go man. Get some food. You threw down. <laughs> Nobody cares. All right, high schooler. I got you. I got you. I got you. In Mr. In and Out. Hey, Sarah, he wants you to make the no, awkward part of this thing. Come on, man. You, you, you're a personal trainer. You make people look great. <laughs> I'm just hungry. I get. I think I'm hangry. I apologize. I, food. I just asked. Now that they we're, I think we're more talking about food than the Oscars. Maybe I should order well, something online I here. Maybe food. Hey, I, I, was, the Oscars I, not I would say nachos, but I don't want to sound racist. But I, I, I'm craving nachos. <laughs> okay, now I'm offended. Now I'm offended because Ben Jamin says I have the worst mustache ever. You know what? What? That's oh. wrong. Okay, now that's I'm so. Bro, if what? that was a fake mustache, but that's real shit. That's that's artistic quality. Oh, ben? That, that is a bespoke mustache. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ben knows how to how to hurt my feelings. That is some love. You got to give Polly's mustache is like chef's kiss. Come on, guys. We you know. have like thirty one hundred people watching the live stream right now. That's yeah, cool. and they should all talk about how great Polly's mustache actually yeah. is. That <laughs> is art. Man, art. We really have sunk into a new low here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's as or, as or like, what the hell? I know. I'm I'm on a diet of uh, water and purging. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, great. so they're no showing way. some weird Barbie video. Did we? I don't know. That's take called a Barbie, break. Chris. What? No, it's the. I actually want chicken nachos now. See, I kind of want R and B to take the the Diet Coke machine and show us how it works. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want him to show us how it. The Coke machine, the Coke machine. <laughs> okay, the, the Coke, Coke machine. machine. Okay, here's the thing: it's a new Coke machine from the 1980s, built for six scale action figures. It actually has. By the way, this is crazy. It actually is a refrigerator, and you can either put. A bottle of beer or two cans of liquid in it. 
Rob, you cannot yeah. tell us all about this <laughs> new Coke machine and not show it to us. Right there, you can see it's it right, right behind me. It's right here. No, use it's it. Right there, look. Get a Coke. It, it, it doesn't dispense real Coke cans. I know. I mean, it dispenses six scale Coke we cans. We want to see that. But well, then I have to, by the way, it's a lot longer. The reach is a lot oh. longer than You're it seems. You're touching it. I have to walk across. I can't. I can't just. Uh, I, it, it, look, it's so far away. Like you have to like go. Now pick it up and bring it to the camera. <laughs> okay, but but then it wouldn't be plugged in anymore. Uh, but I will okay, if yeah. you guys really want to see it. I kind of really want to see okay, it. Okay, hang <laughs> on. To not embarrass myself. Hey, the key. Uh, hey, key by the way, Han is is here. Asian Asian representation is uh, yeah. happening now. By the way, they're they're uh, doing the best supporting actor nomination, uh, so this will take about ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> usually, yeah. the best supporting actor and best supporting actress usually like the first two categories that they do. Did they not do that this year? No, no they did. No, no, it's usually the best supporting actress that's the first one, oh. which they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chicken nachos. Ooh, chicken nachos. So this is a good time to take a break, everybody. Uh, oh, this is a good one. <laughs> you know, get up, stretch. Yeah. Who are the nominees? We'll be here all night. Hit the hit the hit. Imagine going way back in time where women are objectified and men are all misogynists. The year is 2023. You have entered a place called Barbie Land, and the Oscars are now the Barbies. <laughs> Created by self-proclaimed snubbed women and brought to you by Summer's Day X Hootie Wash. Our first category, the best all-time speeches ever made. The nominees are Martin Luther King Jr. for his I've Got a Dream speech. I have a dream, my poor little children. John F. Kennedy for his Ask Not What Your Country Can Do For You speech. Ask not what your country can do for you. Greta Gerwig's empowering women by telling them they're pathetic victims and putting men in their place speech. Now see here, you idiots, it's all your fault! Because if you hadn't, oh! And Barbie goes to Greta Gerwig for her confusing diatribe celebrated as genius by everyone who's never gone to see a shrink. Yes, people are crying. Some are just incredulous. Confused? Disoriented? Does your empress have no clothes? You have entered the Barbie zone. I uh, love these also, videos that Alan put together. I think he yep. did a great job. <laughs> I wish. Well, All right. Who, who are our guests? I think it's Robert Downey Jr. How yeah. Robert, yeah. Jr. Yeah. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Definitely. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. I would be very happy yeah. if it's Sterling K. Brown. Does does anyone even disagree with Robert Downey? I mean, no, no, no. Oh my God, they're stretching this out so long. Yeah. Uh, By although, the way, if, I, if I, I Robert Downey Jr. Jr. wins, it'll be the Oppenheimer's first win. I would love to see uh, Ryan Gos uh, Ryan Gosling get it though. Oh, that would be hilarious. Ooh, wouldn't that be? That would be that. hilarious though. I would I would laugh my. Uh oh, I'd laugh. Robert. Okay, then let's have Ryan Gosling win just so we can see as loses. How about, <laughs> how about Robert De Niro Jr.? Robert De Niro Jr. He's my favorite. Robert De Niro Jr. <laughs> Christoph Waltz, I've won twice in this category. <laughs> I'm gone. Uh, yeah, I heard. Uh, I heard they're dragging it out because they uh, the ner the Oscars were were very nervous that they might finish on time. Oh my god! <laughs> Have they ever finished on time? It seems, tends to always go over by at least forty five minutes. Oh, Jesus Christ! At least forty five minutes. But Tim I think the Robbins is unbelievably taller than everybody else on the stage. I was just gonna say he is so. T I've interviewed him before. He is really tall. I mean, I am also really short. <laughs> he's like, he's I'm like just saying power. now, yeah. now more than ever, I cannot stand Robert De Niro. He needs to stop talking. I agree. I agree with that. I'm just sorry, not sorry. 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 Remember on the, the song Robert De Niro is talking. <laughs> I wish he fucking wouldn't. I wish Marshall Ali would over. say, "Where's Blade? Where's Blade?" Yeah. I waited Blade. five years for Blade. Where's Blade? 
Is he still in this Blade? Weird, like. Yeah, I think he's still a. Thanking creative every creative. person in the category for everything they've done and how awesome they are. Yeah, it's just. It's this is this is so a glad the volume's choice. off. So glad the volume's off. It gives me time to eat my wings. Well, that's true. But yeah. also, too, they're just like all like just physicalizing to each other. Oh yes, thank you so much. Like yeah. Well, it's the the elite. <laughs> my mother's my mother's is just like you know. I, I do want to hear Robert Downey Jr. talk. Here we go. Here, Robert Downey Jr. just won for best supporting actor. Oh. No surprise. Third nomination. Interesting. It's interesting for him. Yeah. And Oppenheimer's first win. Wow. Yeah. Oppenheimer might end up not doing as well tonight as I mean, right everyone back. had predicted. I think they will. I think they're it's gonna start to pick up. It's gonna start to pick up. It's gonna get the big one. Let's just is that your big uh, prediction there, Cole? Yeah, it was Nolan. about the big one, and it's gonna win the big one. Christopher Nolan's gonna get best director. Yeah. Yeah, and it's gonna win best picture. Probably. I spoke to Robert Downey Jr. while we were at the CCAs, and I literally was gobsmacked <laughs> because I didn't realize that he would actually talk back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh! Yeah, and then I ran away. But he is extremely talented, even though I'm not a big fan of Oppenheimer. Wow, he just a big tribute to his wife. That's pretty cool. I mean, is it? I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I'm just being contrary. You're going to say that. At least show some cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Nobody Cares. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tie is that? Some good nacho choices here. Jesus, now I'm kind of like, hmm. Where are you ordering from? <laughs> There's Tokaya, there's Nacho Lords. Oh, Tokaya's really good. I don't I don't know Nacho Lords. It's a little far though. Because you want to make sure that the nachos are fresh when they're delivered. Yeah. It's soggy yeah. chips. Okay, who's the closest by then? Taco Bell. <laughs> <God. laughs> do it. It's like minutes away. I like his glasses. <laughs> And the Oscars is saved. Mm. All right. Christopher Nolan. Bopner. The dog. Mm -hmm. Did he win for Chaplin? No, he got nominated. He was nominated, yeah. So this is his first win. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. <laughs> like, look how tall Tim Robbins is. Mm -hmm. In comparison to everybody else, he's yeah. told what's his actual height. I don't know. He's four. Your worst nightmare is about to come true. The Barbie movie created a billion dollar franchise and empire. Now, imagine, if you will, the Barbie creative universe. That's right, bitches. Behold, the BCU. Gerwig's gathered up other questionable female icons to somehow fight objectivism, represent women everywhere, and stand for motherhood and equality. In a world where women are treated like dirt and all men are filthy slime balls, this summer, Margot Robbie is Mud Flap Girl. America Ferreira is Token Brown, the magical Latina. You want to strut around, shoot off your mouth, and show off your stuff, but when you do, people don't think you have any brains. Here's what critics are saying. A battering ram against objectification. You want to get a boob job and butt implants and be scantily clad, but then the sisterhood calls you a hoe. What the f- It's a brave new world in filmmaking. It kills me that we get called out when having it both ways, and I'm entitled to scold everyone. Blackers over the degradation of women with dazzling and brazen approval. And I demand to fight objectivism in my panties. So dare you. I speak for all the rest of us women who don't look like Mud Flap Girl or Margot Robbie. A triumph over objectification. Empowering. You have entered the Barbie creative universe. They take on sexualized capitalism by capitalizing on sexism. Robbie's performance brings home what being a woman in the 21st century is all about. Fairwig shows you how to have your cake and eat it too. Margot Robbie is Mud Flap Girl. And Ryan Gosling is Truck Nuts, her trusty sidekick. Watch her kick his nuts and kick him to the curb. Bring the kids. Rated PG. 
Wow. I need to apologize for that video to Polly. I think there was <laughs> there were a couple comments there. Oh, Kira, I think, made the best choice here. She's <laughs> what okay. is going on? So here's what I would like to do, right, Kira? I'd like to default my outrage to as, and as will represent all the token browns. Take it away, as. <laughs> sure. Peace. <clears throat> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm more interested in the two of us. Was... <laughs> I'm a white man in Hollywood. What do I have to say about anything, eh? Well, you can talk about parliamentary democracy in Israel. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> hey, hang on. Everyone's represented. Just kidding. What is Not. Commercials are. All right, uh, maybe it's a good time this, to go this to has some been more political than the fucking Oscars. Yeah, exactly. This stream, <laughs> dude. Wow. I'm so oh, on oh here. God. Let me tell you, as, as they're, someone they're who's been invited to Tel Aviv yeah. to speak about his film, I gotta say, talk to a lot of people, talk to a lot of diverse people in the world because Israel is a very diverse country. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what? What am I talking about? Hang on, let me go to uh, some supers here to kind of. Change yeah, the topic. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, we're, are we even at the halfway point? We have to be past. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. this show yeah, started at four o'clock. It's only an hour and forty-five minutes in. I will oh. say we are past the halfway point of Robert Meyer Burnett's alcohol intake. Okay, <laughs> do not try and do not try and say that my opinion is somehow negated just because I'm having Whoa. a cocktail. I won't say it. Don't All say right. that. I know I was All the right. one that brought it up. But what you know where I'm a bar mitzvah boy, and no. my family built a synagogue mm -hmm. in uh, Seattle, and uh, been to Israel, and I have a lot of feelings about it all. Yeah. <laughs> and no one else's tribe has been tried to exterminate for many, many years. Millennia, indeed. Just saying. Well, the good thing is racism is dead in the modern day. It's uh, just sort of racism died when Obama ex got elected. Except one yeah. racism. There's only right. one people yeah. that you can still be racist against. That is true. Only one. Hey, just ask the progressives at college. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> uh, JS became a YouTube member. The Richards Art and Inspiration for Five says, Aloha, guys. Shame about poor things is that it's been on digital recently. It comes out on physical the week after the Oscars, it's my fave. It's been doing uh, well. Yeah, Oilers, physical is right. Oilers, <laughs> Oilers workshop for four nine nine. I will pay you five dollars to stop watching and talk about the Last Jedi. <laughs> I couldn't see <laughs> the rest of my super chat. Right. <laughs> uh, Wait, is this is this does this mean the new Twins movie is actually going to be finished? Oh my goodness. Twins movie. Here, I mean, that's they're all getting really old. Yeah. I feel like we, we could have done that justice. Oh my God. Uh, Flav uh, for 10 pounds says, I'll double that to never talk about The Last Jedi capitalism. <laughs> F E W. Uh, Cosmin, Cosmin Cristani for two bucks, who's a member, says, Oppenheimer for best pick or it's a bust. Hmm. And he's still talking about Oppenheimer, I assume, not like another. Okay. Um, Jim Eagle for five, as got it. As shows up looking like James Bond and X ray girl's dad looks like he just got done playing 18 holes. <laughs> <laughs> Great US treasure hunt. Maybe pretend. doing 18 holes is slightly different. <laughs> Enjoying <laughs> s'mores on Oscars Wait, night, fired. a family tradition. Hail to film threat and Frank Gore stellar. What is it? Wait, it's back. It's oh, back. X ray girl's in the chat. Say hello to Quick. your mom. Oh, hey. Oh, should should we invite her? Say hello to your mom. What? Yeah, X-ray girl. Do you <laughs> want to join the stream? DM me on Twitter. I'll send you a link. Um, let's see. And then uh, we'll kick her out when Gary comes, just like the FNT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tower tard for five. Oh, uh, what's everyone's favorite black comedy? As in Death to Smoochie, not Medea. I like Pickles, Violence, and Total Submission. Yay. Um, they're about to do actually, Alan. If you could put it up on screen, oh, yeah. 
Um, Godzilla minus one. They're about to do VFX. Oh, visual. Effects. Ooh. Okay. Got it. VFX. <laughs> Come on now. Got Come it. on. Let's do this. I'm out of. If it loses, I'm out of here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got the boiler man coming in seven hours. Godzilla did a scene like that. <laughs> oh, I could I could have just watched I could have just sat in my chair and just watched it again immediately afterwards. Oh my god, they're having Godzilla! Yes! 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 All right. Oh my god, oh, this is great. Oh, oh this is oh great. Finally. Good for them. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you got Robert Downey Jr. You got Godzilla. <laughs> this is oh! Huge. oh, yes, this yes! is huge. Yes, yes, yes. This Whoa. is like a big middle Fuck! finger. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh my God. I wonder this who's is amazing. Yes, amazing. Yeah, amazing. Who do you think slightly behind? Eh? I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 no, it's all good. Yeah, you're behind. This is I'm behind. Awesome. I'm so excited for this. I dreamed of this. I I I I I I, I prayed for this. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. I think Rob needs to do the Oscar. He needs to do the Oscar awards oh, except for speech. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, exactly. And that is the magic of an old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> or or five of them. <laughs> oh, he's still holding Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. This is the greatest award, uh, Oscar award in the last 30 years. Just want to say it. Okay. To win against By the all way, these... Chris, which Godzilla do you He want? did the effects for Returner for Space Battleship Yamato, the live action film in 2010. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I just got that. This is easily my favorite film last year. Yeah. Godzilla yeah. Easily, easily someone in the chat thought Rob was having was a heart attack. Two. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it just I thought we had a, a, a police academy moment below the table. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I thought I was watching I had it going live. I've had that I didn't realize it was if late. If you're watching the live stream on ABC, I'm having issues. It's like I'm uh, I'm watching it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Wait, I have it on Yeah, I'm on YouTube right and mine's behind. I'm watching YouTube TV. I mean as a Godzilla lover since I was a small child, this is so great. And you know what? This is all about filmmaking. Americans do not know how to do the VFX that these 35 people did. Yeah. They don't know. Watch the Toho six-minute video on YouTube. Oh, they're how playing them done. off. <gasps> oh, the no. music just oh, oh, racist. Oh, what? Racist. In the Oscars. Oscar so white. Oscar so white. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? That's uh, that's the best surprise of the night because I really didn't think it had a chance. Who, who was it up against? Wow. Uh, the creator. Uh, they shut him off? Is that... They're like, get out of here. Yeah. See, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's going to keep cutting to that like every 20 minutes. <laughs> Next category, film editing. Okay. This is where Oppenheimer needs to win. If they don't, then you know it's an upset. Know something's going wrong. Yeah, if, if, so, if Oppenheimer doesn't Chris win Hughes. this one, it's in mm -hmm. trouble. For sure. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah, Which one made you like sound Austrian? Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yep. There you yes. go. It's on its yeah. way. Good. Okay, so that's two for Oppenheimer so far. Oddly, it's not the longest film in this category at three hours. <laughs> it's not. But brilliantly done. Yeah. Up and up and on was phenomenal. It was. I don't phenomenal. know how to get more live than my Oscar stream. I, I don't saw know what it to twice. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lame. She's lame. <laughs> She's Wait, her name is Jennifer Lame. 
או למה. למה. Can I just point out that some of the greatest film editors in Hollywood history have been women? Verna Fields, Mother Cutter, this great, amazing editor right now. Marsha Lucas. Marsha Lucas. Lucas and, and no one ever complains about them. Well, there's a... Elma Schumacher. The, there's three of them that were nominated in film editing. Look at right there. Yeah. Mm, Anatomy yeah. of Fall is my favorite film of the year. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the editing was just incredible. Holly was the only one that watched it. Yep. <laughs> oh, is that, a, is that a female who edited that? <clears throat> so, what's the uh, over under on the ratings of this show tonight? <laughs> I think it'll be down. I think it'll mm. be down. Because I, I think people, so. we've been talking about this for too long. Yeah, Man, that's Danny the thing is they get to wait for it. Also, also not a lot of movies coming out. Came out last year. Oh. That's true. You know, the most viewership that they're probably getting is from this stream. <laughs> hey, oh. uh, John Patisse is a fucking oh, oh, sorry, great artist. Yeah. Amazing oh, yeah. guy. Amazing musician. I did order oh, my, my chicken nachos, by the way. Oh, from where? Oh. From where? You didn't I go by the way, we are approaching 5,000 people watching us. Wow. I went safe and went for Baja Fresh. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's good for us, that, that's for sure. Are really good. Yeah. You got to, you know, you got to think about the quality of the chips mm -hmm. and the toppings and make sure that when they're delivered, the, the chips aren't soggy. Sorry. It's a, it's a safe. <laughs> very, it's very safe. opinionated oh, about. Yeah, Kira, you, you, you thought got, about um, this. I have. We have a, a special guest that's going to be joining us. I don't know what this video is right here. Bar. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, the one, the only, I'm Gary Beekler from Nerdrotic. Here he is. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, yeah. oh. Hello. Nice. Wow. Somebody dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> I had this, I, as a matter of fact, I had this whole getup was like left over from last year. It was, it was <laughs> like right in my closet. Like with my like sexuality here in your closet, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Where it belongs. What's up, everybody? What's hey, up, hey. Hey. What are we watching this on YouTube or like Valium, mate? We're oh, watching okay. it on Valium. Yeah. So, uh, anything uh, exciting happen? No, not really. Oppenheimer one, start one. Robert Downey one, and uh, Godzilla one. Oh, God. Godzilla oh one. there you go. That's the only thing. Godzilla I care about. one. That's what we're you know everyone to go. Anybody say anything stupid, or has it been tame? It's been boring. Oddly, um, it's been kind of tame. Here on the panel, or <laughs> no, no, no the the show, the show. Oh, the show. Really? Well, I was going to take full responsibility for saying <laughs> stupid shit on the panel. <laughs> I mean, Az is here, so I mean, like he's been tame. Hi, Az. I, nice. Uh, to drunk, hi. So you know. Hi, Gary. How you doing, Ruffles? Hey. <sighs> This is my nice. getup, man. Nice. I have no pants. Oh, the Godzilla like, uh, <laughs> you look like John Steed's gay brother. <laughs> <laughs> gay Steed's. <laughs> Dante, where where's the hat? I thought we I, we talked about this. I I know. We talked about this earlier this week. Where's the top hat? <laughs> I. Nice Stevie Wonder going on there, buddy. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, once you turn 50, the eyes aren't what they used to be, so. Well, right, I mean, about it. it's like, it's like black on black crime with your look right now. What's going on? Oh. I mean, <laughs> look, you got, you got, you got you, you got a black shirt, a black, a black jacket. I know, and, I know. And you're in front of black, dude. I know. I had, to, I had to make shift this real quick before I did the show, so. What a stroke. Oh, Gary, the chat dude. wants you to know that Godzilla won. Thank you. How Godzilla great was that, by the way, Gary? Come on, Godzilla minus one. 
Best movie yeah, I've getting seen. a visual effects Oscar. I mean, thirty five oh. people in that visual effects department, as opposed to if you yeah. look at any Marvel film, the thousands of people. By the way, around the world, and the Japanese. And if you watch that video that Toho put on the uh, uh, YouTube, six minutes. It's like 35 people are shaking everything, doing everything, because they know what they are doing. Yep. It uh, was such a vindication. It's, it is. It's It's a vindication for artistry uh, overall. And it, 100%. It, it, they just, Hollywood got embarrassed, you know? And uh, God, I love that movie. I can't wait till it's on 4K and I can watch oh, it same. in my home theater. Uh, it's, it, it. It's the best movie I've seen in in uh, I I haven't had an experience like that walking out of theater in years, lots well, of years. What's interesting too is is visual effects are all about the design of the shots, and I don't think anyone knows how to do that anymore. No, yeah, the Japanese do. Yeah, I mean, they do, and they well, they probably don't have it. reams and reams of middle management in between fucking no. everything up. No, yeah. What do we got going here? Uh, uh, I'm waiting for my nachos. Alan, oh. Alan, uh, Alan needs to read the private chat because we're trying to get someone in there. So it's all good, Alan. I think Alan left, and yeah, the, Alan, uh, he's gone. The live, the live stream video is still on. Why is the oh, watch really? party covering up? I can't. Sorry, my glasses. Is it... <laughs> sorry, Sari, Sari, Sari. 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 Okay. Mary. I shouldn't be yelling. Rhymes with Gary. Okay, so I I can do it. This is Gary or Mary, but we yeah yeah. But the watch party things like covering up your face. My face. Yeah, yeah. Just scoot on over to your right. (laughs) Same thing. Nice. Film threat uncovered. There you go. There you go. Now we're talking. Oh, you can totally just put me. Yeah, Nobody wants to see me. Put your face no, in no. You're just threat. showing some pierna right now. Thing. Did you guys? Oh yeah, that? <laughs> I'm. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, right there. Yeah. 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 Seriously. Okay. Sweeney there you go. Makes All right. Pier- right. Makes you need to sit me Sweeney now. Looks good. Yeah. All right. All right. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Sweeney <Sydney Sweeney. laughs> <Sweeney. laughs> appeared at Film Threats Oscars party. Okay, come back now. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's yes. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's now going to be um your phone when you when you call me. That's what that's going to come up. That's a good phone. Phone up. Good, good times. I like it. Oh, well, I'm in the middle now. What's yeah. up? Ooh, high fives. High fives. <laughs> R&B is leaving me hanging. Yeah, Robert's leaving me hanging. R&B. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm back where I back where I belong. Yeah. (laughs) This is not a group, by the way. Polly, this is the level of fun that they will never know. Okay, the other feed is off, by the way. They will never know. No. (laughs) About being a bottom. (laughs) Okay. uh, 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 Wish fulfillment for you. Come on now. What's going on here? Everything is built with a foundation. Just saying. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, Jesus. From the house. Hey, Chris. Kimmel is hey, just if so she lame. Could... You got there's more space now. Yeah, right, right, right. No, I'm trying to talk to uh X-ray girl. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, no. K-ray girl. That's K-ray girl. You're K-ray girl. <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, we Kate were just on the show together. It's it's hey, great. quite everybody. It's Kate McKinnon in America for hey, the best documentary shorts oh. are here. Keep uh, oh, two hours into the show. Non-nine. I'm sorry, man. Wipo win. You realize we have like another three hours, right? Oh, seriously? No, uh, I thought they were going to do it shorter this year. No, no, they, they started, started early. Nine minutes left. They oh. early, we, have, we, have we have a, a special guest half. joining us just to up the female quotient. Here she Col- is. Col- joining Col- the show. Better late than never from Nerdrotic X Ray Girl. <laughs> hey, wait, she's already here. What are you talking about? Yo. Whoa. I am so confused right now. Yeah. I know. I'm seeing double. I'm seeing double. We look the same. Yeah. Totally, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell which one's Alan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 
Uh, I think I think one of them is AI. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I barely got dressed. Tifa. Is this some sort of weird Tifa thing going on here? I'm just yeah. I'm <laughs> <a> zipper <laughs> by myself. No man, but these right. chicks are. That's what crazy, happens when you man. have two marriages. Good job, Gore. <laughs> they just did a joke at Steven Spielberg's expense. I have so I have no oh. idea what it's documentary what short. Who's Steven Spielberg? Here we go. That's pretty much the world we live in today. Oh my god, it's a bunch of people with masks. Okay. Yep. Oh, right. What? Some war documentary. Right. It's probably not up being mentally the... ill representation. <laughs> Hey, who's winning, Alan, right now? You in are. The picks? Not us. Why you yeah. you by one. Yeah. If the best actor comes around, I'm going to catch up again. No, that, that, the cracker That's count cool. is going to be strong. Let me tell you guys. That's cracker just, count. Cracker I, count? Do, you, do you have the cracker count going, Polly? What is this the cracker time? count? It's still yeah. heating up here. With, uh, as soon, soon as I get my nachos, oh. I'll give you a good cracker count. Okay. Okay. Oh, you but, got nachos? Uh, I want nachos. I dude, I, I ordered didn't prep nachos. for this. I expect up and for wait. Yeah. Did I pick this one? I I think you did. Yep, you're ahead. You're ahead I by two. I knew that one would win because of what the subject this? matter. It's a little girl. It's a little what, what, what was even that one? It was about uh, a uh, music musical instrument repair shop in LA. Really? It's called the, like the last repair shop or something. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Oh. Get a boy. You look so classy. I love this. Thank you, X Ray Girl. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Don't get used to it. <laughs> right, right. I heard you earlier, Gary. You're not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Flat from the waist up. You know what? <laughs> I'm not wearing pants either. Oh, no. Don't stand up. Oh, no. Oh. I, can't, I can't really see. I'm just like, <laughs> are you wearing like what is that boxers or pajamas? Boxers? Okay. You're boxer. Wait a minute. You, uh, get Gary says Donald ducking it, man. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, FNT set the bar low on size, so oh, this is true. Are the men wearing pants? We all felt better about ourselves after that episode. I'll just say. <laughs> are the men wearing pants on this panel? How many are, are you guys? <laughs> you don't want to know. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to, X-ray girl. Wow. I told true. you that. This is by the way. This news, this this documentary, it's actually amazing. I just want to say it. It's really? It, it's really incredible, and it will inspire you in terms of, of how art can actually be supported in this day and age in public schools. It's really wow. awesome. Because I totally just saying. It. Well, we do do R need more of that. What was we the documentary that. that won? The last repair. It's about how the LA school just very short. repairs instruments to uh, make sure that students get them. Oh. It's really great. Back when the LA uh, school district had a, a music program. Was that a documentary on? No. South Africa's president? The eternal memory of her is pretty extraordinary. Yeah. Here we okay, go. Okay, documentary feature. Mm hmm. Kill a tiger. Kill a tiger. Sounds terrible. I I killed one before the stream. <laughs> Rough. Uh, there we go. Yeah. It's gonna win. You think so? Well, well no one. No one seconds. picked that one. Twenty days in. Oh, Chris picked it. My TV is ahead. Yeah, oh, my TV is ahead. Uh, How are we out, Alan? Just saying. Just saying. Oh, Chris. Am I beating you? Yeah, by three now. I think you've won. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I got this one in the back. In your face, gotta, Vladimir Putin. I got to win everything else to, to tie you, basically. I believe in you, Alan. No, it's statistically impossible now. I don't want to say Hollywood's out of touch, but... Things are financially tough all over, so right now, you should do what Tom Cruise does. At the end of each week, he takes a million dollars... And he just puts it away <laughs> like it's not even there, whether it's been a good week or a bad week. And then at the end of the year, you've got a little cushion. <laughs> when the Oscars were funny. Yeah. 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 How long ago was that? <laughs> oh, God. That is They're been on the front line of, of That's a long Western time ago. civilization right now. That's right. That's right, Robert. It had to be. It had to be early nineties. 
Peak. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, peak. Jimmy Absolute Kimmel peak. literally made no jokes that I can remember. Not one. It's just completely forgettable. Do, do you know that's something the Matrix got right then? Because what? the Matrix did the Matrix at that time period because it said it was the peak of oh. uh of civilization and, and yeah it is because it went fucking downhill real quick yeah the matrix got it right you got a lot of things right next baby yeah. Except oh, steve martin released in all the hostages <laughs> he just said that yes he did he did yes, he oh did. wow yes you know why because that's a good thing to do I wish I could put a million dollars away a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. And forget it's there. <laughs> like one year. I make like sure it. the history <laughs> record says the week. truth will prevail. What's the next category? God bless. God bless. Yeah. <laughs> this show might have the worst ratings of any Oscar in years. Yeah, 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 hundred uh, percent. Well, the pandemic. Uh, was... You guys, what he pandemic said won. mattered. That movie matters. You guys should watch it. And uh, what he said was right because you know what? They're coming for the West. We can oh, say yeah. all we want. Everybody oh. is coming for all of us. They are standing in wake. They're standing to make sure that doesn't happen. And we don't know it yet, but we wait. Just wait. It's coming. Wait, who's coming? That, that documentary shows exactly what I'm saying. Sorry. Hey, Chris Gore, can I come to the watch party? I, I promise not to fall down. It's we're too full. We're too full, even for the president. I can't I can't make that happen. No. I can't do it. So, I'm still waiting for RMB to unplug the new Coke machine and show us how it works. <laughs> what, what do you want me to unplug? I want you to unplug the new Coke machine and replug it in and show us how it works. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. I it was be... <laughs> oh, that's vibrant Joe, there, Joe Robert. Biden's life support. Hmm. Oh my God, that place is bigger than it. Yeah, your, your whole setup. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's Chris, what happens when I like pull off the shelf. Your, your studio. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. Oh, ah. fridge. Oh, oh, fridge. Okay. Okay, now. See, and if they come for the Western civilization, we'll never get like little new Coke fridges like that. <laughs> oh. Capitalism, <laughs> Capitalism is great. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. That's, that's cool. super cute. It's so adorable. Is there actual like, new Coke in those little things? No, no, it's no. no, it's, no. But, but you can get them distributed amongst. Oh, okay. Okay. I appreciate you, RMB. Ghostbusters oh trailer. Has he been doing that all night? You got the wrong one, yeah. basically. Whoever's shown the most cleavage off gets put on camera. Hell yeah. Uh, show would be theory. So Paulie's been up there a lot. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Paulie is like. <laughs> you know the guy that's furthest away from me always talks the most shit. So you know, oh, Brick, come over it's here. It's all right, as right to your fucking face, mate. I got, I got, I got a nice chest. Is I'm Molly wearing? Are you wearing a V neck? I can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell. I'm wearing a suit jacket with the, uh, with the, with the V neck. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? Holly, yeah. has the nachos shown up yet? I'm having problems with the delivery guy. Oh, what dude. did you do? Apparently, I didn't update my oh. old address. Holy! Oh, uh -oh. oh, they sent us to the wrong place. So somebody got some nachos. All right. Congratulations, whoever lives there. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm remember when to... they accidentally ordered food to your house, Karen? I'm so <laughs> like, old man Karen here. spent the weekend at my house once, and then forgot that she'd uh, changed the address. So she door dashed me. What was it? So she. Yeah, Pokeball. Yeah. Oh, oh. Aww. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> it was great. I was uh, <laughs> Holly Crown, count a cracker. Uh, okay, <laughs> there's Chris, Gary. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm trying for some. Well, it's not working in that, guys. 
Old crackers. <laughs> old crackers. Stale crackers. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that Dante's what? Oh, uh, no. Like in the Matrix. I know. <laughs> oh, am I? Good. <laughs> it's the sunglasses. Well, now Zona I can't find my order. Very Matrix. They're this not really sunglasses. Weird. They They're are protective eyeglasses because light hurts my eyes. I don't know what's going on. I think they canceled my So it my shades order. you from light like sunglasses shades you from <laughs> <laughs> Like they do their job as sunglasses? <laughs> but it's different. <laughs> but it's different? <laughs> Hashtag light to white. <laughs> Thank God. Can everyone uh, understand? It's Zendaya? Yes. Thank you. It's Zendaya. Please. Zendaya. Every, every time someone says Sendaya, they uh, negate their opinion. Every time uh, I don't care, my right. opinion's gone. Sendaya and Angel loses his win. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, very, very All I know is Zendaya <laughs> needs a cheeseburger, maybe two. <laughs> and an acting coach. Yes, yes. And an acting you coach. On Holland, are they still a couple? Yes, they yeah. are. Oh, I'm surprised they're the, still uh, together, to be honest. They are both two. This is cinematography. Oppenheimer. I picked Oppenheimer or Killers Might Win. Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. Find out. Hope so. Find out. It's going to be. Poor things. No. Oh, there we go. Oppie, baby. Hope. There you go. Hoite. They're coming in now. Coming in now. How many has Oppenheimer won so far? Yeah, Alan. Three. Is that uh, four? Is it two? Is that four? No, I think, I think it's three. No, it's two. It editing, best supporting actor, so it's three. Oh, Extra yeah. girl, please help everybody with their math. By the way, Hote knows <laughs> how to I'm use. Here. The, I have uh, no idea. As an Asian, I'm actor. absolutely disgusted I, in your math. Hey, math. I know. I'm a little disappointed. It. She's got it. I believe in her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, his name is Hoyt von Hoytemann? Yeah. Hoyt <laughs> von Hoytemann, yes. Hold HBH. on. He's Dutch, by the way. He's that is the yeah, most Hoytemann. Dutch name that ever Dutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's pretty Double good. Yeah, I love that he's wearing like, he's wearing like freaking sneakers with his uh, tux. Yeah. Boy. Uh, uh, aren't aren't we all right now? As his dad has hair. Well. Who's, who is as his dad? I just want to the chat room is going off the guys. The really, they're really funny in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get my nachos. <laughs> That's on my mother's side. The uh, the the doi voi deutsche hoitens. Doi voi deutsches. I'm so bummed out. Get something at your fucking nachos again. Just order some more. Great well, just order some more, Polly. Yeah, I know, but Polly. that's a lot of money. I, I'm a like, hey, man, it's pretty great what you do with the IMAX frame. It's it, the, the, this is an artistic award. It's really great. It's great. Yeah, right? I will admit, I pro I did myself a disservice. I did not watch Oppenheimer in a theater. I did watch it at home, so maybe my visual experience was um, impaired. Diminish. It was, and I kept going. I can't hear what they're saying. Mm, and... Nolan film. Yeah, it was. It was fine in the theater. I actually didn't have a problem in the theater. I couldn't. I but, literally could not understand some some of the things that they were saying. Except, I... you know, I was next to Polly, who was munching on some nachos the whole time. So I had a little. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like. You didn't like the movie at first. I thought it was okay. I, you I called I, it I still, pretentious. I did, it and I still call it pretentious. It is. Yeah. Chris is the one who said he liked it over time. I'm like, eh, you know, I don't like biopics. I think, but I did not like it the first time I saw it. It was confusing. But... And how? Call me high. The first time I met Ed was in the county lockup in Tempe, Arizona. Don't forget his profile, Ed. Turn to the right. A day I'll never forget. Turn to the right. No. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, Chris, wow. you pay Fiverr a lot of money for those. Okay, live action short. Yeah, you won, Chris. <laughs> was it okay? What what did I predict again? Because I was at like three. Uh, Henry Sugar. I knew it, but that doesn't deserve to win. It was on I Netflix. Know. That's I lame. Know. Well, That's anyways, lame. you won. You won the Oscar. Uh, 
the hospital. It looks like there's just no way for you to come back, or it comes yeah, song. basically. Who's I mean, it? I think I could tie you, but there's no way I can win. Who's if, uh, if, oh my if god! Billie Eilish song. wins. If Billie Eilish wins, uh, Paul Giamatti wins. Oh, and, this is uh, Becky G. I love this song. <laughs> I love Becky. It's a good G. time for a bath. Oh, it looks G. like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. Hold my ice cream, Ken. All right, Ken, you're on. Let's beat you off. <laughs> that that was actually I, that looks like it was right from the movie. <laughs> I, I know. Mm-hmm. Different. Again, mm-hmm. it, it proves that all Asians look alike. Absolutely. <laughs> I actually thought it was Perry Chan. I did too. <laughs> Wait, now, now, extra, now, X-ray girl, you're eating. Mm-hmm. I haven't eaten eating? since. Uh, oh my god, o'clock. everybody's eating. I'm the one who hasn't had dinner. Oh, Where's my wife? Oh, there you go. I'm gonna tell my wife to make me a sandwich. <laughs> Becky G, where, straight. Where are you eating? Now? You better hope my sister ain't watching this. Oh, watch okay. this. So, I'm I will still say. eating. Um, watch this. The mac and cheese. Mac on shoes. But I'm thinking about going and get, going to get the ice cream downstairs. Ooh, ice cream. Yeah, go get the ice cream. I need to drool over some other food now. Okay, I'll be right back. This is a pretty good <laughs> performance. Was <laughs> it? It wasn't even like half the song. Wings oh. oh my god. I mean, that was pretty good. Right? But it is it is starting mm. to drag. See how are we doing on time? Oh, we got five hours. Um, let's see. Did you say starting to drag? I said starting. Yeah. All right, let me count. Yeah, I was just saying, like, I was just warming up now. So We're getting past the preliminary. It's, it's the Zendaya movie, Robert. <laughs> well, your dream host. Yeah. A I'm getting a, I'm I'm getting a refund, getting. guys. <laughs> Very good. Good. I got uh, refunded. You know what? In- in Uber Cash. I feel like we've gone on a journey now with uh, with Polly's uh, nacho order. It's well, more interesting. Uh, I would think that this this advertisement says a lot about Hollywood. Uh, the Zendaya uh, 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 <laughs> tennis film. Wow. Challengers. Where, Where she gets she the threesome yeah. with two dudes. Okay. With two dudes. Yeah. This is uh, this is Dante. Alan and I are going to be wearing this shirt in Vegas. Oh, I need to get one. Can I have oh, one? They're on Vegas? Amazon. Wait, hey, oh, Robert, you're going to be in Vegas, oh. right? <laughs> Dude, I kid you, you not. don't have to say that your last meetup last year was one of the most life-affirming, amazing experiences I've had in the last five years. Wow. No bullshit. Wow. The, the people at your meetups are so kind and so mm-hmm. enthusiastic and so nice and so amazing. I, I cannot. If you're in a bad place in your life. There's a there, there's no better place to come to a Gary Beekler neurotic meetup because you will feel great. Good people. And I mean that. I mean that the people that I met were amazing. I met a guy who drove from Edmonton, Canada on his motorcycle yes. down to I Las Vegas him. to be at Gary's meetup. Wow. Do you know why? Because that's the thing that Gary does. He invites everyone. He invites everyone and makes it happen. Yeah. How many people do that? Yeah. I'm banned. There was, uh, a, there was a guy that came out. This, band, but, uh, this is my experience of what I had. I came late. Hmm. I, dude, it was I awesome. Wait, you hung out with us at IHOP, too. Dude, it uh, was amazing. What you do, Gary, for the people that watch the channel and all that is you're, uh, you know what? There are, there are two kinds of people in life. There are hosts and guests. Gary Beekler is a host. He's a host. Thank you. And he makes it's the least we could do. Great. And that's I what mean, a host does. The, these people, uh, these people, these Ooh, people, these new people. people. What do you mean? People. People. Wow. What did I By know? the way, <laughs> Gary is not paying me. I've never, I, I'm just saying that's what I experienced last year. It was amazing. Uh, fellow members of the audience support us, and it's the least we could do to thank them, throw them a little party, buy them a round of drinks. Have a good time, and they, and they 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 have a much better time just meeting each other, and and they can party like it's nineteen ninety nine. And by, the, by way. the way, Gary's wife is so fucking rad. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. I love her so much. Can confirm good that people. Yeah, <laughs> I love when you uh, see a very patient woman after a so, 
How rad is she? I just said, hey, could you make me a sandwich? And she okay. said, does it have to be a sandwich? Could but it, be it would pizza? be a great sandwich. Wow. Your wife yeah. is, she knows her music. <laughs> she knows her, she is delightful. And I, I didn't get to know her until that night at IHOP. You afterwards. guys connected over the Cocteau oh Twins. Oh my God, we yeah. talked about 80s music. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's funny, and she has great artistic taste. That's right, and she, had, and, and she had the good sense to get out of San Francisco. Yep, horrible yeah. taste in yeah. men, though. No. Horrible taste in men. This is your daughter. We're talking so about cool. your wife, Gary, right? This is yes, I look forward to yes. seeing you guys. Later. <laughs> yeah, we'll I be can. there. Uh, we'll be there, Robert. Hope we hopefully we'll see you. Cinema Con. I, I, week. Hope, I hope I get there earlier. <laughs> it's all right. No, we'll just kidnap you. It's okay. I'll come and kidnap you. Don't worry. It's a great, you know, your 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 community is is a great, great, great bunch of people awesome people hey chris I'm well we should what? probably since we're what? at the halfway point maybe we should read some of these supers so and yeah, by the way there's 5800 people yeah, watching us right now well, we have 4200 wow. people on youtube this is a record for film threat just so you know so you guys deserve it yeah, oh, yeah you guys deserve you. it yeah well we're trying what's um, american fiction God. up for chris best picture I saw uh, the best picture. Screenplay. Screenplay. It'll it did win. win. It won. It, yes. it won for it best uh, or best That's adapted good. screenplay. Okay. Wait, That's I good. just it got won? in a, a yeah. video. What's the video? Oh shit. Oh, there, okay, I got that one go. right. Oh my Somebody God. in the chat just asked if RMB's wasted. <laughs> yeah, how wasted are you? Uh, how many so old fashions, deep? How many old fashions? For me? How yeah. many yeah. Oppenheimer have an Oppenheimer? Oh, oh, no, we got our answer. Oh, my goodness. I, I lost bottles, count. You know. <laughs> Do you want to see this new alcohol bottle I got from... My mom went to India. Oh, uh, please. Called... I, I've never been to India. I want to drink Indian alcohol. Old Monk. It comes oh, in like wow. a wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's cool. wow. You know what? I met X ray girl for the first time in the flesh. When you meet her, the instantaneous thing is love you. Aww. I mean, no, I haven't no, had no, no. it. And then the more you talk, the more you ensorcel us with your beautiful ways and all your opinions and everything. I mean, my God. Hmm. I, I, mean, I had no idea I had that effect. <laughs> oh, no, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, and, and, and her and Frank Gore can... Is that in the monk head bottle? Yeah, how much? How, how much? Oh, she uh, could drink it all, trust me. It? It, um, Extra girls are lush. One liter, and it's 42.8% um, <laughs> alcohol by volume. But what is yeah. it? Is it Extra like a rum? It's a rum, so it's... Premium, the legend premium rum. Ooh. I don't know. My mom just said it because it uh, gave it to me because it's pretty. She's like, I've never seen you have something like this. And I have like a collection of bottles over in the corner there. Uh, cheers to your mom who brings you home bottles of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I need to get you a gift for uh, your birthday. So well, just, uh, sorry, this is it. Sorry for locking you in your room until you were graduated from high school because you were I know. Grade. It, well, it was great I would leave too because Alan left. You know, yeah, I know. Folks. <laughs> I'm glad X ray sister is not growing up like you. <laughs> she's, uh, she's trying to get a drunk so uh, Mark gets her pregnant. And... Oh my God. I know. Mark was the age. Yeah, he's the age you don't need now to that do that to convince father. him to, you know, yeah. perform the act. <laughs> you just go boobs, and he goes, "Okay, ready." <laughs> At a boy, Mark. Hey, Chris, I'm not going to slap anyone tonight, and I don't mean to be racist, but are those X-ray women twins? <laughs> I love that you had that on hand. Oh my god. <laughs> it was literally oh, said to me while you guys were talking. Ah. <laughs> I, uh, I want to say the last the uh, Oscars live stream last year, everybody kept saying, Did X Ray Girl cut bangs? And I was like, Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I but love I love it. that it's X Ray Girl and K Ray Girl. Mm -hmm. That totally works. Yeah. Love it. All right. Hey, the Oscars are still on. Um, yes, they're still yeah, on. The about they're to win still on. on. Sound. Please. What are the Oscars? Way to bring up. Way to bring down the conversation. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was having fun, Chris. God. Just when you get a peak uh, audience, you mention Oscars and people. Yeah. Out. yeah then they start to dip out. <laughs> we were talking what? about booze and boobs and all kinds. Well, of one of my great uh, member, Ooh. Uh, members of the channel, Thomas, will love the fact that Zone of Interest won for sound design. Mm-hmm. By the way, do you guys see how they cut that? Uh, they what do you mean? Whole... <laughs> uh, with know. a little bit of coke. <laughs> I wish. No, with a credit card. Give me uh, sharp. You can't get great coke in America. It's all cut with horrible uh, shit. Mexican yeah. coke is the best. I will best. never do drugs in America until it's legalized. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you get fentanyl. And they'll still right. get it wrong. Oh, oh, no, no, I, man, no, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. If, if the FDA can approve cocaine, I'm like, yes, please. Mm-hmm. Now it's all garbage. Well. Yeah. It's called the vaccine. In our- I know, right? <laughs> Who just won something? All, aren't all drugs legal Son in Amsterdam? Interest. No, not all no. drugs. No, not all drugs. Like oh, weed, no. is legal. <laughs> you're, you're figuring it out. Now. Weed's legal in. Uh, oh, just laughing all at he's how doing dressed. is get a sandwich right yeah. now from his wife. <laughs> uh, she brought. This. It's not a sandwich, but she brought me some. She brought me some pizza. <gasps> Pineapple pizza. Oh, that's right. That's even better than a sandwich. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, that looks so good. It is pineapple and jalapeno <laughs> with some uh, Canadian bacon. I don't Ooh. think I've ever had yeah. jalapeno with the pineapple. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. It's good. The best. Spice and sweet, great mix. Uh-huh. And okay, I have a, I have a cracker hand, report. Hand delivered. Cracker count report. Oh, Paul's got a cracker count. Hey, we actually. Uh, okay. Polly, right yeah, here. We gotta go we some nacho update. By the way, Chris, here. this was a great uh, victory for independent film. For you know, Tony Vich was getting an Academy Award for sound design. Uh, it's great stuff. Wait, oh, oh, look what's coming on. Oh, oh, you want to do Chris? Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's I'm, just I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken. Just Ken time. Oh. This oh, better man. this better win this better win best song. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't know that it will. Really? I don't think it will, but it'd be great if it did. It yes. would be great if it did. <laughs> I love you, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> did you get to interview him for Barbie? Mm-hmm. And he gave me these glasses. Oh, <laughs> very cool. We look. We match. <laughs> Come on, this is a highlight of the Oscars. Give me a break. Come on, this it is, is me. It is. I was thinking the same thing. I need a lighter. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I, the kids do this the, the, today, Gary. They just take their phones. And oh they yeah. Do this. Yeah. I go. Oh wait. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do I it. I know how to do that. I don't think lighters are allowed in uh, concert venues anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, they use cell phone cameras. Or yeah, cell phone lights. By the way, this is an example of like uh, why uh, Ryan Gosling is one of the great stars of Hollywood because he would do this because he understands it's all about entertainment. We don't right. get something. We, we're not awarded something because we entertain people. He understands it's all goofy. It's all crazy. It's all for fun. He gets it. The fact they did this. God bless him, because this is what entertainment is all about. It means nothing. It just provides joy for a moment. God he bless it. Ryan Gosling. totally fucking gets it. Well said. I love Ryan. By the way, Rob Simu has joined us. Rob, you don't have to sell oh. the ladies on Ryan. Ah. Hey, Mary Chan! Yeah. Mary Chan's yeah. on the Oscars! Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. You hate it, buddy. You hate it. Slash. It's fucking slash. <laughs> Definitely the highlight of the night. <laughs> Good guy. Oh, we, what is. are we doing? I mean, come on, fucking slash. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Come on, guys. This is an Oscar moment right here. Yeah. Slash <laughs> and come cat. on. Everyone needs their phone. Can we get oh. everyone doing it? Alan, come on. Yeah. Alan's like, I'd have to get Harry, up to come the on. Of the room. Dante, where are you? Yeah! yeah. Oh, Can we? Can we oh my God. Rob's the holdout with Sarah. Guys, they get <laughs> it. They yeah. get it. Come Here's on. We're out of sync. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Okay. There we Wait, go. What am I, I supposed to do? I'll do it. Uh, what, uh, 
What about you, <laughs> Cohen? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with the old torch? Lash yeah. him. Lash him. What torch. do you guys want me to do? I'll, I'll do it. What, 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 what? Flashlight. This what is a new uh, Dante? lighter Dante. at the concert. We're still doing this? No, we're done. Oh. I don't even know what this is. Oh, How do I do this? Okay. That was pretty no, cool. Do this. That was, I mean, that was fantastic. fantastic. That was a moment. I'll remember yeah. this. You know what? That's a that's a win for men. I I'm telling you, that was pretty badass. That was very badass. <laughs> and look at all the chicks. The guy in, the in all are going pink nuts. singing uh, is a win for men. Very masculine. I approve. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Gary. Man, I was watching the show. I don't know. I'm like, like I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's the fine. year of men, everybody. <gasps> nerd cookies. <laughs> nerd cookies. Oh, nerd cookies. Yes, nerd cookies. We love you for that. <laughs> That's why you are the greatest lore YouTuber who's ever lived. Lore, lore, nerd cookies. Sub, sub now. Um, I have a, I have a right cracker right. count slash nacho report. Oh, oh yes. let's hear it. And they're kind of tied in slash pineapple pizza. Okay, let's huh? do it. Okay, all right. So, uh, I re just reordered. Uh, I got, I, I did get a refund. I did reorder. I got, I'm, I, I'm getting nachos from El Sarape, a different spot. Oh, El Sarape is good. As, asada, uh, sirloin tips. Uh, oh, that sounds will, good. Will be oh, in the nachos. Oh, uh, but, however, um, cracker count is high because um, yeah, okay. I did not get my food. Gary came on. Gary already got his food. It shows you <laughs> cracker superiority. <laughs> Pineapple cracker pizza. supremacy. For the for the freaking win, so there you have That's it. That's right. That's right. You see that? Go. You see what else? Because that it was Gary's house. It was pizza. Cracker and Cracker working in harmony. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say this because I have personally fed both Nerdrotic and Mrs. Nerdrotic. Mm -hmm. Hand That's fed true. us. Love you guys. Yeah. Oh, I can make a bad joke right now. When I yeah, want. you can. But no, no, no. do it. No. No. Okay. Anyways. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Time is well, now the Maybe Gary's later. here. I just want to thank my agent, Kevin Uvain, and God, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I, I, I can watch Never that. Never forget. Oh Robert, I think you God. Yeah. All right. Hey, we're, it, uh, we're in a, a little break here, so I'm going to read some supers. And this is the largest audience we've ever had at Film Threat. So thank you very much. Please yeah. subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. You know, all that stuff. Please click the like. <laughs> oh, wow. What? A <laughs> classic. A classic. That's cute. That's cute. All right. Uh, let's that's see. Okay. Not I'm not going to forget years. any of the supers, by the way. No. Sorry, what? Okay. It's not two years uh, now. Skiz Spivak Esquire for 1390 says pantsless Oscars and chicken wings. Film threat does the best Oscar party. I'm in. Thank you. Albert not a retro for two says Gosling is punk. Anthony uh -huh. Guarino. Wait, it's probably better if Polly says it. Anthony Guarino says, uh, Guarino. Rob, it's Tony Moro. Hollywood can suck it. And from rumble, we've got over a thousand people watching on rumble. Shout out to those folks on Rumble. Movies America supporter says pineapple on pizza. Viewer number going down exponentially. <laughs> wow. I disagree. I disagree. Wow. Um, Booty125 uh, says Verbal Riot looks like Marvel's Mr. Negative with that background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Didn't expect that. You know, it happens. I like that though. Mexican Iron Man is a member for 19 months. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate 19. you. Hung out with Mike at the Barkley. He is an awesome dude. Had a blast. You got to hit me up every time you're in town. I have personally had many a scotch with RMB on various dinner nights, and I can attest that RMB can handle his scotch. Ha! Yes, Bush, and Ryu, sorry, uh, Bush and Rio Cat for five says, Chris, if you want to go on vacation, it's fine. Robert can take over. He looks like a better you. Oh, do that shit. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Oh, Ouch. What God. the hell? Um, next time I'll read it before I read it. Right. Aloud. Well, how much did uh, they did they did they pay for that one? Oh, I don't I don't know. I'm just yeah, I think it was like more 50. money. Uh, I'd have been 50. Uh, Uncle Mac for two says my favorite Asians start with cock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Caucasians. Caucasians. Yeah. 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 Very funny. Demonic Rebellion gifted five film threat memberships. All hail Judge Frank. Says Angry Yeti TV for two. Arnold, um, can someone else read that? <laughs> Dante? Dante. <laughs> you know, wow. I should not, but you know, it's fine. I'll do it, bro. It's uh, <laughs> Arnold Squash Nigga. All right, says love your vids, Chris. Been watching you since 1965. Wow, wow. I think that's kind of a joke, but I'll take it. It's fine. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grayson. Fifty Shades of Grayson for 199 says I am high and X-ray looks fly. Oh my! Oh, well, fly. yeah, she does. Cheers. All the women do here on this. Oliver Lavery Farrick for five pounds says, I wish the creator was nominated for best cinematography, mm. even with, without their low key take on shooting. I think it's one of the most beautiful films of 2023. X-ray versus K-ray, the pillow fight of the century. This MK <laughs> solid 82 for 199. What is I, I love my fighting days, on. okay? No fighting. Good fucking all the money. My boy that for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, can, we can make a video of us helping. How about that? Well, there you go. This is uh, getting a little crazy here. Here we go. And let's see. Uh, Gun Home Act. Gary is definitely not wearing pants. No. I haven't seen this many Asians in the bright lights since. Uh, <laughs> what are some of these comments tonight? Oh, <laughs> Um, Which you didn't finish that comment. Five dollars for that. <laughs> yeah, is that I love the it. Comment, Chris. Oh, Alan, 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 Alan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is that is that Asian on Asian crime or or what? And I don't know. Young Ho Mac. I mean, expert girl. I don't. I'm not going to assume, but I don't think that any of the Asians on this panel are Japanese. So. It's oh. really fast. Best score is up. No, that score is going to yeah. be yeah. Oppenheimer. Like That's not even <laughs> okay. It's you not going to be John so? Williams on his last one. I think John no, Williams. Williams not. Not. Oh, yeah. That movie was not. Oh, original story. Yeah. Original story. Don't be surprised. Uh, it's going to be Williams. Oppenheimer. What, what is that Chris lady got in her fucking nose? By the way, right. you guys, this is a great category. It's there really go. good. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. for score. Here comes Ludwig. Ludwig. Gordon Beethoven. Cracker count just went way up, dog. Oh, up. Ludwig, there he is. That's great. Damn. I'll be back. I gotta put the ice cream back before it melts. Oh, All wait, right, girl. What flavor? What flavor? Hey, don't oh, get any don't melted ice cream on yourself. It was what? Mint chocolate? Mm. It was just regular Ooh. chocolate chip. Ooh. Just, time. Whatever you do, oh, don't get any melted now. ice cream on you. <laughs> Robert getting a bar. I heard that, Robert. <laughs> Rob, you okay, bro? I heard that, buddy. A little mukbang. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mint chocolate chip's good. <laughs> I have cream. Wow. It's so good. Woo, Robert on fire tonight, boy. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, better Robert on fire than Hiroshima. <laughs> oh, too soon. Boom. Too soon. <laughs> you guys. Are you on a grande looking pretty white? No, nobody's watching the show, so you're not. Uh, no, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I didn't even realize that was her. Yeah, that was her. Yes, it's the cast of Wicked. Is it? Is no, it, that's oh not her. God, is it really? No, Ariana Grande, her. more like Ariana. Yes, that's Ariana. Uh, that's uh, yeah. Oh, Ariana, that's not Ariana the Bo. Oh, you're right. That's wow. The other, yeah. The other lady. Oh um, my god. Oh, racist. Um, Elizabeth says Eva Mendez is eight years <laughs> older than Ryan eight. Osling. Just saying, cannot do not win. Uh, uh, listen, uh -huh. listen, yeah. Knuff did not win. Well, wow, we, we, uh, why did this though? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm statistically not out, but I just cut up. Uh, Isn't this her second Oscar? Now? The second Wait, Oscar what? after after uh, her uh, uh, Academy Bond. Award winning Sonambulist yeah. Bond theme. Yeah. Uh, fun. Rob, you're slurring a little early in the evening. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Chris. Right, let me enunciate. <laughs> I'm not worrying that much. It's all okay. good, man. 
Okay, no, it's all oh. good and good for them. Good for Phoenix and good for Billie Eilish. Well, yeah. good, for good for Phoenix. Good for yeah. Phoenix. I want to hear Ron read the State of the Union address. <laughs> no. Say <laughs> Dude, Ooh. I saw her live. It was accidental, but Billie Eilish, she she uh, performed uh, Sally's song in uh, Danny Elfman's Nightmare Before Christmas oh, yeah. Live. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, she was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember you Yeah, you went to that concert. That's right. Yeah, it was like during the coof, like right <laughs> towards the end, something happened Ooh. out live, and we I had to take my wife. It was good. It was fun. And then Danny Elfman played a couple Oingo Boingo songs at the end. Oh, cool. It was Steve Bartek, the, the guitarist. That was, was cool. It just, was awesome. it just him or was it the band? No, Steve Bartek was there. So, like, the, the guitar player. The guitar player. He does all the arrangements for Danny Not Elfman. Johnny Vatos. Or Not Johnny Bobby Vatos. Vatos. No, no, no. I've, I've seen him live multiple like times. Great. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's, wow, man. Great SoCal yeah, they band. They played at right my college. There. Hell yeah. Yeah, they mem- used to play at high schools and college. They, Correct, they just like Fishbone. Yeah. Fishbone was uh, crazy. Oh, yeah. I went to high school with, uh, with Angelo, actually. Did you really? Big, yeah. You went to Hammy? No, no, he went to El Camino. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. he. I was a yeah. freshman. He was a senior. So he was the he, mystical he, nights of He was on his way out. I was just Dude, kidding. Forbidden Zone, weirdest freaking movie ever made. By oh, Reed. by the way, uh, we Richard need to Elfman, do a uh, colorized movie. it. He finally got Guys, that was such that. a great story. Really? We need to do a music stream. Know, we're, kind of, we're kind of missing the speeches here. Oh, sorry, 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 Chris. Right. Just saying, it. it's good. <laughs> sorry, Chris, sorry. What did I miss? A speech. Not Billy, my nachos. Billy Eilish and, and Billy Eilish, Eilish one. One, yeah. yeah. Not surprising. Oh my God! Estimated arrival. You're kidding me. Oh, oh no! no. Nachos coming. Mm-hmm. Like in an hour. Oh yeah! Hey, that book is awesome. So that's her, awesome. that's her that's her second Oscar now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is for uh, um, her Bond theme. No right. time to die, Chris. That K Ray girl. That's a great book, and there's going to be a uh, a not a striptease, a burlesque show. Wow. Yeah. God, there's going to be a Gotham burlesque show in in L.A. very soon by the guy who did that book. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I talked to him. It's in June. Gary, we can definitely go with like a group. I was laughing. All right, at you I'll go. Chris, we tried to see if we could okay. get free tickets. We'll talk later. <laughs> but they did oh. like a little party and like this presentation to just show what it's going to be. Uh-huh. And the cool part about it that we learned, I shot the Q and A with uh, Russell, is that it's sort of like, like you know, like they would do these vaudeville shows, but it would be about historical events. So like something would happen and then they do like a Bonnie and Clyde vaudeville show. So it'd be like they'd have actors come up, they do skits, they do music, they do burlesque, but it's all themed. So this is like Batman existed from 1919 to 1939. And this is the vaudeville mm. show inspired by actual events in Gotham City. It's so oh, good. Wow. And as you got the book, it's the guy who did the it's the guy who did the Empire Strips back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was there? Yeah. 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 Kyle, look how this is so awesome. I, I just can't believe that everyone who came got a free book that night. Because the oh, books man. are like a hundred bucks. The book for a hundred bucks. Wait, hold oh, on. Man. Yeah. Well worth it though. Well worth it. Well, I got yeah, a Whataburger yeah. that day. I got so. I got two books. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had, Alan, you've had a Whataburger. You've had a Whataburger. Is it better yes. than In and Out? Is it better than In and Out? No, it's not. No, not it's not. Close. It's it, you know what? It, it's over Whataburger it. twenty years ago was yeah. was better though. Hey, uh, what about In and Out with Five Guys? Yeah, I, I call uh, it In and Out. Five Guys, out. Five Guys is better than In and Out. Five Guys, no. yeah. But In and Out's more of a <laughs> nobody. Cares it's, about. It's a I nobody got it. <laughs> I got it. I know what the fuck you were talking about. Joey Quinn it's agrees great. with me. Okay. Oh, uh, that was good. That was good, Gary. It's like a joke grenade. Um, like a joke grenade. Listen. It's like a joke grenade. You threw it out, and then you kind of wait for people to get it, or they don't. They don't. But it's also true that five right. guys is better. I tend than to fall for those. I, I fall on them. Hey, Az, what time is it? It no. is nearly two o'clock in the goddamn morning. That's not a <laughs> uh, couple. Woo! Couple super chats came in. I want to make sure to get these uh, staccato DDS for fifty. Fifty. <laughs> Godzilla minus one and the boy in the hair wow. get some respect. Thank you for that. We're, we're going to read all these maybe, you know, before the end of the show. 
We're probably going to go over here. Uh, Colin Lakativa for 10 was watching live on YouTube TV. Then my girlfriend made me run to Whole Foods to do some Amazon returns before they close. Thank you for keeping me updated. You're a good man. Chained on the road. You're a good man. You're a good man. Yeah. And then Valiant Renegade. Hey, shout out to Valiant. Subscribe to his channel for $19.99. Cheers. This is the closest I've been to watching the Oscars since Saving Private Ryan lost to Shakespeare in Love. That's <laughs> such a... Oh, oh, my God. That was just... Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. I have to say... No. Shakespeare no. Love's a great no. fucking movie. No. 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 Right. Not great no. movie. Not better to say it, right? No. 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 R&B. No, dude. You we guys, back, watch dude, again. Watch, <laughs> and by the way, I, I, would, I, I, would, I would challenge you to okay. watch both in tandem. Yeah. What? The same time. Okay. I don't know. Some of those just like, you know, Annie Hall Look, beating guys, Star Wars in you guys, you, uh, I, I trust you guys to know what's good. You guys have great taste. Watch Saving Private Ryan and Shakespeare in Love in tandem. Watch them both and ask Ooh. yourselves which one's better. Come on. Which man. one had boobs? The, movie, the movies, they <laughs> will tell if you. It has the boobs. Truth. No, they won't. Annie Hall's not better than Star Wars. Chariots of Fire is not better than Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's just okay. not. Gandhi okay. over E.T. Hey, not. Okay, you guys. Hey, Midnight. You're doing and Midnight is not better than La La Land. Not. And oh, it's the In Memoriam. It's the in it Memoriam. Yeah. Oh. We got to see who they forget. <laughs> it's all about who's not in it. They're going to forget <laughs> Kathleen Lord Kennedy's of the Rings should have won every Academy Award for everything every year. Not right. just one year. They, they better not forget Carl Weathers, man. I forget when I when Alan Arkin. Oh, yeah. sad dude. Yeah. He directed a role, by the way. Mm. Who did? Oh, okay. Reynolds. Can anybody guess how much long? How much time we have? Julian left? Sands, man, they finally found him. I'm gonna huh? say at least another hour. Anyone else? Is that before we fall asleep? The apocalypse yeah. comes first. Andre Forty minutes before this. So Latin directing Latin. costume, Tom Wilkinson, Tom, Tom. RIP. The, the, the remaining acting awards. The thing with Tom, he always looked old. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh, Paul Audrey Rubens. Oh. RIP Pee Wee. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Richard Roundtree. Uh, Piper Laurie. Carrie's mom. Ryan O'Neill. Mm. Twin Peaks. Well, you're quicker than I am too. Both of my streams are. Are behind you guys. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm on Paul YouTube Rubens TV now. watching it. So. Yeah. yeah, what? So am I. Yeah, YouTube TV. Oh, YouTube TV is the fastest? Oh. Uh, this yeah. is YouTube, YouTube, YouTube TV. Bill Lee, Spike Lee's dad. <laughs> okay, too much ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> Robbie Rachel's Robertson. Like Korea just went past. Oh, yeah, they're going to have Carl Weathers. They're better. Oh, They're better, oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Mm. I remember the year that uh, Patrick McGoon died, and, and they didn't get him up on there. That was just quick, uh, Yeah, that was bad. Quick Cabrini Cr uh, plug. Uh, Andre Bocelli, who's singing, he has a great song in that Cr Cabrini movie. Mm. Did, did they... Oh, did that they, movie was Carl about Italian Italian already? No, I have they? What's no. up? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him either. All you gotta no, do is they're... check Twitter to see who, who got forgotten. Yeah, the next ten minutes. They're still singing. <laughs> Dude, if they forget Carl Weathers. No, no there's no way. They wouldn't. There's no yeah. way. I save him till till the end. Oh, the end. I don't I know if this is so. his son. Is this his son singing with him? Matthew Pretty Perry. Nice. Okay, Matthew Wait. Perry. Matthew Perry. Fools rush in. Oh, Rich Rich Lewis. Lewis. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think you get Richard Lewis and they have to get Carl Weathers. I'm still way behind. Yeah, this is definitely mine's slower yeah. than yours. I'm not Richard yeah, Lewis. Yeah, see, we're at Matthew Perry right now. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I can't see the notebook. X ray girl, what are you eating? Um, <clears throat> no Carl Weathers. Is... There he goes. Carl Thanks. Weathers. Got him? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Homemade um, Oreos. Oh, so uh, little, cookies little and Predator, actually. Cream. Uh, they made it in the I'll Ninja Creamy. It's uh, almond milk, protein powder, 
cookies and cream po- like protein quinoa. powder oh, and heavy this, cream. Oh my gosh. This um, recipe. I was just going to say that. I Can you send me the recipe? William yeah. Freakin. Oh, yeah. oh, do you have Ninja An Creamy? Oscar-winner? These are great, by the way. Four thousand dog. Four over four thousand dog. Very I well, then they throw in names at what? the very end. Yeah. Sinead O'Connor. Oh yeah. Is she in a film? I mean, yeah. Okay. 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 Now they figured it out. You go to Oscars.org slash in memoriam for the people that didn't make the cut. Oh, oh, wow. wow. That's, that's, I'm gonna go wow. that's harsh, harsh, man. Wow. That's harsh. Okay. Your, that's like when they used to have to put their who they that's thank. Just, you, could you imagine like you dedicate your whole life to this and you didn't make the cut? It's that's like Ricky Gervais in, in his monologue. Our, in memoriam, too white. I wasn't going to have that. Not yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, Not, yeah. On my Not on my watch. On my watch. <laughs> <laughs> but just like the Oscars, it's just them um, patting themselves on the back. Popularity the contest. Host. Yeah. He was easily the best host we've ever had. Yeah, Ricky was All right. Ricky. You okay, didn't so make it. That's what I was Hell gonna yeah. say. If you guys could pick a host today for the Oscars. Ricky Gervais. Oh, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky's still alive. Dave yeah. Ricky Gervais Ricky Gervais 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 or Dave Has Chappelle. he done the Oscars or was it just the Globes? Globes. Did he do Michael the Gambon? Yeah. Did it make the cut? Oh. Oh. What? That's what? Rough, bro. what? Wow. No, 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 no. Oh my no, no. god. No, he, he really? was the very first thing they showed. No, he okay. was the very first thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Damn. He was the very, because I thought it was Gandalf, Ooh. and I was like, oh, that was Harry, Pop- Harry Plopper. Joss I oh, didn't Dumbledore. know Joss Ackland had died. See, this is like where he's like, oh, when did Joss Ackland die? See, no one's going to oh. click the button that many times to find their. It's sad. Why don't they just view all? Linda Jackson. Oh, I died in yeah, November. They're trying to pump up their clicks with that. Just have this literally like, it's like Death Book. Dude. Yeah. Dude, Death they did no, not man. have Jim Brown. Jim Brown was not there. No Jim they Brown. Him not there. Dozen, bro. <clears throat> that's that's fucked up. No, that wait, 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 wait. Wait, go, go, go. No, you missed it. Jim. Yeah, there's Jim. By the way, yeah, if Jim Brown the wasn't website. there, that's a huge egregious omission. Yeah. He wasn't. Am I right or wrong? Chad? No, you're Damn. right, Polly. I mean, Jim Brown is the fucking man, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, first uh, inter- decade. I believe through decades. First interracial sex scene, right? Him and uh, Raquel Welch. That's yeah, pretty hot. Amazing, and and it, oh, that was pretty. Also, hot. Dick Butkus. Dick Butkus. <laughs> oh, nice. Coming on in That's their door. Crime. A lot of peeps, man. Jim, uh, Jim Brown was slaughtered, man, in the uh, black exploitation movies. Yeah, slaughter in Africa. Yeah, loved it. People don't even know what those are. Not a clue. Not a clue. Slaughter, Slaughter, one of the great black exploitation super fucking heroes. And he went to Africa, which made it even that much cooler. Is that term racist yet? Which one? Black exploitation. They're all racist. Oh, no, it's currently going on in Hollywood. (laughs) Hey, oh. As is not wrong. Is that Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep died? Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Look like Meryl Streep, man. I know. I can't tell white people apart of you. Wish Meryl Streep. That happens with Asians all the time. A- ask any black like, actor, right? Like, that's like, one that's been in a it's like swimming in a bowl of rice. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh my god, time. Don from Lost in Space, Mark Goddard. Yeah, oh, yeah, he oh. passed away recently. No. Oh. Best actor. Um, what wait, is are we doing I'm, kind of, I'm kind of pissed here because no no Mexicans died. I mean, we need some proper yeah. representation. <laughs> Dude, they're all making new movies. Well, they all documented. Your Mexican way. brethren no, are they're all they're all they're documented. They're all busy in Iraq up too, after the after party, Gale bro. Toro, come on, they're all doing. They got good. long life. Okay, strap all in right. for ten minutes here. All right. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna? Oh no, here they go. <laughs> wait, what's yeah. this? They they have all their previous people come out and say something to each person like oh, some that's so awkward. Oh, fuck this more for a piss. That's so <laughs> yeah. awkward. I'm certain they yeah, did this too. one year before. <laughs> I nominate George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> that man's a fascist. That guy is hilarious, man. Not George, the guy who wrote that. Jeffrey Wright. Did you see American Fiction, Gary? Yes. I have not seen American Fiction, but I plan to see it. 
I think that's, I like that is, uh, uh, Yes. No, I heard I it's really good. And I think he's a great actor. I think he's a psycho in real life, but uh, he was brilliant. Westworld season one, he was so freaking yep. good. Why do you think that. he's a psycho in real life? Giamatti. I think he's got a uh, massive TDS like a lot of actors do. Mm. And it, 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 it uh, keeps them from uh, achieving balance. Oh. Achieving balance and uh, understanding and hearing half of America. It's a bit of a problem. Great actor, though. Oh, Nick Cage talking to. You know, he's Jim supposed Martin. to be in Austin tomorrow. That's pretty cool. He is? Are you, you really in Austin really? right now? Yeah, I am. You're in like California, Texas? Yes. You're not far from me. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you having fun? Yeah. I... Alan? Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I met a lot of people who are not the typical Texan here in Austin. No, <laughs> no. Uh, you should go check out the Mothership if you can, though. That's a good comedy oh, club. Yeah. Joe Rogan's Comedy Club. It's freaking awesome. Hmm. I'm seeing Monkey Man tomorrow. Oh, that's, race. that's okay. racist. Let's see a movie. It should be called Hanuman. Boy, it got real fucking quiet here on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. well, we're looking I'm at Matthew McConaughey. And, uh, we're watching Monica. stuff. I think the TV's lulling us to sleep. Speaking yeah. of McConaughey, yeah. anyone see Night? Uh, True Detective, the first season, and then the yeah. the, the, the the recent oh, one. No, no, I couldn't get I couldn't get through season four. Season four was awful. I I dipped out pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Season one, one of the greatest se- first seasons or seasons of television ever made. Yeah. Oh, period, a masterpiece, man. And then I saw season the new one, disaster piece, bro. Yeah, dude. It was really? Nice. I just started watching the new the new. Oh, season. sorry. <laughs> Not well, I have to disagree with you. I actually really enjoyed it, but I will say I haven't watched the previous seasons. I started with season four. Uh, so oh, watch season me. one. So I'm gonna we're gonna go backwards, but okay, let's let's talk then afterwards, Lynn. Yeah, yeah. Watch the gentleman. I don't have anything to compare it to yet. I'm watching so. that uh after this. Ask. I mean, you can also oh, compare it to we... uh to Issa Lopez's movie that she did. Her movie was better than <laughs> than this latest what, season. What Her movie's movie? amazing. The t- uh, tigers are not afraid. So oh, I've not seen that. Oh, it's amazing. But oh, I think it was a good premise for this episode, season four. But it just, it just. What's fell what's apart. the director's name for season one? Because each, uh, all the episodes for season one were one director. God, it, it was Fuka, it, it was K- Carrie Fukunaga. Carrie yeah. Fukunaga. Yeah, Carrie Fukunaga. Yeah, yeah. That's what made it. Like the the visuals on that and uh, just the cinematography. Well, cinematography. You got but, you yeah, what are you telling, bro? Everything. I already know oh who won. Because, here we go. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. You know who won because the chat is telling us. Yeah. yeah. So I'm oh, it's a big award okay. right now. What? Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Now I can't. That didn't they? Oh, man. He's what, been... what, 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 what? He's what been... Oppenheimer. Oh, best Natalie Blood. Jesus. Murphy. Wow. Yeah. Wait, who won? I'm shocked. K- Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. Oh. Yeah. The yeah. man with the good for best him, man. He's amazing. Oh, the cracker amazing. count just went up. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, I, sorry, I, Polly. I, well, sorry, what? I, you know, I love crackers. Um, listen, I, I, I predicted this a long time ago, so you know. Yeah. 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 Well, the crackers have only one obstacle in its play in its way. Listen, and that's no, this is great. Show. You know what, you guys? This <laughs> is a celebration. <laughs> it's it, it is really great, you guys. No, there's no. It's it's good. This is good. It's good. Okay. I love. Yeah. Our- I do love crackers. I'm by the way, saying I'm just saying it, it's <laughs> positivity after every speech or every. Rob, video. Rob, at some point, those like- old fashions turn on you. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. <laughs> at some point, it's all fun and games. Uh, <laughs> so that's <just> one. <laughs> Love your R&B. But what a performance, man. Am I very proud, Irishman? Yeah, but he didn't win the Golden Globes. Who won the Golden Globe? Giamatti? Paul Giamatti. Oh. Paul Giamatti ah, okay. for the holdovers. Yeah. Then he went to then he went to In and Out afterwards. That and was funny. Yeah. That was yeah. Awesome. In and out. Yeah. He can't even bring his kids down to the same level as him. And breaking news: cover a variety from Japan. 
Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There go. yeah baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, boy. yeah, yeah man. That's it. Oh, man. Yeah. God I mean, bless Japan. Hell yeah. Beast. Yeah. I mean, you, th- you think about the work that Japan has brought out this 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 past year with uh with think uh, about how George Lucas ripped off entirely the boy- a character. Well, hold on, hold on, R&B. My R&B. God, the boy in the heron, Godzilla, and uh, hey. what's the the movie that they that they nominated out of Japan, the Vin Vinders film? Oh yeah, yeah a German day. director. Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't seen this. Last year was, was your watch party is so fire, and the ladies are gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I don't know why Rihanna oh. said that. Wow, she's watching. Very I don't think so. Rihanna, okay, best the director. Best album. This is the best. Oh, this is dire- okay, here, here we go. Is Nolan gonna win? If there's Nolan. an upset, I hope it's Chris just Nolan. If going he to doesn't win, win that'll no. be a huge. He better go. go. He How can they bring out five directors to a... yeah. Christopher Nolan? Yep. Christopher yes. Nolan wins. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think the uh Justice. Here's the sweet. Nice. Chris, Chris Gore, I think we just went into oh. double digit cracker count. Oh. Double you know digit cracker count. Well deserved. Well That's done. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Scorsese. Look at Martin Scorsese. Finally, I feel represented. Martin Scorsese looking like a hobbit. Aww. He's so Frodo now. <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's such a Frodo. I'll we'll be there if we're lucky enough to live that long. Hey, amen. All right. <laughs> Still making movies. I mean, you know what? This is one? well deserved. Well yes. deserved. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, how many is that for Oppenheimer now? Four. Not enough. Five? Maybe five. What's the best Nolan movie? Five, right? Uh, uh, okay. Insomnia. Mm-hmm. No, no, I wait. love in, I love insomnia. No, I love you it. know what's the best? It, it's Memento. Yeah, Memento. Uh, mm, Memento. Yeah. Prestige. 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 Are you asking or telling? I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm, I'm saying prestige. Yeah. I love Oppenheimer. I'm gonna add that. That's good. Oppenheimer that's good. Okay. Is, 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 is mag, uh, his magnum opus. Memento's awesome, Robert. That rocked Memento. my world when I saw yeah. that. Man, I like Inception okay. too, though. Oh, Inception was. I, so I good. like Inception yeah, a lot. I do I like know. Inception. I do too. But Inception is my favorite. Inception's very It's so good. It's all about how girls will tear your Dunkirk. heart out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that movie is Whoa. all about how the woman you like, love destroyed your life. Movie? And then, and then she, watch it again. It is. A remnant a dude. of that woman. <laughs> Interstellar. Interstellar. As my life Girls will always destroy your life. But I don't know. For me, Interstellar was kind of like Buck Rogers Begins. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, think about it. Yeah. Interstellar, yeah. Buck Rogers no, Begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Dunkirk. <laughs> Buck Rogers Begins. That should have been what it's <laughs> funny. That's that's great. Great. That's literally what it was. <laughs> he, he flies off at the end and he bumps into Will Madeering. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. And now here's my prediction. It's going to end. Uh, it with Oppenheimer winning Best Picture. Yeah. We still got any Best Actor. By, by the way, let's all give a shout out to speech. Chris Nolan. That was he was it was so well deserved. Well, he's, talking to us, Spielberg. he's given us so many beautiful mm-hmm. moments and images, and he deserved it. They're they're uh, really well done. Rob, I, right? you definitely are. How many? How many? <laughs> <laughs> how many are you, in? <laughs> you know. As a, yeah. what do you want me to say? <laughs> the truth. I want you to give me that. I want you to count backwards from 100. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 100, so mean, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. <laughs> Guys, the truth, the truth it doesn't matter how much I have drank. It matters about the reality of great art. You're right. right? You're right, Robert. Right. It's not the truth. Robert, I mean, you guys have inside. loved the work. No yes. one's done. Doesn't he deserve yes. it? That's yes, yes. I freaking love you, Make Robert. Make fun of me all you want. But you know what? No, I no, love all of you for right. what you no. are. No one here is making fun of you, fun of you. Wow. I except enjoy for me. all of you. I love except, all except for all of us. Except for all of us. RMD is our team. Oh, no. Say what you want. 
Make fun uh, of me all you want. But wait, art your matters. favorite Nolan movie is Memento? Yeah. What's your favorite Nolan movie? Memento? Uh, you know what? I Mento. would just say, uh, <laughs> God, it's it's tough to say. <laughs> yeah. It's actually it's actually uh should I say it? Should I say yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. That's, that's a great fine. pick. That's a great pick. It's ha- Inception, just how saying. women will rip nothing, your heart out. Nothing wrong with Yeah, because really, Inception really is a movie about a guy who just misses his wife, and his life is destroyed by his love for a good woman that nobody today understands why anyone would love a good woman. Can I? Can I? Oh, no wait, 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 wait. No one said. No one said the Dark Knight. I said the Dark Knight. Okay. First one that said the Dark Knight is one go. half of a genius. I think film. Batman Begins is better than Batman. I love the Dark Knight. I love, but, I love Don, the Dark Knight. Prestige, prestige is a better the film. Is, the prestige is just absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, you're right, Az. See, I absolutely forgot bad. about that one, man. Yeah. I forgot. I don't know why you've all made fun of You are definitely twins <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I added the prestige. My hero and then, oh. Text Kago. But you know, how do I how do I make bangs without cutting my hair? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, I can't do it. Well, you gotta cut your hair. I think that's yeah. not gonna do it. Go. Um, I'm excited. I'll bang. watch the Prestige tomorrow. <sighs> yes, that's your it homework. Is, it is. You that's are your in homework. for a treat. <laughs> an absolute treat. Oh, oh, uh, by the I way, Gary Moller and it's Moller's favorite movie of all time. Yes, sir. Is and it? He was, I, yeah. I got all the episodes of uh, Three Body Problem. All, all of them? Have you watched them? them? How, how many are there? Eight. How many? Eight. 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 How many, how many episodes? Six. I eight. Think. There's eight, right? Uh, have you, Chris, yes, have you eight. Eight. I've, yeah. I've only seen the first episode. And? How is it? And? It's good. No. But there are some oh. issues. Okay, here come the actresses. Oh. Have you read the books or seen the Chinese? I've not read the books. I've not read the books. Who's that? I got oh, a hot pick. Hey, I just I got oh, all the screeners. Best actress. Too. It's going to be another twenty minutes. No, hey, no, Chris, I'm not going to slap anyone tonight, and I don't mean to be racist, but are those X-ray women twins? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Uh, so this is the last challenge is, to the cracker oh, it's count. Eight, it's eight episodes. For my three hot, body problem. Eight episodes. Yeah, okay. So I, I got them out. I, I can all talk right. about it on Wednesday when I. Yeah, I just I just got them too. Yeah. My hot so pick is Sandra I Huller get past for the, the upset. First episode. So let me know if I could, if I still just need to keep watching. So you couldn't get past it the first I episode. Get past the okay. First episode. No, I thought. It, I thought. Uh, well, we'll. I don't want to talk mm. about it right now. Mm. Right. She's it's, my. She's my dark horse to win. She's a Bond girl. Shogun's good. See, I like Shogun. Shogun yeah, I need to get Hulu. So Where can I, I watch, goes down Where can I watch Shogun from the UK? Where can I watch it? As and then Hulu. Uh, I'll uh Disney Plus. Uh Perry huh. Chan. Okay. Perry Chan. Perry Chan. Oh, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll hook you up. Okay. Aye aye, Captain. Yeah, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna be uh watching it with my best mate, Captain Jack Sparrow. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll be watching it while the boiler man is at his house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sally Sally Beer is still alive. Uh, six hours time. Less than six hours time now. Look at He's Sally turning Beer. up at eight o'clock in the morning. I dare you. To let the boiler room man in wearing your tuxedo. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Hello. No pants. It's like, no <laughs> pants. Yes, I have a, okay. <laughs> you know how this kind of happens sometimes? Video yeah, resurfaced. Yeah. yeah. I have a video involving Alan Ng. And I, I don't even know if I should show this. Yeah, you probably should. Now you should. Now you, should. you don't want to show it. Show it. No. Okay. Of I'm going to watch should. this. And, uh, Okay, well, we're just let's see where this let's see where this goes. I'm gonna mute myself because this is a, oh, oh what an iconic scene! Mm. Well, Look at that hair. Apparently, uh-huh. I'm in it. What the heck? <laughs> wow, yeah, boy. Ew. it's Cleo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh so good. Hey, she's just helping her dad out. Come on, you know, I actually do this like I used to do this for a living. <laughs> so- <laughs> oh, Mark Dunn. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ready? Yep. It's me. Go! 
Yo, y'all done or y'all? Who was that? Who was that at the end? Don, not, yeah, it was Dante. Probably not Dante. Dante. That was Dante. I will say though, you yes, have a touch on head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would never. I can't. They've got such a nice crown. You know, you know for a guy gotta, my age, uh, it hasn't fallen out yet. I got to tell you, having these actors come out and talk to each actor is incredibly freaking cringe man it is yeah. super cringe it's, 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 it's like, not for us it's not let for me perform again you are incredible i mean come on man they all fucking hate each other of course they do but, but it's we have to, competition we have to watch this yeah, but, I, I appreciate the celebration guys, the, but, work, the work the work is the work you gotta admire the work is that sally yeah. sparrow uh what's her um uh yeah 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 carrie you know, carrie you you think think yeah. i want her to win I want her to win. It's Women's Month. Babies. It is. <laughs> it's International Women's Month. It is. Be more sensitive. It's a month now? My wife made some awesome sandwiches so far. Oh, yeah. So the whole month. month. <laughs> it's just a day. It's just like birthday. Yeah. Yeah. You get a whole Anytime month? It's birthday. Romy's it's looking for a day. I, this I was is in still, on the day. Who are we thinking? I can't believe this is still going. Nachos, um, nine minutes yeah, away. It's going to be little. Nachos, nine minutes away. Who is it? Oh, no way. Oh, oh, no way. Is it a white, white girl? Yes. You won? Wow. The cracker Emma count Stone. is through the roof. Wait, who won? The one, the, the one who should have won, Emma Stone. Oh, I just, I just ah. won. Emma Stone oh. triumphs. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that what is the oh, about the Academy. Stop speaking over wow. Me. What is that? Wow. Wow. Almost wow. fell off, too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, they had to fix her dress. It was about to fall off. It's like, so damn. Now now the chick I want to do the win two dance. Oscars, Gary. Now we have to say Oscar winner. All right, Chris, you beat me by six. That's amazing, you guys. I beat you by six? By six, yeah. Wow. Chris just all picked right. all the white people. You might as well just right. Right. Calling, Chris calling picked out. all the white people. <laughs> yeah, she, she, <laughs> did look, she did look surprised. Correct. The cracker count. Yeah. Chris, Chris was Correct. logged the into the cracker count. count. The cracker count picked all these winners. Thank you. Latina Slant. Latina this, Slant. This film, should, this film should have been nominated for an Oscar and wasn't that, that criminal. I can't see. Is that Lock Stock? That's the gentleman back in 2019. That should have been on the 2020 Oscars list. Actually. Look at Annette Benny, man. She's pissed. <laughs> yeah, she, is. she did look pissed. She, good. she, she looked, looked bad. Yes, bro. She's like, this is my last crack at it. Well, she should have played young ass Marvel twice. Maybe she shouldn't have wasted her time playing freaking Marvel and Captain Marvel. No stupid. Actually, I heard she's incredible. Is, do you think there's going to be a headline where somebody says Diego. Emma Stone colonized that award? Do you think that's going to. <laughs> <laughs> From the Mary Sue. I mean, the Mary Sue. I think, yeah, I think <laughs> Lily Gladstone was great in the role. I just don't think it was uh, in in their in this league of these other performances. Right. Oh, you're I being really, racist right now. That's... I really appreciated her in this. Book. What's that? What's that going? I thought she was fantastic. I really like. She her. she is. Yeah, but even in comparison to everybody else, Sandra like, Huller and Anatomy of I, I think she was great. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. That was really dismissive, Polly. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm I'm for the German actress. What can I say? You know, they're playing the Asians off at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Ah. Oh my god. Oh, she's still talking. Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you know, yeah, she's saying good things. She really is. Yeah, you she, got your award. Go have a drink. Uh, she, no, 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 no. What she said was good, you guys. It's it's good. I agree. I really. agree. I keep in here. She did a good that yeah. Look, only only one black actress got uh an award tonight. So I guarantee you black Twitter is gonna be wild tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, but but you know, oh, I mean, if, if you don't think about oh, yeah. it, from, dude, dude. Polly, Annette <laughs> Benning looks freaking pissed. <laughs> I mean, even I, mean, I, I did. Well, well, not, not as bad as Angela Bassett from last year. Dante. Wow. Oh, yeah, Twitter dude. Got a big win tonight. Big win. My ad wasn't that as great oh, as Jimmy all the Kimmel. other movies. I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Give it to Oppie so we can end this and do super chats. Yeah, boy. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Guys, we, yeah all we all love cinema. Chats. We all love cinema. By the way, I mean, Alan, we want we uh, might Alan, make fun we of have this, 69 but... super chats. We have yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 69. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, up, hey, Chris, Chris, let me ask you a question. Chris Please. and Alan. Let me ask you a question. Oscars or the Golden Globes, which one was better? Golden Globes was more fun and unpredictable. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think so. Yeah, I this was well. so. I, I'm not a Jimmy Kimmel fan. I think he's terrible since he's been on ABC. Liked him in the Man Show. I think he's a big hypocrite and a. Oh, he, a jerk. Chris, he hasn't been that guy for a long time. Long time. Yeah, no, a long I, I, time. Yeah. Dog. yeah. Trump joke. We got a Trump joke. Oh, are we wait just now. Saved it till the end. It took you remember what it was? <laughs> oh, I missed it. Trump joke. It's just. Oh, uh, it... you know what? Laugh all you want, dogs. You in for a rude awakening. That's all I gotta say. Did he just read Trump's tweet? Or what? Trump's he's not even on. Oh okay. yeah. Oh look at oh and then Benny woke it, up after it's, that it's one. Trump's, he's still going. Yeah, it's yeah, it's his review of uh the Oscar of, of Jimmy Kimmel's hosting. Yeah. Oh man. Uh they couldn't make it a whole show, could they? No, because everyone's watching now, and they're applauding him. He is kind of making fun of the awards there. That's good. Make fun of his ass. Coppola? Yeah, he was reading a Trump tweet. Oh, my God. Francis for Coppola, come on. I oh, saw Al him at San Diego Comic Con once, literally just looking huh. at comic books. Who? Chino? Coppola. Nice. Oh, it's not Francis for. Oh, it's Al- I'm oh, here tonight. Okay. How y'all doing? Uh, 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 Melissa did his wife's hair. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Hoo-ah. <laughs> Hoo-ah. How, how, uh, how old is his wife? Oh, I have no, no idea. Oh, is the age, him, by the way. Older than me. <laughs> is she really? I, I thought I heard. I thought she was like thirty or something. No, no, no. no, no. no. Wow. Oh no, that's Al Pacino. What is that? Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking of Al Pacino. Yeah, I right. thought that was yeah. Al Pacino's Al Pacino. wife. No, Al Pacino's yeah. wife. No, no. Hey, uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Is pregnant, so she can't be like fifty. God. I'm gonna present it. I wasn't God, here. Man, can you imagine having a kid at eighty years old? No works. Yeah, come on. So winners and losers. Look at Al Pacino. Uh, I just watched. Uh, he's getting up there. I just watched Ocean's Thirteen. Getting ready for Vegas. He's in it. <laughs> I'll see you there, Gary. All right. Yeah, baby. Whoa. You'll find me at the poker table. Uh, I'll play blackjack. Game? I'm really horrible at poker. He yeah. just named it Oppenheimer. He didn't even do. Wow. Wait, he what? didn't even do the other cat. He didn't read all the other categories. Like, this is Appenheimer. He just well, went the- to the envelope. He just went oh, to the envelope. Oh, That's really? Awesome. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. Time to get the Because they've already, they 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 already they listed them all. Faster, faster, faster. That's well, a, just, and look at a woman one for best per- best picture. There you go. Because Jimmy Kimmel has She's to do the his producer. long ass That's joke. why you don't want to get the Oscar. No. Boom. Also, Chino didn't even do the other, didn't even say the categories. <laughs> wow. Ooh, ooh, the there envelope. goes Lawrence Pugh. He probably Lawrence couldn't read Pugh. the teleprompter. Hubba, oh, wait, hubba. a message came in for Robert Burnett. Hey, Burnett, you, you're getting harder to understand than me, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I turned my off. <laughs> Up in smoke. In a world. Uh, pew pew. <laughs> oh, she's talking. I put my body. Someone's going to step forward and tell me they did it wrong. Moonlight one, guys. Not you guys. Moonlight. <laughs> La La Land.
What 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 awards are we waiting on? Is it are we done yet? It's it. That's this it. This is the oh, last that's one. It. That's it. This that's is it. it. We're, in the, we're yeah. in the speech. We're in the speech of uh, best picture. So. You yeah. <clears throat> wait. Who won? The prequel to Godzilla. By the way, this was was not the long <laughs> Oscars <laughs> everyone thought it would be. We're we're, we're well, three because, hours uh, and twenty two. Three hours and twenty two minutes is short. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Just cut it's not long. That. Uh, was hilarious. He ten minutes of the show out. That was great. He's like, he knew who short and sweet the way I like yeah. it. It just felt long. That's uh, what she said. I love the doctor's got got his pink <laughs> phone out, and he's. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. No, IMAX gets a shout out. Happy they're Monday. playing the, are you playing them off they're playing the. I, I played that music so sorry it's <laughs> oh okay i thought it was me wow <laughs> somebody just commented oscars can't end until Polly gets his nachos <laughs> right yeah well, he, oh nachos. he might be getting Day it over. now that's <laughs> It took him three hours and ten minutes to get his <laughs> answers. <laughs> it's better be some great night. <laughs> you know that cheese is hard, then. That's what she said. <laughs> Something going on with that. Wow. The one supporting actor. By the way, he just oh, Robert cited Downey James Earl Jones. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. Pretty interesting. So it was kind of a sweep. Yeah. Well, it won the most Oscars, Oppenheimer, so... Are they gonna let him speak again? Chris Nolan? No, he got to speak for director, and that's yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need to say anything. <laughs> okay, now they gotta bring Jimmy Kimmel back. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nolan do famously doesn't you have a cell phone. He doesn't use doesn't text. Yeah. <clears throat> Neither does uh, Mark Millar, the comic book uh, oh, writer. Oh, technically, there's five minutes remaining of the show. Either. But now they get to end it early so, because Al Pacino <laughs> Yay. opens the envelope. They really saved like five minutes. It's over. Uh, Abbott, well, yeah. there you go. Okay. Hey, uh, before we go, oh, thank goodness. But it I shows, won. It shows, it showed a dog pissing on Matt Damon's star. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, Damon. Chris Gore. Oh, that's kind of dumb. I have a I have a cracker count update. I won. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear the cracker count. It is glorious. Wait, make it bigger. I want to see the food. Because I finally got my damn nachos. <laughs> Three <laughs> hours later. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh that's yeah. cool. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. Oh, really just drop my water. I'm all By right. the way, can I just say, like, forget all of the. Uh, I understand that this was a, a celebration of art. This is the, the Academy Awards. Even when I was a kid, we love movies, and this was this was the one place where every year, despite our our. Wow, the terrible things, and it's still awesome. Movies are still awesome. They are one of the greatest entertainment mediums ever. We do have to fight for great storytelling, great characters. Uh, identity politics destroys that. But still, tonight, it's the one night where we all can agree. Great storytelling, beautiful cinema is what matters. That's hey, Burnett, you're getting harder to understand than me, my brother. 
<laughs> hey, Burnett, you, you're. I know, I know. I'm just oh, saying. No. I mean, you know. Can we just love storytelling? Yes. We all love movies, man. We all love them. We yeah. all love okay, them. But, but Rob, Rob, but the problem is, and I think Chris kind of addressed it before, where I, I, and I believe this too, that we're not getting enough of these films throughout a year, right? Like we're, we're getting a few crumbs throughout a whole year. I know. Uh, 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 I'm not uh, saying. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Of uh, studio films. Now on indie on the indie level, I think we're getting better shit, right? So I think it needs to go back to the indie filmmakers. Like I, 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 I don't trust the studios anymore. I don't care about the studios. Yeah, Oppenheimer was good. That was almost a fluke at this point. The the way the studios have been, that 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 was it, it was almost. Uh, a fluke. I I cannot oh. disagree with you. I can't. However, I, I think indie films are uh, going to be the future. A lot of studios of, of our entertainment. But there's a lot of people doing great stuff. And I have to say this. We can't just throw in the towel. Of course not. We, right, we, we course. have to believe that we have, we, you know, Francis Ford Coppola once said that he thought the next Citizen Kane would be made by some 12-year-old girl in a basement in some Midwest city. I think that's true. We have incredible technology. And the, here's the thing. Spike Lee who when i saw his film she's got to have it yeah loved it he blew me away I, I was a kid living in seattle i had no idea what a black woman in brooklyn who had multiple lovers i had no idea what that was like he he like had to, he had to spend sneak he had to spend his money making yeah, and yeah, selling okay sneakers. that's going with it <laughs> the important thing is we have the technology now we had we had two brothers make talk to me right i mean Oh yeah, I we mean, have you know, so you know, much you know, going on. Oscar. The Oscar, was, uh, the iPhone Oscars. 6, right? Well, I would just say this: all of you watching this stream right now, you guys have the technology to make whatever story you want to tell. And you know what? Talent wins out. You have to be good. But I would say this: film threat for thirty-five fucking years. Yeah, film threat has been at the cutting edge of indie cinema and if there is no better place in the in the in last 100 years film threat has been the purveyor of you guys picking up your cameras and we're all carrying them in our pockets film threat is the place where all of your dreams can come true you guys oh. can make cinema you can be the people that win the next Academy Awards. Well, at least and film at threats least the place film review, come right? to, man. <laughs> at the very least, you'll get your film review if you send it to film threat. Right. Wait, I'm just saying film threat. Be... Here are your 10 nominees for best picture. My Astro, Barbie, The Holdovers, American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Poor Things, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, the zone of interest and past lives. And the Oscar goes to. Well, I don't know how this happened, but the winner is Godzilla minus one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Al Pacino read it wrong. That's terrible. Sorry to cut you off, Rob. No, I have to say. The first short film I ever made, 13-minute film, the first place it was ever reviewed in 1994 was in the Film Threat Video Guide. Oh. And, oh and I, I made a short film that won the, the Golden Scroll Award, and it was a 13-minute film. And the first place that anybody ever reviewed it was in your magazine, the Film Threat Video Guide. Yay. And I cannot, cool. tell you, right. I cannot tell you. To get that review for for some thirteen minute film that I'd made in a in in a magazine, it meant the world to me, and it, it was the thing that kept me going. That somebody other than myself watched our film and wrote about it, and that was the Film Threat Video Guide. I just want to say that's why Film Threat is important, and this was I'm, I'm telling you, thank you. This was thirty years ago and i well, got that review from you and it meant so much 
And by the way, it also got our short film sold and it was put on a, a compilation video. So, you know what? Laugh all you want. Make all, make, but, but one good review from Film Threat could change your life. Well, you yeah. never know. Rob, also, I, I, also I appreciate it. I just don't on Rotten Tomatoes. So you guys, uh, you know, if we review it, it goes to Rotten Tomatoes. Not every movie goes to Rotten Not Tomatoes. Not every movie, but. but um, just that. Thank, thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. I Chris, just, I'm don't, uh, I taking, thank you. Because terrible at taking compliments. did it 30 fucking years ago, man. Well, actually 39, but who's counting? Jeez. I'm not joking. Well, for me, I I got I didn't get the yeah. Um, Rob's so, review was thirty years ago. I, I just want to say, like, I got I got to play traffic cop host here. As probably tired, it's much later <laughs> for him. Um, and I, so I got the guy came around in uh, five and a half hours to do my boiler. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> so we do have a lot of super chats, but if anyone needs to leave. Let me know and and just you could you could dip out, but um, I'm gonna read them all because I've never had to do a super chat square, square up, up yeah. or whatever that that's called that all the <laughs> YouTubers get to do. Um, but uh, but if you if you need to bail, um, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll take this opportunity to get some sleep before the uh, the boiler man comes. Leaps overrated ass, and we love yeah, you as. Um, so thanks, Ed. I love him a long time. Oh, hey, oh yeah, my you do. God. yeah, you do. My I love you, Robert. <laughs> I love you. That sounds like <laughs> like a cinematic erotic like thriller, right? The, the, the boiler man. <laughs> a <Yeah>. boiler man? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what's going on. You gotta tell us how he reacts when you open the door in just open the a door and in, in like that. Just right. no pants. With, with no pants. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> trainers on. Yes. That's going to go one or two trainers ways. Trainers and no pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be tiny I'm gonna ones, be in my too. <laughs> Either he's going to be really into it, or he's going to call the cops. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> there's two, of, there's, there's two okay. of them, so it's going to look real fucking weird. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bar like this. Great. There will be three <laughs> of us, then. <laughs> if he drops his pants too ass, get out of here. Oh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Can I just Alex. say, in, uh, Paz, before you leave, in, in, in a... Uh, in a Sincere brotherhood. Oh, no. These these nachos are awesome. <laughs> oh my god, you're evil. Boiler man, love it. Boiler, Boiler man. man, take uh, me Chris and hand. Alan, thank you both uh, for yeah, having thank me you on. Guys. Uh, always a pleasure to stream with you guys and gals and Asians of all denominations. Asians <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, of all you, uh, denominations. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you all for the next um, award ceremony uh, yeah. thing type business. So uh, thank you so much, chat. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to Film Threat, please do. Bye. 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 Chris, I'm going to get going because I have construction men coming in the morning as well. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, construction I, I men. Didn't respond to that. Yeah. My, my bathroom's getting renovated because we had a show better late than never from Nerdrotic X Ray Girl. I just sent you that video. If you oh, thank you. That. I'll I'll have it in my uh, videos. But um, yeah, so we, we're renovating the bathroom. But thank you for having me on. It was fun yeah. finally meeting you, Kira. Yeah. Oh, nice and meeting you. Is it I'm, I'm not great. cosplaying as you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so nice to meet you. Nice guys as well. Um, and uh, thank you. I'll see okay. you guys next Later. time. Thanks. Bye, right, Kira. And anyone else want to dip out? Okay, Gary, you got to go. I'll see you yeah. Wednesday. I'll see you I'll Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday. I'm going to be on a show tomorrow. Oh, can you talk about what you're doing? Or is it I still probably too early? shouldn't, but I'll just say Piers Morgan. I'll be on Piers Morgan. Wow. Oh, my God. For real? Holy yeah. cow. That's amazing, dude. That's huge, dude. It's huge. Congratulations. That's, That's huge. Cheers. Thanks. You heard it here first. Wow. Yep. We'll be on with the drink. I'm with the drink out, tomorrow. Better, so uh better, better fucking shout me out, dude. Oh, yeah. totally will forget. Um, That's all I'll try. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> do I have to wear my pants? Yeah, I don't, do I don't have to wear pants. No, don't wear your pants. I don't want to do it now. Tucks up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So uh, see y'all tomorrow. Okay. It was really fun. Amazing, Take care. Garrett. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Man. Bye. Cheers. Bye -bye. Okay, break a leg tomorrow on the show. Awesome. That's cool. Okay, anybody else need to dip? 
You uh, have me for five more minutes. So yeah, same. Five more minutes, okay? Because I because we have eighty six. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Alice, one, two, three, four for one nine nine. I love you as in a not oh. gay way. Oh, so how disappointing. Are you unstarring these, by the way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or you please. can. Okay. Anthony Guarino yeah, for one nine nine. Oscars are a giant satanic ritual. Nobody wins. Uh, read mine to as before he goes, says Eric K for one nine nine. Oh, we missed it. Yeah, Sorry, we'll Eric that. K. We'll do that. We, what? <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sorry, it Eric. Red. It was red, Eric. Um, Gabby SPN 13 for five pounds. Thanks for your live stream tonight. My hubby has Alzheimer's. He had a great time. You made him laugh. Good night from Scotland, y'all. Thank wow, you, Gabby. Yeah, that's awesome. Best to your husband. Yeah. A uh, cyber hunk 2069 for five says Godzilla is more of a cinematic icon and more important to cinema than anyone at the Oscars tonight. I agree. In Godzilla, we trust. May he reign. Hail the one nine nine. And oh, too bad. X-ray girl getting her pipes done in the morning. Says Eric K. That would have been great right. to read. Hi that would have been great. Um, BLK shirts for 1999 just says hail film threat. Well, hail back to you. Angry Yeti TV, RMB is my spirit animal. Pineapple <laughs> belongs on pizza, and I'm heading to bed. Have a great night, all. Thanks, Angry Yeti. I, I, Angry Yeti. I, I, I don't I do. even know what it like. What does that mean to be a spirit animal? That's so the responsibility. But you know what? I will try. I If, if I'm your spirit animal, I would do whatever I can to make sure that your faith in me is rewarded. Uh, Eric K for 199 says I meant the super from earlier Polly. Oh. I don't know. Sorry, I'm not reading these in order. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably get to it soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh Sean Hu for 742 as always this is the best show on Oscar night. Thanks everyone. We still have like almost 4000 people watching. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. is ready. Yeah, people, almost 4000 subscribe to everyone on this panel. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, subscribe, Correct hit that like button. The Sunday night, get some sleep. Correction, but, but, but subscribe first. Follow. Yeah, but subscribe yeah. first. Then follow. <laughs> Do me a favor, everyone. Talk all at once. <laughs> We're gonna get look. Subscribe. Alan has a channel, Ing the Merciless. Hollywood First Look. Subscribe to that channel. Verbal yeah. Riot Show. Subscribe to Dante there. The Latino Slant. Subscribe to Polly's channel and Rob Observations. All great channels. The Burr Network. The, the Burr links. Network. The Burr Network. The links will be in the description of this. So just look in the look in the description. Links to all of their channels. And my understanding is, Kira and Sari are starting a channel together. What? What's it called? What time. What food are you going to eat on your new channel? Oh, our you know? I solo her. Solo her. Well, we're taking suggestions for names, you guys. Leave them, leave them in the comments. Okay, leave okay. them in the comments. A suggestion. <laughs> we're doing the channel. Let me know if you need a co-producer, some help. It could be like two girls, one chicken wing. You never know what the channel could wow. be. Wow, wow. I don't even know. Wow. That, you know, I can write it. That could work. That would get a lot Double of fight. No, um, I've watched that, though. That's the thing. I've watched yeah. it. Two girls, one drumstick. <laughs> Wizard Shack for two says, You all made my night long live film threat, and thank you for being a member. I so hope some people because we dropped some uh <laughs> codes in there. Derek Rosenfeld, thank you for five, says, Great uh, seeing everyone tonight. And I may say, Giamatti got screwed again. Yeah, yeah, Ill film threat. And Jason Webster says, News this just in Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer seven, Killers of the Flower Moon zero. More news at six. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Uh, Michael Salo for 2799 says, This was so much fun. Y'all are amazing again this year. Thank you. And uh, Unsa is ready. Says Oppenheimer won seven. Barbie didn't win anything. Actually, it won the song. It won song. Yeah. So yeah. that's it's great. I think it, Alan, do you have any numbers we can look at? Uh yeah, definitely one one for Barbie for song. Uh, Oppenheimer one two, three four five. Six, By five, the way, six. Uh, can I just say, Please. no one. If you look at the Oscars, Oscars are about the the endless meaning of cinema. 
Barbie was never going to win anything. I, I agree. I mean, it's, the recent one's song is because music transcends cinema. And and the that actual song in 35 years will mean more to the people of Earth than Barbie the movie. And uh, I think it was a, a, a really great thing that it the song won. <laughs> Barbie was never, ever, ever going to win yeah. any award. Ever. And and the idea right. that someone's going to think, oh, maybe it will. You're ridiculous. Because that mm-hmm. movie was already, the, the very idea of it is so antithetical to Oscar, it would never win anything. I mean, it's a, let's be honest, it's about a toy brand. Right, it's yeah, it's to promote a toy. It, it doesn't matter how good the film is. That's what people don't understand. It was a brilliant realization of the the uh, uh, what it was. I mean, the whole like Chris said, toy brand. But there right. was no there was no realm in any reality, or if we're living in a okay. simulation and we're how it would never win anything. But, but besides ever. the film itself, let's be real here, man. The only real reason why Barbie did it nearly as well as it did. It's because they had an amazing marketing team, an amazing marketing strategy. I, the mar- the marketing is is what is why that movie succeeded. Well, that, that, the marketing okay. got women to go out in droves to go watch that movie. But but I would say this, Dante, the movie's still good. Oh no, it's it's it's, it, okay. It, it, it's it, okay. It, for what it was. Here's the thing about that movie: is it, it's about a toy brand. But if you if you look at it that way, when you and this is how I felt about it, I'm like, oh my god, this movie, how can it when you watch it, it's amazing what Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach did to write that film. It's an astonishing piece of deconstruction of capitalism. It's pretty great. And and you have to look at it and go it's a solid movie, but I'm telling you, like it would have made as much money as it made if it wasn't for that marketing. Well, of course, um, but it was also it was also it was also social media. It was it, it was a zeitgeist moment. They it's made it an event for women to go to this movie. Uh, like, now, it's it's also a brand that spans generations. Wait, wait, hold, 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 just a sec, sec. Yeah, Kira's got to leave. She's got to leave. I gotta go, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Bye, Kira. Kira. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe to Kira and all of you guys. I love you. Are you leaving too, Sari? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for a little bit, but I'm gonna. I okay, good. Mary, you got Sari, Mar- like Mary. Sari, Sari. like Mary. Yeah, Sari, like, like Mary. Kira. You should remember that, Rob. Uh, I think she's part of my tribe. We are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, meaning she understands me politically. <laughs> right. Parliamentary um, democracy is amazing, and if you believe in it, there's one direction it leads you in. Just saying. R and B. I love you. <laughs> well, thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you so that. much for taking the new Coke machine out and showing it to me. Right. I know that that was really, I was the only one that really wanted to look well, at no, it. Well, but, no, but, 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 but by the way, I have to tell you, it's New Wave Toys. They make these six scale. Uh, it's amazing. They're doing pinball machines. They're doing, believe it or not, cigarette machines. Wow. In the six scale. It, um, I kid you not. Oh, I have to look those up. Amazing. New so way I for- have to go. Go. Thank Take you, care. Guys. This is all Take care. so much fun. Bye, Kira. Go with and, the oh, by the way, we'll see you. I'll see you probably before that, but Gotham Follies in June. Sarah, oh, yeah, you're invited to. Before. Rob, you're invited also. It's coming. Everyone, we're all going to go see this Gotham. I hope Mary Cohen is there so we can discuss try to make it parliamentary to a democracy. Night movie. What's, what are you guys mm-hmm. watching? I, I I'll, I'll text you. I'll find out. Yeah, Matt, uh, I think this week we're seeing the American Society of Magical, oh, Magical Negroes. Negroes. Yes. No. <laughs> I have to get tickets, but we're going to go see I got my ticket already. On Thursday. I can't uh, wait. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll look, though. But I love you guys. Let, let me know. We're at the AMC Burbank 16th. All right, take care. Bye. Take care. Later. All right. Good to see you. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going to get... Okay. Yeah, we got to get through these. Everyone needs to leave. From Rumble... People still watching us on Rumble. Deeds Min, sub supporter for 10, says, Great fun tonight, and the ladies are all class. Poor Robert will likely not be happy in the morning. Why not? Well, we'll see about that. Oh, hung um, I think that's uh, <laughs> By the way, I, I loved Godzilla. Uh, minus I don't one. think he meant that. that I don't think he meant that. <laughs> I think he meant hung <laughs> over, bro. I think he meant dude, hung over. Dude, hung over? Are you kidding me? Well, I think that's what they meant. That's what the, that's that's the, the super chat meant. 
Really? You'll be you won't be happy tomorrow because you're gonna have a you're gonna have a, a headache. A pounding headache. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. That's what they not mean. Rob. I not Rob. Water. I know Rob too well. Give me a Rob, 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 Rob will be fine. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'll be we'll go to all John right. Campy's show tomorrow. Uh, all right. Let me let me get through. Th- and also, we are doing an episode of Versus tomorrow, talking about the Oscars. Yeah, and I, I, I I'll, I'll, I'll be like all frosty for that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, let me get through these. We have. 76 and i'm gonna do every one do it brother here we go mm for 499 the academy never forgave the disrespect when brando didn't accept his oscar and instead sent a native american girl in his place sashin yeah. little feather is not a native american <laughs> thomas pickett for five end the chat with jerry goldsmith's fanfare for an oscar if not for copyright but i do have other music we're going to end on music um jason webster said this News. This just in. Ray Prehagoffin. Just saying. Poor things for Barbie won. Poor things got more gold than Barbie. Barbie. Uh, D Irishman, nineteen ninety eight for four nine nine says, Florence Bubes, huh? Florence Bubes. I think Florence's boobs. Bubes. Florence Bubes carried Apple to Best Picture and Nacho Review. Polly, ten twenty three Eastern Standard Time. Um. Yeah. Albert Lord, Nada, Florence Bubes. Uh, Albert yeah. Nada. Albert Nada Retro for two says, if I were at the Oscars, I'd slap Kimmel. And Rumble Rant, caveat tie supporter for two. Mm-hmm. Emma's dress reminds me of those crocheted toilet paper covers my grandma used to have. Aww. You guys, come on. <laughs> um, moving on. Wish Dune 2 came out in November, says Jesus Gutierrez for 199. Um, 1010 Eastern Standard Time. Polly, how are them nachos, says Dear Irishman for 1999. Uh, for one nine nine. Oh, Paulie went off for a second. Obviously. We'll be back. <laughs> Paulie will be back. Um, the Alex Zorba member for 19 months says, Grats to Nolan. Well earned, great streamed RMB FTW. Well, I thank you for that. And you know what? Parliamentary democracy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, 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 but but you know, I but thank you. You know, okay. But I, I shout out to Chris Gore. We've known each other for 30 years, and here's the thing. Probably more than thirty. We love cinema, it. and yeah, and we can be we can be as as we can be. You know what? Here's the thing. Still, we still love movies. Cinema is so hard to make. And if I could just say one thing, yeah, Chris Gore was the guy that championed indie cinema in the early '90s, which changed the world. I mean, it, whether it was Kevin Smith, whether it was Steven Soderbergh, it was Chris Gore. And I'm not just sucking his dick. I'm just saying he his magazine, Film Threat, was the one place where you could go that cinema that you'd never heard of was. Hey, Burnett, you, you're getting harder to understand than me, my brother. I'm just saying <laughs> brother. That what Chris Gore is doing and what Film Threat has done for 30 years is still important. And you know what? You who watch this, you guys, girls, they, them could be the next people that make the next Reservoir Dogs that make the next Chasing Amy. And Chris Gore will be the first person to champion that. I'm just saying. Thank he you, Rob. Play. I appreciate it. It's not. Thank I'm you. not wrong. Rob yeah. is uh, no BS. There's very few people I've met in Hollywood that are no BS. Rob is one of those people. Yeah. Which leads us right into the Super Chat. Them. What's that? Which leads us right into the Super Chat. Yeah. Carnell for 10 says, I just want to say happy birthday, Robert Meyer Burnett. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, you guys, it's Happy not birthday. my birthday. My birthday is May 15th. Just <laughs> so birthday. you know, I love the fact that somebody started a joke that my birthday was every day of the year. Ugh. Thank you for that. It's not. My birthday is May 15th, and I'm just terrified that on my actual birthday, <laughs> nobody will say anything. And I will get, I'm going to slip my throat and die. <laughs> uh, Rumble Rain from Garamoth, the Rumble premium user, sub supporter for two. Wasn't here for the Oscars, but I'm glad to catch and support your show when I can especially here on Rumble. Good night, everyone. Uh, you. Jeff, for two, just says Rob and then has a bunch of uh, dream <laughs> emojis. Uh, Julia Julio Scissors for 10. From the bottom of my liver, I love R&B. God bless. Um, Ken Bogans, member for 19 months. I don't care that much for Nolan, honestly. Good movies, but I'm not a huge fan. Fair. Uh, R&B, 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 says Fifty Shades of Grayson R&B. for 199. Everyone's Zach, Zach up to graph for two. We had Frank Gore last year. Well, I think I was the one who drank too much last year. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It was me. Uh, at Fifty Shades of Grace. And okay, I got that one. Uh, Yerushalayim we'll... shows off next year in Jerusalem, folks. Let's we'll do it. Let's do it. Uh, Rhino Helix for 10. I love R&B more than R&B loves his liver. He's a true <laughs> gem. Uh, happy birthday, Rob. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Woo. Uh, R&B Chris, making you the money. This R&B anime series has been the best subbing. Nice. <laughs> well, it's, it's all hentai. I get why you love it. <laughs> Bruce Leroy Jenkins for five. The white adjacents are, were well represented today at the Oscars and yeah. on the panel. <laughs> yes, Gore. Uh, Matuine, like Tatooine, oh, in, typical, so in typical Nolan fashion, he accepted, one, accepted his award one week, one day, and one hour go all at once <laughs> sort of a non -con, you know the non great the memento kind of great yeah. like a memento uh robert is right i love movies says thaddeus for two good to see you thaddeus what you and love is people people and stories people all right. who love cinema my kind of people spud boy for 20 says still pissed that et beat blade runner for best visual effects in 1983 i agree I completely agree. Yeah, very generous. Thank you for that. Philip Butler for 199 DEI Awards. Hollywood on was gay a hundred years ago. Well, yep. there you go. BLK shirts. Damn right. He Gary, five guys, F he won. <laughs> for the win. For the win. For the win. Yeah, for the sorry, win. For the win. Uh, Rob, you can crash on my couch tonight if you want. Got the gummies on the dish for you. Happy birthday, bro. This is pushing me, you cat, for five. Thank you all. I mean, I can't crash on your couch. I might do horrible things to your significant other. Well, there you go. And you know what? I believe in their pleasure first, so I always win. Again, well, you go. at some point, those old fashions will turn on you. Uh, Fernando <laughs> 4 for 5 yeah. says, you all clean Good up Lord. rather nicely. Uh, Bill Parlier for five says, I just want to say happy birthday to whose every birthday it is. Best Oscars I've watched <laughs> in 20 years. Well, thank you for that, Bill. It was and be Robert Meyer. It's that. a pretty great show, though. Yeah. It was Autistic Cat for 750 Martian pesos nice. says, yeah. thanks for the stream. Mm -hmm. This is much better than watching the actual Oscars, which I gave up on. Years ago. Also, we've got some people, new members, Wolverine, Sn Wolverine Snicked, and Richard Piercy became YouTube members. Thank you for that. Skiz Spizak for, for Canadian 279 says, OMG, happy birthday, uh, RMB. Nice. What is this? Lance, okay. 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 <laughs> Lance Thrustcock, as loves having five guys in him. Lance now we're just doing like the anchorman thing where I'm just reading uh, everything. Yeah, you are. Good. Jim You're Dick good for 499. Question for Chris and Gary in the 90s. Wouldn't have Tim Robbins made a perf been a perfect Mr. Fantastic 100% hmm. if they dyed his hair? Yeah. He would have been no. great. He does have kind of a boyish face. Yeah, mm. that face. He is lanky. No. Thank yeah. you for that. Uh, happy birthday, RMB, says JPR PH1 wow. for 199. Uh, Pop blender for you guys 10. are amazing. You're amazing. All of <laughs> you are amazing. Up. I, We've I got 50 more to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pop blender for 10. People tell the truth when they have a buzz. RB is just being honest. Chris Allen, I was so glad y'all did normal world the other night. Thanks for all you guys do. Love the content. Thank you, Pop fun. Blender. We appreciate it. That was fun. Um, Watch Bruce it. Leroy just found out it's RMB's birthday. So happy birthday. <laughs> Bruce Leroy Jenkins. Happy birthday. Uh, my birthday is May 15th. <laughs> so I, I love you guys. I love you guys for following me around to the world. I mean, uh, I wish just, I could get my mortgage paid this week. This beautiful. birthday super Not a retro for two. It says Barbie won something and then a vomit oh, emoji. Yeah. Ned of the Veil became a new YouTube member. Thank you for that. Mm. Um, Oliver Lavery Farrick for five pounds says, I'm, ho I'm hoping someone would say in their acceptance speech, this doesn't feel real. Can somebody slap me? Well, that would have been good. Ooh. That would have been good. Mr. Peckerwood, probably best icon. <laughs> of anyone wow. we've seen Yikes. hail wow. to mcu fan in the chat brought to you by axe hootie wash and truck nuts <laughs> the video we showed where all i was Fuck doing that. was looking at sari's face while that video played because i knew some of these videos could get a little racy 
And I just was looking at Sari's face going, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so we'll sorry. Never back. <laughs> we'll never, we'll never, never come back. Never come back. I don't even know what my face looked like. <laughs> so. No, you were just like, oh, no. What did I get myself into? I can't. I don't have a poker face. You'll always know the truth with me. I love I, I love have, a, I have a whole career to think about. Yeah. Uh, I see. I'm with I'm with I'm with Rob. I love you guys. It's it was about appreciation. Oh, don't get Rob going again. <laughs> don't, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Look, don't get Rob going again. <laughs> Rob, 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 you good? Okay. Uh, we still have we still have like we still have almost three thousand people watching live. That's this is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, Uranus Cygnus ass, for five. I don't think y'all realize that you will be remembered forever. Love you all. Happy birthday. And thank you for your service. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> and uh, Polly, can you read this one from Rudy? Rudy remember the channel Piña in Pizza? That's uh, a pineapple on pizza. Que sigue con piña en nachos. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, yeah, pineapple and nachos. I've never heard of that. That's weird, but thank that, that you. Rudy. Work. Gracias. That could work. Uh, the Lost Tales for five. YouTube has been disabling my memberships lately. Ooh. I'd Ooh. never unsub from you guys. Fix your system, YouTube. Yeah. Sorry about that. Thank you, Lost Tales, for re-upping your membership. And let's see. We got uh, from Rumble, caveat ties supporter for two. Isn't Harvey Weinstein that invisible six-foot rabbit? Oh, my God. Let's <laughs> what? not go into detail. That's Sutton nice. Creek I came to member. Thank you for that. Uh, Jason Webster for five. Coming soon. K-Ray Girl in Crouching Crane, Hidden Chicken Wings, directed by Ang Lee. Ooh. And Sifax, Sifax, hey, I will see you uh, for four ninety nine. Hail to the panel and cheers to the only way to watch the Oscars that doesn't end in a shotgun for breakfast. See some of you in Vegas. Nice. All right, AJ. Oh, yeah, see you there. Um, Sherry K, I asked about Gary before. Second super chat for you. And as four more years, says Sherry K. Thank you, Thank you Sherry. Thank you. John Manalang, best panel in film threat history. Asian representation. Absolutely. Uh, so, and yeah. I'll save the, I'll save the nacho comments for later, Chris. Okay. Missed the beginning. Did they start with a land acknowledgement like in the student Oscars, like you pointed <laughs> out? It says GR Burke won for wow. 499. They did not start with a land acknowledgement, but they may have done it not on camera. So mm -hmm. I can't confirm. Yeah. Might have been on the red carpet. I think that's where it happened. They haven't, oh, Alan. You're the one who told me. You're the one who told me that um they're not doing land acknowledgments at South by. Is that right? That's right. But uh, there is an opener at South by that actually has my grandfather's restaurant in it. Uh, I'll, I'll post a picture of it. Well, oh I'll, 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 yeah. Well, there you yeah, go. That's fantastic. They love, they love my grandfather. Hey, guys, uh, I, I just ordered a burrito. I got to go. What? Uh, Wait, for real? <laughs> you can't oh, no, eat it on screen? No, no, you can't eat it on screen, dog? Dante, I mean, you gotta get a up. Warriors 4K disc from Arrow, please. I'm, I do. It's already on my wish list. I'm. I'm you know, I, 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 I gotta tell you, bro. Wish, you're, you're, you're you're Don't have no, you no, cred. No wish needs to go down. That you can't eat a burrito on the on, on screen, bro. Get uh, You know, here's the thing. I, I'm, 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 I'm not a classy eater, right? <laughs> you know what? You got to give it up. If, if, he knows what he is. He knows, he knows what he is, bro. I ordered oh, the the camera. Camera. It's all done. I, 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 enjoy I went through all that. Man. I am literally high as fuck, so I, I, I'm not going to eat well. Oh, There's only 3,000 okay, right. people watching me, bro. All right. I'll see you later this week, Dante. We're going yeah. to see the American the, Society. The American Society of Negroes. Magical Negroes. Magical. Because Dante's going to translate. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh shit! It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be like airplane where I have to just kind of like tell Chris oh. what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I speak jive. Okay. All right, guys. Subscribe Sherry, to Verbal yeah, Riot. Show. Right, joined us. Okay. I'm sorry if this hurts your career in any way. And, uh, <laughs> sure it does. But you know what? R&B, happy birthday! Love you. Thank you, thank you, Dante. And you know what? Just. <laughs> Just buy that 4K of the Warriors because no one loves it as much as you do and I do. I it's already on my wish list. I guarantee. Like Don't I'm already on wish list. It. Get just get it. Man. I know. I, I'm going. To, I'm going to. I'm going to. But I got to be smart with my money. But it's it's okay, there. It's, it's like forty bucks. Come on. That's fine. Yeah. It's it's smart. If you need it, I will buy it for you and send it to you because you <laughs> need it. Jesus Christ. Come on. Kevin, you know what? Kevin Smith is happy. We have 37 super chats left. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, Take care, Dante. I'll see you later. Thanks, Dante. Later. Um, hey, this just came in. Ned of the Vale for 88008. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. That's a very lucky number, by the way. Wait, I got to read this. Hey, r and I can't believe you remember meeting me in Vegas. I'm the one who came down on my bike from Canada. It oh, was wow. my absolute pleasure to meet and talk to you. Same goes for you, Chris. It was a trip of a lifetime. Yeah. Okay, here's yeah. the thing. Uh, uh, so so for those of you who don't know, for those of you, cr- say what you want. Gary Beekler, Nerdrotic, puts on a, an amazing, when he does meetups, it's amazing. And 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 he is so generous and so cool. By the way, he's not paying me to say this. It's a really amazing experience. So last year at CinemaCon, Gary put on a meetup in Vegas. So I went there, and I was there very late, uh, late in the game. But Gary buys everyone a drink and tacos and everything. So I show up, and the people that I met for were so nice and so – it was so uh, – I, I it, this is not bullshit. It was so inspirational. It was so to be uh, around a group of people that 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 were all of the same. They were everybody was beautiful, so cool and warm and everything. So I met this guy. I met Net, Net of the Vale. I met this guy. He goes, "Yeah, man. Uh, I drew, drove down here. I was on my motorcycle. I came from Edmonton, Canada, and drove to Vegas." I was like, "That's fucking astonishing." And so I've been talking about him uh, for the last year to meet somebody who gets on his bike. And I, I've been to Edmonton. It's not like it's not like you're driving like 100 miles or 200 miles. It's like 1,200 miles across a border to meet him and to talk to him. He was so nice and so fun. And it was like, yeah, man, I just want to be here. That's what Gary Beekler and Nerdrotic inspires. So he's not paying me to say this. But you know what? It's all about the community. It's all about the people. It's all about the the fellowship, the fun. It was amazing. And to meet you, man, thank you for that, uh, to watch on Chris's stream. Because meeting you is a lot of fun. And as you know, if you watch my channel, I haven't stopped talking about you for a year. So you know... Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Drinks in Vegas. It's going to happen. Uh, thank you, Ned of the Vale. I'll see you there if you're going to be there. Jay for two says, happy birthday, Chris. I'll take it. That sounds good. And uh, Immortal Remus for 499 pounds says, I'm really getting sick and tired of Bradley Cooper. I wish they would just give him the Oscar tonight so he can just finally go away. Poor well, guy. he didn't win anything for Maestro. No. No, Nothing. that was a great one. Uh, Chris, no one put Sari in the corner, says Red French Moon for two euros. Put her in the middle. All right, let's put her. Where can we put, put her in the middle? Yeah, put her in the middle. Oh. Is that, oh, there's, uh, there's, I'm no, like that. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh. There. Thank you, Red French Moon. Uh, Matthew Hammond for 999. Things I noticed so far Dante's glasses are on point this evening, as his tux looks great. Kira Lynn eating on camera and Gary's top hat. Not upset with Alan, just disappointed. Join the club. Join the club. Uh, Gary doesn't know his biological dad. Been to prison and has that drip honorary black guy confirmed. I like pickles and violence. Yay! (laughs) Says Blab the power tart. Does Mr. Beekler have a Velcro fly? Says the Burke for two. I Mm. think so. Ooh. I'll ask him on Tuesday, or excuse me, Wednesday. Uh, bro, that is funny for two of something because every girl is crazy about a shop dress man. Hell yeah. Uh, As they should be because that, that promises fu- a future. Mickey Gussler for two. Hey, Gary, did you get my last that, email that I sent pause. on Friday? Uh, that uh, pause, uh, right. Yeah, he got it. Yeah. All right, hey, just if I'll get through these really quick, just let me blaze through, and we'll I, we'll do final final. But huh? he just wants to know if Gary got the email. I'm saying yeah, yeah, bro. That is funny. Gary came to the stream straight out of the closet. It happens, and a generous uh, from Zion forty two for nineteen. 
so wonderful for those 35 people who did the special effects showing up all the other movies, all the other films, who had hundreds of people working on them. It's such a oh. shame they didn't submit the best movie of last year for best picture. They could have, on behalf of the country of Japan, Godzilla Minus One could have been the movie that represented Japan and they didn't choose it, it would have won. I believe it would have won. By the way, they it's chose a, a guy who was a German. Which is weird. Uh, yeah, this is the Japanese uh, By the way, Wings yeah. of Desire is one of my favorite films of all time. But they picked a German who directed a film about Japan? It, it, no, it's weird. It's a weird uh, choice, but you're absolutely right. But the thirty, but that them winning special effects, that's a statement, and that's putting oh Hollywood on notice. God. It, it, you know, it was statement. a statement about how Hollywood does not know how to make movies, mm -hmm. but yeah. the Japanese do. Well, everyone else but Hollywood does, actually. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, like... Every yeah. other country knows. Yeah. Every other Best country movies. now is... Yeah. They're coming up with Caliber yeah. last look year. Look at RRR from last year. Look at RRR, uh, or look at Problemista by Julio Torres. Or even uh, When Evil Lurks. I mean, genres. Yeah. Are, it's so diverse all over the world. Right? And yeah. they're not putting down their men. They're vaulting women. They love motherhood. They love all this good stuff action adventure blah blah yeah. blah it, it, they're just they're they're embarrassing hollywood almost weekly now yep they also uh, don't know about a parliamentary democracy <laughs> <laughs> all right 26 more super cats uh, lewis cuevos for 10 there are two types of boners beaners, uh, beaners on this live stream one that <laughs> one puts beans on toast the other is a newcomer viva la raza yay i should have read that man but thank yeah, you, why don't you read it? Go ahead. You just did. You did all right. All right. You did oh, come on. Yeah, keep going. On. Give it. Wait, wait, wait. Make it clippable. Come on, Chris. <laughs> give me a clippable just, moment. Did you lose it all? You've been clippable I, all night. This is the longest stream I've ever been on. Five hours. <laughs> no, no, no. No, we, we were seven hours the, the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Uh, just, we're at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I was, at night. And I, was I guarantee drunk. you two oh, hours of that is just R&B. <laughs> Brian McCann for two, who's also a member. Blue Beetle needs to win Best Superhero. Yeah, it will at the Super Awards, which is a real thing. Godzilla minus one, 2023, is now the most successful Toho produced Godzilla film in terms of awards won in franchise history from Jason Webster for five. And Josh Kelsey just sends in ten. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Eric K says, as looking very dapper, Alan, I am disappointed. A lot of super chats about. Alan of DB. I'm not bringing a tux on a plane. No. Yeah. No, and then dog. Um, you, you get get a, get a get, not, you know get a button down shirt, a jacket. That's all you need. Where's your jacket? And it's red. You know, you, you look like the host it's of uh, culturally Apple. appropriate. You look like the host of it's Applebee's. Culturally I you, appropriate. I love you. Just saying, you're very Applebeard tonight. But I love you. MK culturally Solid. MK Solid 82 for 499. I think a Gen Z college kid should give Rob a proper lecture. On the history of his people, you mean my my nerds? Yeah, no, uh, no, you're no. talking about my nerds, like how everyone. <laughs> no, no, a Gen Z college kid. Welcome I to should lecture you. I, I don't know what you mean. I, I'm a little curious <laughs> because I mean my nerd cred is like like if, if I think that what you really mean is what does it mean to be a nerd when Star Wars changed everyone's life? Uh, uh, uh the history of my people, my history, of my nerds. Uh, Oh, hang on a second. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps you mean the the oh, I don't know the history of humanity, like the people who lived someplace three thousand years ago. And then, uh, wait, I don't know. All I yeah, can you, say is that look, I love nerds, and and Star Wars changed our lives. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, but I'm just saying, like my God, Star Wars, amazing, right? All right, moving on. Here we go. We got just saying nerd rotic raid Eric K for two. Oh, that was Thank been a while you, ago. Mr. That's that's why our numbers like doubled when Gary came here. We went from like you know, we there was like an extra thousand people that just suddenly yeah. showed up. Thank you, Eric K. Warachi for two says, Hey guys, is some type of event happening tonight? You didn't miss much. That's okay. Uh, no, no, talk. no. There's the cocaine Tony Montana thing that's going on. What? And you, uh, I know, right? And I, I, I'm supposed to go there in two hours. It's gonna be amazing. 
Oh, wait. Bone, I dreamt bone, that last night. It's not Bone really saw is ready for five. Gotta love that the less relevant Hollywood gets, the more their ego gets inflated. These protracted awards are proof of that. And Bush and Ryu Cat comes in hot with a $20 super chat. Says, Polly, yeah. would you twirl your mustache like a vaudeville villain? Glad Chris introduced you to us. Thanks to the rest of you and Chris Gore. Happy birthday to you. You are irreplaceable and apologize apologize for before. I don't worry about it. Uh Polly, let's do it. Wow, well, see? Wow. Well, well, go get go get him, see? Wow. Well, wow. Well. The thing is oh though, God, in it's... real life, in real life, you really are that handsome. You're really <laughs> very ladies fun. and gentlemen, so please welcome Polly from Latino Slant. You are a very Sigmund, handsome piece of guys. Saying, uh, Sigmund yeah. Judge comes in for 499 pounds. Was Killers of the Flower Moon too cutting and too revealing for the Academy? Shocked Lily didn't get her just dues for her understated performance. It's uh I, that was an upset to me. That was an upset. Didn't expect that. Um, let's see. We got Krizik for five says, I had to chat to express my amazement with how an official Hollywood event is being ratioed by an imaginary Coke machine and a beautiful mustache. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did not realize that. And uh, what? what great. Well, you know, we're not. We just don't have time. So I apologize. What? Skip. <laughs> we know we're just we're just doing super chats now. Just because do it. Yeah. Sari, it's past Sari's bedtime. I know. I know. Uh, I'm hanging. Okay. Thigs for nine. Thigs 93 for two says, where are we going to see when the Oscars come? Where are we going to see? Uh, I think that was asking where to watch it. Mm. Sorry about that. God King Tony Clifton for five. Speaking of food, did you guys follow the spicy saga that was Chick-fil-A gate, a.k.a. Chicken Sandwich Gate, a.k.a. The Snappening? Um, I that. heard on Flashcast last night that someone got upset at a video game company because someone brought Chick-fil-A mm. in to eat for lunch and mm. they were reported to human resources. That's, but I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, Chris, how'd you convince Blade to be on the panel, says the clapper of cheeks for 199. <laughs> that was yeah, Dante, not Blade, but he could play Blade. Rudigor for five pounds says, haven't watched the Oscars in 20 plus years. Chris and his guests, however, convinced me to tune into the watch party. Enjoying it oodles. Cosmin Cristani for two says Godzilla minus one should have been nominated for best picture. Sarah, do you yeah. have to go? I'm I'm hanging on to the end. I want to hear whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're hardcore. You got to seriously get, cause I know you work for Hollywood first look Yeah. and I watch your interviews. You and, and Kira you could start your own channel. I, I mean, listen, I was looking on YouTube and I have to say these name suggestions are really good. You get Ooh, what are some of the name suggestions? Uh, there were Wings and Things was one mm. that I up on. I'll have to go back to look at the rest. But uh, Caucasian uh, made a, a oh, okay. cock and an A, a, a with yeah, a capital not. A. Caucasian. Well, yeah, but it's, you know, a Jew. That's fun. That's I think fun. Sari Cohen is is become a new favorite person. I mean, uh, there you go. You are indeed. Well, you know, I, I just met you tonight. I'm like, I wish you I met you like 40 years ago. <laughs> there you go. Sunday school. What can I say? Rocket brother. JJ Gosling for five pounds says the Oscars are better than Ambien. Luckily, I'm watching you lovely people instead. And to Robert, oh. I am surprised that you hang out with the critical drinker and Chris Gore. Does John C know that? Happy Ooh. Oscars says Isaac Ooh. Martinez for okay. five. <laughs> wow. Here's the thing. Uh, what are you saying? That like, like here's here's what I would like to say. I hang out with everyone, all kinds of people. I mean, I met John Campia for the very first time in 2015, April of 2015, on a channel that John Schnepp called me up and said, "Hey, man, why don't you come on a show?" He didn't say like, "If you're a Republican or if you're a, a Jew or if you're a." Uh, science fiction fan he just said hey come on this show i was never asked what my ideology was i was never asked what i believe in all i was asked was john schnepp who we both love comic books and science fiction and fantasy 
John Schnepp just said, hey, I'm doing this show. Come on it. That was the very the sixth episode of AMC Heroes. He never oh. asked me about ideology or anything. He just knew I loved science fiction, fantasy, and horror. And that's why he asked me to come on the show. And John Campia was on that show too. And there was just the three of us. No one ever asked me what, what my beliefs were. He just knew I loved the same shit he did. We and just, I don't think, by any, God, how cool was it? I don't think anybody even cares about any of that stuff. I just care about people I can talk to movies about. Mm -hmm. And I always like when people disagree about movies because it's kind of fun. <clears throat> Uh, but mega, would... YouTube, mega YouTube 99 for 199 says, Rob, are you able to stand up? <laughs> Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Hang on. Oh, wait. Am I, uh, <laughs> am I standing up, man? Why does it? <laughs> Look, I mean, come on. We're it's almost... a show, man. We're putting on a show. <laughs> Almost there, folks. <laughs> no, yeah, we're the Albert, wah, 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 Okay. Albert not a retro Ooh, baby, for two baby. says want fitness inspiration. See Stephanie Sanzo. And Nicholas Vargo, who's a member for 999, had internet issues, so I had to cut out earlier, but glad I came back for the end. Went twenty one twenty of twenty-three in my Oscar pool. And had I stuck to my guns and given all my points to Emma Stone. I would have won it. And mm. Fifty Shades of Grayson, Grayson just says RMB, RMB, RMB. Try to stand up again. RMB for one nine nine. RMB for one nine nine. RMB. Okay. Oh, We're almost there, folks. Jerusalem shows off. This was a very good question that was earlier. Oh, yeah. Blabs the Tower Tard for five says, what's everyone's favorite black comedy as in mm. Death to Smoochie? Uh, not Medea. I like Pickles, Violence, and Total Submission. Yay! Uh, black comedy. Uh, oh. I mean, American fiction was kind of a black comedy in a sense. Oh, no. uh, Dr. Strangelove. Uh, Harold and Maude. Probably best black comedy ever made. Harold and Maude because it's very life-affirming. And, and it has a sexy Ruth Gordon. I mean, she's in her 70s. She's sexy. Um, anyone else have an answer for that? Black yeah, comedy, favorite Doctor black Strangelove, comedy? Man, it's the best black comedy. Dr. Strangelove. Come on, man. Sorry. Kubrick. Well, well, I'm along with American fiction now because yeah. it is kind of on point. With, uh... There you go. Uh, and yeah. uh, Immortal Remus for 499 pounds says, in the UK, you know how far the Oscars has fallen when it seems Sky Movies could not care less about showing it live and it ends up on ITV one instead. Wow. I didn't know that. That's crazy. And we had a lot of new members today. We had the Richards art and inspiration. Thank you for becoming a member. Isaac Martinez, Doug, Doug. Heinlein gifted 10 film threat memberships and Brian McCann also became a member. We appreciate that. Hey, cyber hunk 2069. Or five says, even when it comes to critics, I think it's beneficial to focus more on the art than the artist. A person you don't a, a person you don't agree with can say something you do. Yeah, I agree. I just mm -hmm. don't get caught up. Like, I don't sit there and vet every friend to like align one hundred percent with whatever. I think that is just well, Chris. Don't don't school. you think that that that's film threat strength? Is that we, you? I mean. I, yeah. I've known you what you've done for 30 years and and in the 90s when the independent film uh, scene was exploding you were the one person that you never you never judged you just yeah. celebrated yeah and that That's, was that was an amazing was and now now we are 30 years later and you're you're still doing the same thing and it's that's an astonishing thing there's no one no one in Hollywood, who is celebrating independent thought the way you are. Well, I, I feel like that's just my default setting is I want to get a bunch of people together. They used to do it on Politically Incorrect or Dinner for Five with John Favreau. Yeah, people get together, they disagree, they debate. That's the spice of life, if you ask me. Why do you I, think open that's conversation. not the case, though? Well, why it's, do you think that hasn't happened? I mean, 
you've provided right now a, a, a forum where many people with different uh, views have shown up. Why do you think that we don't have that now? I don't. It's a weird thing. I also think that our media, unfortunately, is vilified. Uh, you know, a certain end of the political spectrum is is now evil. And I think that's bad. I think that we're all Americans. And I think that we anything that I, I just don't support anything that is divisive. I'm not a fan of divisiveness. I think we can all we can sit there and we I disagree with Alan all the time. So, hey, only I just jumped couple, in really. Okay. Couple more to go. Okay. Michael Valentine for 499. It's Sunday night. And I just witnessed the awesome RMB gyrate is pelvis muscle. Thank you, Michael Valentine. And RMB, as you have never seen him before, I have watched a lot of RMB, but I've never seen him dance. Because well. I know he looks <laughs> five. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> any final last words from everybody before we sign off? Because we're actually, I got to say a few more thank yous, but okay. Sari. That's what I was going to say is just thank you. I mean, this has been so much fun. I really do love seeing you guys and, and to R&B's point, like we do, we all have this love for entertainment. <laughs> all this stuff is going on. We all do. That, that's why we're here is, is our love and appreciation for the arts. And thank you, Chris and Alan, for giving us the space to talk and bring different ideas to the table. And I just, I love you guys. So thanks. I'll say this. It was a pleasure for you. And let's just say it was much more of a pleasure for uh, all of us all on of the us. stream. I will just say this, your presence. So we appreciate it. Come back when we cover awards. And when you launch your channel, let us know. We will let our audience know to subscribe to your personal channel. Yes. You can so. find me on Instagram in the meantime, but Kira and I will work on it. <laughs> all right. Good. All right. Take care. Have a great rest of your night. All right. Bye. Thanks, you guys. Siri. Bye. Later. Bye. Thanks, Siri. Uh, final last super chat came in uh, from Big Worm for 10 who's a member says really love film threat never thought about indie movies till I started watching this been going to them at my local theater landscape with invisible hand my favorite so far happy birthday RMB live long and prosper by the way uh, uh, Rob have you seen landscape with invisible hand no it's based on a science fiction novel it's so much about what is happening presently in our world politically and what's happening about the the um the a greater divide between the elites. oh i'm in it dude you will love this movie yeah. it's a weird science fiction movie that played at um sundance film festival and yeah. the filmmaker the filmmaker's previous movie was alan thoroughbreds Thoroughbreds. Did you ever see Thoroughbreds? Yes, I did. Really? Same, same director. You will love it. Wow. It's fantastic. And I appreciate that we were able to introduce Big Worm to that movie. So Landscape oh. with Invisible Hand. Rob, like as a science fiction fan, like this is science fiction that is about ideas. Well, it's you know, fantastic. Chris, I mean, we were kids. I mean, we were watching like VCI VHS version of John Carpenter's Dark Star. I mean, yes. Oh, you know, Dark Star, I mean, which had were, one of the a beach ball. As yeah, we, we grew up watching, and and, uh, and look, here's the thing: it's hard to understand for people. When we were kids, you and I were basically the same age. Yeah, there was like ten science fiction movies that were considered good. Yeah. Now there's 190. And and so when we grew up loving science fiction, we were we were a people of of letters. We loved scripts, the the characters, the, the way they spoke. Now, like if you watch a science fiction TV show, all the people that wrote it wrote Buffy. They they look at Buffy the Vampire Slayer as their great their, their touchstone. The they're not people of letters. They haven't read yeah. books. We grew up in a world where all the people making movies were people that read novels. Yep. Nowadays, they haven't read shit. They've only watched TV. And, and the problem with that is that television and all that, all great stories come from thousands of years ago, whether it's Gilgamesh or whether it's 
Greek and Roman myths. The people writing TV right now are only about, oh, I, I'm writing what I feel, what I feel. If it's if it's not about me, it's not about anything. And uh, like, you're not writing television. You're writing your own angst. And this is why, like, if I dare, dare say it, Star Trek is fucking terrible. Because the people that are writing it have bought into the idea that Star Trek is only about... Uh, it's all about just let's make it about I want it to be about what I feel it's all about it's not about identity politics Star Trek is about what a future would be when people are actually realized about their reality not some ridiculousness of what they believe themselves to be but about what is actually true and now we live in a world where everyone thinks that their own reality is what stories should be about and this is the problem with our storytelling stories are eternal stories exist beyond the time which they're told and this is why i'm driven crazy by the world i live in because great stories are from 200, 300, 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. And those same stories will exist 200 and 300 and 400 years ago beyond where we are now. Can I just jump in on the well, stories well, we had, that... We had for Mega oh. YouTube 99 for 199 says, did you get all that, Alan? I got most of it. I'm drunk like hell. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's the only uh, reason I can talk the way I'm talking. I'm all just, right. We're trying to wrap... You know, there have been some great moments in Oscar's past. A lot of great moments. Uh, we should look we should look at some of this first because I didn't get to play this one clip, just um and the winner is Sally Field in places in the heart. I owe a lot to my family for holding me together and loving me and having patience with this obsession of me. But I want to say thank you to you. I haven't had an orthodox career, and I've wanted more than anything to have your respect. The first time I didn't feel it, but this time I feel it, and I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. And the Oscar goes to Halle Berry in Monsters Ball. She garnered rave reviews in 1999 for her Emmy, 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 Emmy award-winning performance in the lead in introducing Dorothy Dandridge. some great moments the oscar it's just really sad that now there really is and I, look I, we're, we're we're gonna be wrapping up quick but i'll just say this it does make me sad that some of these events that would bring us all together we would all watch the oscars right what are the best movies? Mm -hmm. but it's sad that like you know as just admitted when he goes on the screen it's like oh i think i've seen three of these movies like the nominated of the nominated movies but and we collective movies used to speak to us in a way collectively it was like society kind of reflecting in the art and it was a conversation that we would all have together we would discuss things like life and we have been derailed by people who have made the conversation 
about something completely different in a way that I feel is destructive. And we're seeing the, the effects of that in real life. So it doesn't surprise me that the Oscars, the, the ratings for the Oscars have plummeted. We're going to, we're going to probably see tomorrow. I think with all due respect to Barbie and Oppenheimer, we've been hearing about Barbie and Oppenheimer since July last but year. Chris, Chris. Think, so, so what I'm saying is it's, it's sad, but to see this, like that event, shrink in not just significance but popularity and even things like alan and i have this um ongoing debate and argument about festivals are film festivals as relevant as they used to be it's it's a conversation worth having but these things that would bring us all together i remember watching the oscars with my family but people don't care about it like they used to okay but wait a minute i would ask you this don't you think that the art of cinema hasn't changed? Well, the, 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 business the people is that are changing, made, it's hurting, uh, if you ask me. But 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 the the value that our culture has placed on cinema has changed. And and here's the thing: the Oscars, you we can be as cynical as we want, but at the end of the day, you know. Uh, this the art of cinema is so difficult to achieve. It's so hard to make a great film because you're dealing with a collective. And I mean, it's what's amazing is movies are the ultimate example of communism. The actual making of them, and and the people that are complaining about Hollywood have no idea what communism really is. So it's kind of funny to, but but don't you think? That we 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 all love all of us. We love movies. We all want them to be great. We do. We and Chris, you were the first person. You created an entire ecosystem. Film Threat is I, all about <laughs> the joy of film and, and and the joy of the 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 people that were just beginning to make movies. Uh, my first. 13 minutes short you guys gave me an uh, not an award but you 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 were the first people to say it was good the film you actually video, did get an award later don't you remember yeah i do i do but yeah. but that yeah. was like that was 30 years later hey go go <laughs> party time for 199 says we need a two-hour drunk review of dune from rmb <laughs> but oh, i'm just saying guys film threat is, is important it's always been important. Film threat matters because it's the only venue that's been that's been true of film threat by matters. the way, almost 35 years that gives neophyte or beginning filmmakers a venue to show their shit and get reviewed. And you guys have done it. And I can just say for me, in 1994, I made one 13-minute short, and you guys gave us a good review. And you know what? Just say, you guys did that and it meant the world. <laughs> Sorry. Chris. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. That's Chris. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I just want to it's say, for those, for those people that don't get that Film Threat has not not been around for 35 fucking years, there are people that wanted to have Film Threat just say one word about their works. Mm -hmm. And to me, I sold my first 13-minute fucking short because Film Threat reviewed it. The very first film I sold to distribution was because of the, the Film Threat video guide. In nineteen well, uh, ninety four, yeah. uh, that would it be is weird. thirty it is years weird ago. Me, Thank you, Film Threat. It is weird to meet people in the industry who like remembered reading the magazine in the nineties, and they're in like high level positions at studios, and it's like, oh wow, so somebody made out all right. I mean, I'm still yeah. doing the same job, but uh, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. And those people films... are terrified of every decision they make. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's the industry's in a weird place. We're gonna see. So hey, I, gonna I, I have to tell you, let, let me just say, Please. you know, here at South by Southwest, uh, I've had three filmmakers spot me on the street or wherever and uh and be thankful that we're here and and of course wanted me to review their film. So uh, you know, they 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 know it. Everyone knows it. Well, there you go. And uh yeah. 
Paulie's uh, uh, probably Sleeping. ordering. Yeah. Uh, but like I, hey, back. I'm starving. I need to. I'm actually grilling. That's why I had to keep popping out. Are you grilling? Yeah, I actually started grilling because I promised <laughs> Romy. Oh man, I love grilling tons now. of pork I, chops. I so, <laughs> is it? Can I? Can I say a couple yeah, words? Final thoughts. Final thoughts, Dude. Paulie. Um, look, we may be jaded and cynical, and I, I give Rob that, and I, I love you, Rob, for keep for keeping us honest. But at the end of the day, uh, when you look at these awards, the the right people won. Oppenheimer is. I a, agree. Oppenheimer yeah. is a incredible cinematic experience yeah the writing the screenplays adapted and original the right projects won. anatomy of a fall is a movie that just shocked me and it's basically a courtroom drama yeah american fiction american fiction one this is a man that never that never directed before and adapted a uh a book into a screenplay cord it's jefferson so, oh the my right God. my brother won. you are hold on, hold so on, hold right on. hold on hold on rob Hold on, let me just finish. Let me just finish. The right people won because that's talent. That is the caliber that we expect. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't I don't want people to give out awards as empty piñatas just because of the color of our skin. That has to stop. That thinking has to stop. That's mm -hmm. what divides us, right? So I, I think I think there's some incredible films. I've seen all the films this this past the, on on the list. So um yeah it's just we're shooting the piss out of how you know these actors you know, take uh you know take themselves seriously during the awards that to me is separate than who actually won chris and i i i think i think the right people won it was i i, I was very happy for godzilla and for the other other films that i uh that i that i uh commented on this is why i love paulie <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, no what, what I mean more, is, is, here. Is, is the fact that, <laughs> that we can have friends of all decide uh, colors, creeds, uh, beliefs. Although, and actually, shirts, I would say that <laughs> I would say that Paul and I have always loved each other. I mean, I, when I met him for the first time, I'm like, I wish I was gay because he was so handsome and tall. <laughs> oh but uh, I'm just saying, I mean, my God, <laughs> this is the world we live in. Yeah. Isn't this great? And you know what? We. The people that love culture, we're the tip of the spear. You know, the fact that we love all kinds of stories from all kinds of people, we're the people that lead the way because we love storytelling. And all great storytelling comes from all different kinds of people. Right? Here we go. Just a couple more. Joe's atmosphere for 499 says, Hey guys, watch the Oscars with three friends tonight on Discord. First time I've enjoyed it in years. Nice. Get someone other than Kimmel, though. Hail, thank you for that. Yeah, Yo. it is really fun to watch it together. Mm -hmm. Um, Roland24 for 199 says, Friday night drinks with RMB cast, and I'm there. Friday night drinks, but you did bring back. Oh my, I'll, I'll be there. Well, no, no, you brought back your show with Elizabeth. What's it called? Oh, it's called Whining okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. Yes, my my show, whining about movies, four years ago. Uh, <laughs> love my life. The the girl I bought a house with, and I parents her children. Um, we started a show four years ago, where before reaction videos or whatever, we just watched a movie and drank. <laughs> so. The show is called Whining About Movies. We drink a bottle of wine and talk about one film. We don't show clips. We don't do anything. We expect you to have watched it. And uh, that's what we do. And so There's just actually decided okay. to put up new. Ep it's Whining About Movies Redux. The next movie we do is uh, called With Nail and I. Mm, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the first film was Videodrome. <laughs> and so you can watch it on my YouTube channel, The Burr Network, and check it out. And my, I have to say, Elizabeth is totally totes adorbs. Because so, I show, I, I, I throw her movies she should not probably watch. And she's like, oh, I'll watch this, and here's what I think. And I'm like, okay. It's By the way, X-Ray Girl does a show called poor choices spelled p-o-u-r where they drink wine she drinks wine with her friend uh tugs and they get drunk okay well just so you know i start our show 
four years ago. Yeah, I, I don't think it's any, in, but uh, poor choices is theirs. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for us. I want to thank everybody who was on the stream. Absolutely. Everyone who was a guest, including Alan, for just sticking through it. He's uh, <laughs> doing a bang-up job at South Bay Southwest in Austin, Texas. Look for Alan in Texas. He's going to be there for a couple more days at least. Pauly Latino Slant, yeah. thank you so much. Dude. Um, subscribe to Chris. Uh, the Latino Slant. Chris, you 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 and Alan did it, man. I mean, what an achievement you guys did tonight, man. So thank you so much, seriously, for hosting us. This was in each year, each time you're doing this, this is getting better and better. This was this was the best one, dude. Well, this was the it, best one. It's it really the was. most fun train wreck that you could be a part of. <laughs> uh, subscribe to Wins Channel, Robert Meyer Burnett, R and B, been friends with you since the '90s. Uh, buddy and just like always love i always like when it was like way back in the day when we were at san diego comic-con mm. it would be like an algonquin table of nerds Crazy. me you mm. like think of it darren dog all these other people and it was just like i mean we would just argue but it was uh, so fun yeah. um, i, 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 I can't miss those believe... days i miss those days now mm. yeah but you know? you know what chris you've created film threat is an incredible channel alan Eng has, has been a, a, a great addition you know what you've done here is you're still celebrating indie, indie cinema yeah. you know yeah. you're you're still doing 30 years ago if if a filmmaker i was one of them got a mention in what you've done it could change our lives and you're mm. still doing the same thing. It's really incredible. And and Polly from Latino Slant, I mean, I met on YouTube. One of the great things about YouTube is meeting a bunch of like-minded people, which is incredible. And and to see what you guys have done with the Film Threat channel, really amazing. And thank you both, Alan. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Polly. Right. I mean, you guys are amazing. So subscribe like and you know come to my channel the burnett work yeah. and also do that but but really what's what you guys are doing is fostering dialogue let's have a conversation let's have a conversation and hopefully we'll just talk about movies all right take care we will see you tomorrow on versus we're going to talk oscar hangover with a different group of people <laughs> Wednesday we have Hollywood on the Rocks we're going to be talking about Alan's going to discuss Monkey Man I will have seen a three body problem and then Friday the American Society of Negroes Alan <laughs> American Negroes no no magical magical Negroes Holly Berry and uh, Swordfish <laughs> was kind of a magical Negro I'm just saying oh yeah <laughs> Take care, Polly. <laughs> See you. All right. We're out of here. Take Bye, care, chat. everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Love you guys. Let's Thank get out of here. Thank you to our mods. The mods, Bertoff, yes. Mexican Iron Man, Ms. P. Coffee, and Glenuccio killed it. Knocked it out of the park. So thank you, everyone. All right. That's it. Alan? Let's get out of here.